Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages. Welcome to the JNK Open 2023, presented by JNK Tourism. I'm your host, Shoreya Singh, alongside my co-host Amit Dubey, and we're live here, bringing you the final day's action. Golf has been riveting. The standard of play has been scintillating, and this golf course has been truly breathtaking. And uh, on that note, uh, we also have to see who uh, who's going to win this tournament. Leading the pack, his own Prakash Chauhan, eight-time winner. So he's a heavyweight in his own right. Following him, uh, Kapil Kumar, Manav Bias, and Akshay Sharma. Uh, I, for one, uh, do agree with you that uh, Amit, it's, it's going to be Om Prakash all the way. I feel that the other three are going to follow the legend of Icarus. Maybe they're going to get too close to the sun and get burnt, but only time will tell. Uh, over to you, Amit. Yeah, you know. Uh... Well, it's golf is a very uncertain game, and uh, you never know what happens. But probability is a big thing when it comes to guessing thing. So I, I we were talking about Om Prakash's uh, ability to close out events, and the and the chasers don't have that experience yet. So, well, golf still has its way of showing us that nothing is predictable. But Om Prakash looks like the probable candidate for this tro- uh, for this trophy this year, and he's been uh, very consistent this year. Also, his 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 scoring average is below seventy. So those those are the things that, and if he shoots seventy today, it, sh- it should be enough. Well, if yesterday's play is anything to go by, uh, his swing it seems like it's, it's set in a cast iron and uh, doesn't really move one way or the other. I, I find it uh, very difficult for this chasing pack to, to do anything. In fact, if anyone, I think uh, Akshay Sharma is somebody that uh, I do think can pose a threat today. And apart from that, we saw a brilliant uh, round yesterday by Shivinder. So who knows? Uh, I mean, it's never a one-man show. You know, um, Shivinder looks like a little bit too far as, you know, four shots. Om Prakash didn't drop a shot yesterday. so. It looks like he's uh, not making many mistakes, you know. And but, I, but I'm I'm pretty. I have a good feeling about Manav Bias though. He's been uh, he was blemish free also yesterday, and um, it look he showed a lot of composure. So I'm not. Uh, I'm feeling about Manav Bias just like I had in Coimbatore about uh, Harshit Sethi. Yeah, we were talking about it, and we were, uh, you know, uh, our fellow uh, compare, uh, commentator Dick Vijay saying, and we, uh, we were both on the studio, and he says, you know, I think Om Prakash, I said, you know, Archie is looking really good right now because he's got this uh, momentum with him, and uh, Mana will give Om Prakash, I think, a run for it. Yeah, this year we've seen uh, Sanit, who is, uh, uh, relatively speaking, a greenhorn. Um, but still, he, he was able to win that tournament in, in a convincing fashion. So, I don't know, maybe the exuberance of youth is something that can uh, help him. And uh, somebody has who has the, like, who did have the exuberance of youth, the Dharma now, uh, maybe in his 30s, which still relatively young. Let's see how M- Dharma can do today. You know, I, I remember meeting Dharma as a Rishi. I remember meeting uh, Dharma for the first time at the 1999 qualifying school. So he's been around for at least two decades. I've actually played uh, junior golf with Dharma and uh, my first memory of him is in KGA. Um, he was on the 18th hole back in that uh, back in that time. We didn't have that hazard. I think we used to have a sort of a creek mm-hmm. and he was uh, right in it. <laughs> and I was playing behind him. He was trying to find his ball. Little did I know that he's uh, going to emerge into such a good player, a worthy player and uh, also a winner on tour. Yeah, so this is the group of M. Dharma, Badal Hussain and Pavan Kumar. This is uh, the 8 o'clock tea time. Yeah, we also had an 8 o'clock tea time. And how was, how was your drive uh, to the studio with empty roads? Uh, Saturday mornings uh, are a real bliss, aren't they? I live close by. I can't complain. <laughs> Let's have a look at that uh, sort of distinct stance that he has. A little handsy with the takeaway, but also a little uh, 
seems yeah. to be sitting down. Can you give us a prognosis of what? Uh... So again, a little uh, above the plane, going back, and then he drops it down inside. And you know, these that when you when you're uh, when you have that plane change, and it makes you very. Uh, it gives there's a lot of club head rotation through impact, and generally your bad shot is a hook, and then you're always fighting it. So you see those players. Uh, trying to fade the ball. We have Badal Hussain from Bangladesh. He's also a rather unique swing, uh, not the most conventional. That's, that's another different. It seems like the body stops and then the hands. Uh... Yeah, this is the other way around. He was a bit inside, taking it back, and then he rerouted from the from from the, from the top. So these are going to be uh, fade bias players. Uh, I've also noticed something. I don't know if I'm right or onto something that um, the person's built actually dictates the kind of swing, the natural path that they have. Is that something that happens? You, you normally see that most conventional swings seem to be uh, bestowed upon the most athletic players. Uh, I'm not actually. Comp it's it, you know the body is more capable of doing a lot of things correctly, so you know it's easy for them to make. But, Keeping the club on plane throughout and getting the body to move efficiently. Pawan there with the... requires uh, a certain amount of athletic ability. So if you are athletically bound, it's easier for you to do it. But early uh, an early morning walk to the beach uh, seems like they're in a holiday mood. Uh, you know what? When you when you you know this when you're on the walk was this dew dew on the on the ground and you walk from the from the grass into the bunkers and it messes up your shoes and it's like the worst feeling you know like that yes your feet your your shoes are, are laden with sand when you come out of it and it's uh, you want to follow in other other people's footpath you don't that, want to be blazing all, a trail early in the morning all cleaning shoes in the night before so that it looks good on the first tee it's over by the first, <laughs> after the first shot you know I think some habits. Uh, Die hard, as they say, old habits die hard. I played a fun round uh, a while back, and I did prepare so much for it. Uh, but I was rather disappointed with the score. You know, I had all preparation, everything shining, the shoes, the ball. But you know, as soon as it's go time, it's <laughs> the realization dawns upon you that <laughs> this is just paraphernalia, my friend. <laughs> yeah. The swing and the ball is what is imperative. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you're uh, so coming back to that topic about being able to swing. It's also another thing is what you, what in your mind is the what is your working understanding of the golf swing so if you have a working understanding which is uh, something other than which is conventional then then you swing like that also i think um, as, as i was saying a person's build what i mean what i meant primarily is you see that the modern swing uses larger muscles and to have larger muscles you must be uh, fit and 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 pretty proportionate as as a sportsman. So you see that if I look at the youngsters like Viraj Madappa, you look at uh, somebody like um, you know Yuvraj Sandhu. Uh, I know I'm missing quite a few names. I'm, I'm certain their swing style is, is quite different. If I might compare it with let's say a Shankar Das, a Shamim Khan, um, M Dharma, because I think some. At a certain point, it's what you're capable of doing as well. Yeah, and you know, uh, if you see this, their 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 physicality, and you know that they're not athletically built, so they need to generate speed from somewhere else. I think case and, in point, also somebody like yeah, Brendan Todd on the US tour. I don't know if so you're if, aware. If if you are athletically slower, you are going to use a little bit of wrist and arm speed. You still need to get the ball out there. Now you, you're not going to hit it 150 yards of the tee. Yes. So you need to put in the which is the arms and wrists don't need athleticism. They just they can do, they're the fastest moving components of your body, by the way. So if 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 you don't have the speed in your body, you will put in put in the speed from your arms and wrists. Otherwise, you won't hit it anywhere. So let's see uh, which way does the Badal go? Is he going to be utilizing the longer levers? Uh, he seems to be somewhere right in between. You no, know, he... Badal is, uh, you know, you can see his, his, very, uh, his, his upper body is going to be more dominant in his golf swing. You can see just from the physicality that he won't use his, he won't drive his legs so much. Uh, and as a result, he'll be upper body dominant. This is going to, he's going to hit a lot of fades. 
Whereas the other two, their lower bodies still look stronger, as in the balance between the low, lower and the upper is still more. Uh, so you can use the drive of the legs, something uh, reminiscent yeah. to what uh, those pictures of Jack Nicholas uh, yeah, winning right. those many opens. You see the knees, all both of them pointing ahead. So, so it shows you the kind of talk they used to generate with the lower body. Yeah. So, you know, if, if Jack Nicholas's thighs at his peak measured at 28 inches which is probably some of these, uh, some of the youngsters hips. <laughs> yeah? Exactly. So it shows you so, that. Uh, and, you know, people don't know this, but in, in the olden times, you know, we call one wood or the drivers used to be known as a wood. It used to be made of wood and it used to have a plastic insert in the middle. And the plastic insert had screws to keep, because if the insert cracked, you didn't need to change the wood. You would just change the insert. So the insert had four screws generally, but Nicholas, used to be sponsored by McGregor and McGregor had to put six screws in the insert because he used to crack the insert too often. No such problems uh, for yours truly. <laughs> I think you know, I, I, I finally cracked a driver after 10 years. I felt very proud, I must say. You know, that's another thing. Let's have a look at uh, this short tracer showing you the ball flight being employed by this group. Favoring a little bit of a left to right movement, it seems. Uh, yeah, you know, people uh, generally, uh, if the fade is something which is a little more reliable, as in controlling the spin on it. So you'll see a lot of uh, professional golfers uh, preferring to move it left to right. This is hole number one, the par five. Beautiful aerial views of Jammu Tavi Golf Course. You can see it's it's pristine and set in the hills a bit. Beautiful golf course, very demanding of the tee. It's, uh, it's 7,250 yards long and it's got a really good mix between challenging short holes and demanding long holes. Beautiful weather in Jammu today. It's about 21 degrees, little or no wind. This is uh, the group of Karan Pratap saying Sarkar Chibbar and Harinder Gupta making their way to, it, to the first green. Karan, Sarkar and Harinder all having 73s yesterday. And all three at, at a total of one over. Zatak seems to have found his stride early in the day. Pavan, second from the fairway bunker on number one. Looks to be happy with it. I'm also having found the bunker. Badal from the right side. So I've missed it right a bit. Looking very, uh, not sure where that ball has gone. Waiting on the tee is the group of Saurav Chaudhary, Vinay Kumar Yadav, and Sachin Basoya. The first hole is a par five. Measuring at 594 yards. Saurav Chaudhary coming from Mao, the home of Mukesh Kumar and Om Prakash Chauhan. So, trying to follow in their footsteps. Saurav Chaudhary. I'm 
distance we have the club uh, quite a fair distance away from the body arms totally extended sort of another rerouting sort of swing went a little from the inside and yeah so you can at the top be, that's going to be a little more uh paid biased worked out well for him in the end but you know the good thing was you know you can get away with anything with good rhythm and he there, there was no hurry in it so the changeover was smooth you know he got the club back the way he wanted it to Vinay Kumar Yadav seems a little more athletic taller setup yeah he was pretty uh good as a junior you know he's uh had a, had a good junior career uh, pretty long hitter also See the right red stake to the all uh, penalties penalty areas. Sachin Besoya, winner on tour, won at uh, Tolly Ganj Golf Club. Twenty-seven years old, playing out of Delhi. Turned professional about uh, seven years ago, so has a fair bit of experience. Going with the driver, We're seeing that a uh, little more aggressive approach by him. You know, Delhi Golf Club is probably as demanding of the tea as this is so and from, i've played from, from what i heard from these players they're saying this golf course is not giving an inch it, it's really hardly any place to and he's headed in position a1 he's uh this is he can easily get home from there brilliant shot by him yeah it's you know that you know shows his confidence And if you can, if you if you're hitting your driver straight, then you know, then don't hit anything else. Yeah, I think there are basically two type of players: uh, one who can sort of handle this this kind of a narrow shoot alleyway and still hit driver. The other kind of player, even if he knows he can hit straight, will not pull a driver out because you need that uh, you know you need that wiggle room. As we look at uh, Dirty Harry, Clint Eastwood. Famous movie. He's uh, gone from uh, Pink Panther to uh, the red, white, and blue man. Yes, he looks a lot more conventional. I think he means business today. That's the first screen. That's the that was the group of Harinder Gupta, Sartak Chibber, and Karan Pratap Singh finishing up. See the amount of dew that's there early in the morning. That does make a lot of difference. It's a little difficult to read the line as well. The ball doesn't break that much early in the morning. Yeah, you know, it's it's not gripping it, so it's not going. The friction is going to be less. So, two things that determine the ball turning on the green is gravity and friction. Gravity from the slope and friction from the, the way the grass is growing. And if there's water on top, it's it's not going to, the friction is lost. You remember that famous ad by Tiger Woods? Uh, he said he also had to take in the earth's rotation. <laughs> yeah, the earth is rotating really slow, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Rohan here with those shoes that are reminiscent of Fred Couples back in the day. What he still uses them. What are they called? Uh, uh, some sort of loafers, I feel. They're yeah, loafers, yeah. You know, the uh, shoes are such uh, an important part of your uh, equipment. Like if some, if you <clears throat> most golfers are used to a certain kind of shoe, as far as the, you know, the arch goes and also the shape. And if you hit something different and you look down at your feet, well, you, when you always check your alignment, right? After you take, uh, you, once you're ready to hit, and it looks a little odd and you're, you know, you're second guessing yourself. That's the group of uh, Pawan Kumar, M. Dharma and Badal Hussain. Badal seems to be in a little bit of trouble. He, uh, he uh, hoisted his second shot to the right side. He was actually in the best position after the first shot out of this group. Uh, seems like the other two have done pretty well from the bunker. Yeah, both of them uh, have... Uh, Found the fairway. This is Vinay Kumar. By the way, the, the uh, Vinay's caddy is my caddy. Oh, Rich, yeah. But, uh, he has royalty on the back then today. No, no, he, <laughs> he, he, he's a good boy. You know, I, 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 this 
people might not know, but most of the tour caddies. What's his good name? I, I've seen him a lot at Noida Golf Course. He, he's always there. Yeah, his name is Neeraj. Neeraj, uh, Neeraj is yeah. uh, quite a favorite with a lot of good players. I see him uh, in a lot of tournaments. Good on him. And a uh, lot of Noida Golf Course caddies are on tour. It's surprising. I don't know what the, it's in the water or what is it. You know, <laughs> like, I, I, I think now... It's it's all sort of become like an epicenter of players. Uh, I myself from Gurugram, whenever I do play, I actually end up coming here all the way because a lot of professional golfers from Noida. It's been the hub of golf for quite a bit of time in NCR. And you know, it's it's a golf course which is Vinay um, with his second shot on number one. I think it's Caddy telling him to take the uh, safety first doesn't seem to be it. I think he can get there with an iron. No, he's, uh, he's laid up. His caddy wanted him to go for it. but It looked like a three or a four and the yeah. ball came out pretty low. And this is sort of Chaudhary from Mao. That's a good hit off the tee. Well, uh, I think he used a three word and when I used the iron off the tee, so... Sort of... All set. Electric blue golf shoes. You can see that though it's inside and he's re the rhythm is allowing him to make it consistent. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a little opposite of what Kenny Perry used to be back he's in the, the day. opposite of Pawn. It like shows he's, you. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's doing this and he's doing this, you know, so. There's more than one way to skin a cat. You you were speaking uh, previously of Jack Nicklaus. So they gave Tiger a lot of credit for being physically fit and strong. But I believe that Jack Nicklaus was just built different. He was uh, built inc incredibly sturdy. And uh, I, I'm not too sure if he ever did a lot of weight work like Tiger, but he was just naturally gifted. He was a gifted athlete, very strong. Yeah, you know, they didn't, they, he, they play multiple sports in uh, in, co in school in, in, the, in the United States, and he used to be into a lot of other things. He, and then um, it's it's only when they, they he went and played a tournament on the PG I think it was PJ Tour as an amateur, and then he realized that maybe I have a good chance here. Yeah. So it's not like um, they were he was preparing for uh, the PJ Tour like Tiger did. So that. Multiple sports gets you into that athletic frame, you know, like every sport is dominant on one particular uh, aspect of, I would call physical literacy, you know. So like uh, basketball would encourage vertical jump and uh, tennis would encourage change in direction speed. So if you can be good at a lot of these, then you can definitely... Yeah, so a change in direction speed would actually help you in, in getting a faster transition from backswing to down to downswing in, in golf. So it could... That, that might be one of the reasons I've seen um, played, a lot, uh, played some golf with cricketers and they tend to hit the ball quite far. So that, that's arm speed, basically. Because if they're, a, uh, if they're a bowler, they will hit it far. Even batsmen, uh, if you remember, a couple of days back in the day, was really hit it far. He was an all-rounder. But more of a bowler. You know, he's, uh, the batsmen tend to have this very strange head position at address, like they're looking out for the ball coming, but and which is not good for balls. You know, you need, you need to get your alignments correct. So, talking about long hitting, uh, there's an absolute monster of long hitting on the tree. Harsh Jeez, he can get it out there. 21 years of age, I, I think he can still mature a lot more physically and he can add. You know, the frightening thing is he can actually add more distance. Yeah, you know, I think uh, while watching him play yesterday, he needs he needs his clubs fitted out to him. I I, I feel like he needs to uh, you know, get longer clubs. Yes, because, that could actually enable him hitting the ball because, further. You know, Maybe have two drivers, one for accuracy and one just to go no, at no, it. Just you know, you know, I believe that the the the, the club should fit the boy. The boy should not fit the club, and because. Uh, Watching him, and there are other guys on on the PGA Tour who are almost his length, and they ha they don't bend over that much, you know. So I'm I'm sure if he gets himself uh, a nice club fitting job done, he'll uh, anyway he'll uh, he'll swing more consistently and maybe maybe hit it further. And you know, bad posture over a period of time leads to injury. So I think he's using similar length. Like the other players, which yeah. uh, just does not make sense. He's about yeah. 
Towering about good. Uh, Look at his legs, half a foot. His legs are till uh, Chivendra's chest. Yes, and Chivendra himself is a tall lad. Yeah. <laughs> so, shows you that, uh, yes, I think he would need to get club fitting done for sure. And you know, the, 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 the sad part is that in India, we, we don't have the, the inventory to fit out people like Harshit. You know, it's it's difficult for uh, people because the shaft is going to be. Uh, this one seems to be tracking pretty good part. That was Pawan for pa, uh, for birdie on number one, having found the fairway bunker with his tee shot. The good thing about these bunkers is that they're nice, flat and benign. Uh, maybe some other golf course, a fairway bunker. You can, actually, you can hit a wood out of them easily. Yeah, any other, of course, it would have been a little difficult to advance the ball thus that far. So coming back to, you know, club fitting, I, there's, uh, I, I coach a boy who's about six feet five himself. And uh, I had to send him to Dubai and his clubs are two and a half inches longer, but he's not that strong. So the shaft actually had to get lighter. Okay. And the, because the club was getting longer than it. And then because it was going to be longer and it's not going to be tipped, then uh, you need to deal after the heads also because, because the shaft is not getting tipped. So the ball's coming out much higher and the was it the shaft, the clubs were deal off it and a lower spin head was used on the iron head. That's really complicated yeah, it, early it, in the morning. Yes. No, because fitting out somebody like Harshit Sedi is very complicated. It's like, uh, like some people you go to a shop and uh, a certain size fits you immediately and some people go to a shop and they need serious alteration you know to get into that same apparel seems like both of them were fitted from the same shop the ball flights are identical yeah let's see uh harshit's ball flight what's Harshit. commendable that he doesn't hold back there's no safety here it's go time let's see how he does Really craning over you, are, you. I think you're definitely onto something, Amit. Yeah, you know, the only thing is, you know, he when he bends over, he gets really stable. But that's look at the length of that drive. I don't think we've seen anything in that vicinity. It has flown the bunker. About, uh, 35, 40 yards past uh, Sachin's drive, which we saw just now. That's just phenomenal. That shows you raw power, not holding back. And neither this is the exuberance of youth. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see because Shivender, mind you, is a long hitter as well. He's a very long hitter. Shivender can carry the ball good 295 and get it there. So it will be interesting. I don't think if both of them hit it well, they, they can't be more than 10 yards between them. And he goes after it. It's Shivender really interesting to watch. Back. Early in the morning, Dew is there. These players are not holding back. Going with the driver, he might have actually hit it further than Harshjit. No, he got the speed slow, but he's still short of that. <laughs> Let's have a look. They'll be interesting. Let's see what the third player does here. All right, Akshay not holding back. He's uh, staying true to his name, like the hero Akshay Kumar. He doesn't believe in holding back. You know, there's like it's from the movie uh, uh, Tin Cup. Let the big dog bark. Exactly, and the big dogs are all on the tee going with the driver. This like this is what we like to see. Top quality golf. Is stepping on the pedal right in the morning. He likes to favor a fade, uh, not as long as these two, but uh, not a slouch either. Can get it to about 290. You know, they all know that they need to get a move on today. Otherwise, Om Prakash is not going to come. I don't think he's going to come backwards. Yeah, they, they'll have to take the trophy yeah. for him. They're, they're they, not going to get yeah. anything for free. But they, three fantastic drives, drives I think. Yeah. Uh, all in the fairway with the driver. It's a, it's a par five, so you know it you know gets gives you a birdie opportunity straight up in the morning. And Pavan with his par opportunity here should break a little from his right to left, ever so slightly. Yeah, good work done there. It's good to hold a three four footer first up in the morning. It settles the nerves. Sachin seems to be. Uh, I've hit a second shot to the front of the green. He's in the group behind. Badal cleaning up on number one. Not sure what that was for though. That's our penultimate group. Ashjit Sedi, Shivendra Singh Sodia, Akshay Sharma. It's, uh, 
leaves the stage for our final group, Manav Bias. They have a look at the players, hitting their approach shot on the first hole. Pretty intricate uh, design. I like I, I like this uh, the design of the golf course. It's it's the long holes are demanding lengthwise, and the short holes are actually, you know, they you need to it's 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 a strategy hole. Yeah, it's a golf course where you need to keep your focus up the entire duration. Sort of Chaudhary from Mao. You can from here this view will show you how he changes it on the way down. Can be good for the shorter clubs. Uh, so you, the thing is, the, the the sequencing is now in the downswing is more upper body and then lower body because he has to reroute it. And when that means he's not going to use the ground forces so much. So he's not going to be hitting it very far. And there seems to be one ball right next to the flag stick. Yeah, Definitely. I, mean, I think it, that's uh, Vinay Kumar uh, Yadav because... Uh, you can see Sachin, the pitch. You can Sachin, see the pitch mark right there. Sachin Basoya is on the front edge in two. That would have looked good in the air. Yeah. Pawan with this tee shot on number two, the par three. Anytime a par three is over 180 yards, uh, it's not the easiest to make a birdie on. They would probably be going with a six iron. Yeah, front right pin. Good. Getting that bunker in play as well. Yeah, good for someone who's moving it left to right. So I'm saying OP Chohan has a, has a, he's going to relish this one. Yeah, and the first hole as well is a little bit of a fade hole. So I think uh, it's, it's a good start for OP I overall. I think OP uh, will just hit his conventional hybrid of the first tee and then, you know, make it a three shot hole. If you're hitting a wedge, it, it, the, then the pin position doesn't matter that much. Let's see Badal here. You can see they got, it just dropped it inside. Must have, ball started a bit right. Right at the flagstick. Yeah. <laughs> He's coming back. Uh, not bad. That gives him a very real opportunity for birdie. That's a good shot right there. Yes. And the one before that also. That one's also pretty good. Uh, people are showing us a higher caliber of golf first up in the morning compared yes, to yesterday. I, I, yeah. I, I uh, was about to point that out as well that it seems that uh, they're, they're here playing with intent. Yes. Even somebody like Sachin, who finds himself at two under par, six behind. I think that's what also, uh, there's a difference because he's already a winner on tour. Once you've tasted blood, you know, you you, you want uh, a little more. more of that. Yeah. So, you know, finishing second is not that interesting to him right now. He just wants to make sure that he gets to a, to a hot start and hopes Om Prakash has a bad. It's, as, it's as, as, also, as the opposite one. Also, it's really um, exhilarating to be, uh, you know, contending, whether uh -huh. you win or don't. Uh, that's why a lot of these players actually play golf. That it should mean something. Each shot should mean something. If you're playing, uh, you know, you're playing in the end in the boondogs and nobody's really watching you. You are making money, but eventually you do want that rush of adrenaline. And uh, you can see sort of uh, using uh, the rules of golf to his benefit, taking his preferred lie of one club. So he gets an easier putt. So there's less borrow in his putt. Yeah, that's important. Know your rules and uh, the, the rules of golf are there to aid the players. And that's uh, what he's and been able to take. a lot of gardening of. going on on the first screen. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, also because the, uh, the change in the rules of golf have allowed the players that they don't need to think that much. Uh, previously, you couldn't repair spike marks or inundations, but now, um, you know, the, with the change in rule, you can just go on about and, uh, uh, you know, if there's any mark that has been caused by another player, a uh, player's um, footwear or his putter or anything, you can fix that. And you know what, the, the, I remember when I started playing golf, uh, we were allowed metal spikes and then it was discontinued because, you know, spike marks used to, you know, affect play. I think they, I, I think they should allow metal spikes again. Let's see how that uh, part goes after that uh, change in position. He looks like a calm character, you know. You can see that he's uh, not everything. His demeanor looks like he's uh, 
in control of his well it's it's uh, i mean i'm pretty certain that you're right but uh, the only litmus test is when things are when you're under the gun uh, when there's a little bit of pressure on that's when you can actually see how others are reacting there's certain players right one player comes to mind from our tour is ajitesh sandhu you know you, you can't really tell if he's playing well or you know he's having a bad day i've seen him on tv make a double or triple and just walks it off uh, and then there are others who are very emotive so it, it's obviously different kind of players but uh, it must take a lot to not exhibit emotion when uh, you know you want to you know uh, coming back to the the fact that in the long, long hitting is uh, is so important now but from you will see that uh, Saurav has done pretty well for himself in this event. He's uh, then look like he's the longest of the tee. Yeah, so obviously this it has the the complexion of the game has changed as we have a look at uh, Sachin. Should be a straightforward putt for him. This is uh, maybe she's just on the right, right inside. Yeah, maybe yeah. right inside firm. Seems to have just hit it a little too soft. Yeah, was a little yeah. tentative. Yes, but. Um, it's all okay. Yeah, worked out well in the end, a birdie. So the game has sort of changed its complexion over the last 15 years. Long, hit long hitting has become so much more important. <clears throat> I think previously it was uh, maybe an added advantage, but not something which is considered so important. But now with international exposure, world ranking points, foreigners coming here, Indians playing. Uh, I was just seeing the leaderboard on the ADT event recently concluded, peppered with Indian players. I must say that... Uh, yeah. Our players are as good as any now. Yeah, it's, it's from the domestic tour that has grown so much. You know, uh, it's the 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 so in sport the pyramid, the top of the pyramid is the best player in your country, right? The bottom of the pyramid determines how high the top is. Valid point. In that aspect, I think we we have a good uh, cache of players now. Yeah, you have 600 entering for the qualifying school, uh, Shorya. So that shows that the pyramid is growing at the bottom. Yes. I think the strategic partnership with uh, the DP World Tour and, you know, our Nimero Uno getting to play there, it, it's going to make a world of difference as we have a look at Dharma. Yeah, it looks like it, that was the ball close to the Fantastic. Back. Look at that. Uh, starting off early, Dharma M with a birdie. Yep. So they're saying um, Manu Gandas obviously gets to play on the DP World Tour, has some good, decent um, starts and, and has made a few cuts and done well as well. So uh, other than that, we have really good partners, even the, the PGA Tour and uh, Rolex and uh, Tata Steel, man. They have really, really supported golf. He has the support of the corporate houses, but I, I was just um, alluding to the thing that having that chance of playing directly on a big tour, which wasn't there 10 years ago, if you're number one, you wouldn't get into a DP World Tour, but now you can. So yeah. that's such a big, uh, that's something so big to play for. These players just get directly onto the biggest world stage. And that's that's uh, that's really something. You know, but another thing I was, uh, I was just reading about that, Let's watch Pawan Hiris get uh, his par attempt on number one. That's our final group, uh, minus bias on the team. Going with the iron, you see that uh, familiar pre-shot routine. Manas bias playing with the big boys today. And he comes from DLF Golf and Country Club. And it's, it's, it's a tight track. So uh, not, uh, not too bad, not in the fairway, but hasn't hurt himself. That's important early in the day if you're young and you're playing the leader group, just get off to a decent start. You know, I was, well, <laughs> this is a funny story. Uh, this is the, it was a Ryder Cup and. Uh, Couple now, taking it towards the right hand side of the tee, tends to favor a fade with that uh, unique golf swing of his uh, 31 yeah, years. Unique phase. leg action. Yes, he see. <laughs> Seems to be doing a, a little bit of the jive, it seems, on the tee. There you go. Moves like Jagger. Huh? Yes, exactly. He's got the moves like Jagger and he's uh, been able to way, go beyond that bunker. That's a decent drive. But just gives you an idea how far Shivinder and uh, Harshit have hit it. They, they pitched the ball a good 15 yards past this point. Uh, that, fair, that bunker ends at 260. So it's about 255 to carry it. 
260 to carry it. 260 to carry it. So safe so to assume that it carried at about three, 300, 300, 310. Yeah. There you have uh, the leader teeing off Om Prakash Chauhan, uh, no requirement of a driver when you can hit your rescue iron so well. So our leader is off and he's on to his journey for number nine. Okay. Talking about, uh, the first hole tee shot is probably the most uh, demanding of all shots if you are in a position of, uh, of importance in a tournament, right? And uh, was... I, there was an interview with uh, Webb Simpson, who's uh, played the Ryder Cup for the, for the United States, and he was playing against Justin Rose. And you know the the the, in, the the pressure on the first year, the Ryder Cup is the most in golf. Like the the the, the whole arena is built for exhilaration. And Webb Simpson takes out his three word and skies it. Yes, I remember and that. Skies yeah. it, and it, the, the camera guy had to come 75 yards forward because to cover his ball. And uh, Justin Rose is with his three-word on the tee as well. And he looks at the tee shot, goes to his caddy, changes it to a driver, and hits his driver. <laughs> Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. That I remember the first time I played the Indian Open as an amateur, uh, teeing it up uh, on the range. I went there, there was one side, there was Graham McDowell, on the other side, I remember there was some other European tour player. And I was playing pretty well before that to get into that event. And I just lost my swing looking at them. I could not connect the ball after that. So that tells you the pressure. And when I went on the tee, Obviously, some feel it a lot more than other than they end up in the commentary booth. But <laughs> so that um, you know, it's it's about how you handle that pressure. So now, when I look at somebody who's 21 and playing the leader group, you know, you do feel the heat. You're playing with somebody who has so many stars on his epaulet, <laughs> so as to speak. You know, he's an eight-time champion. You do feel the heat. But these guys are these guys are different. Absolutely, you know, they've been coached by people like you, and you know, you've trained them and and other coaches oh, as well. Really good. Pitching action, but you know that was on plane, like up and down, good lines. You see, the ball didn't have much movement; it had a very neutral flight. Yeah, that was a good shot. So I'm saying that the youngsters are are taking, uh, you know, they're learning from mentors and coaching, and they they're handling pressure a lot better. That's a difference that I see, which was not there. That previously we used to think that you need to ease into things, but that's not the thought anymore. Juniors are becoming professionals and going straight for it. Yeah, and you know it's good that the the game is going younger. The 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 average age on the tour has decreased considerably. So I, when I was playing, I remember when with, we had Vijay Kumar, Ali Shea, Basad Ali, and the likes. And the average age must have been like thirty five. Yes, 30, 35. Now it's not. Now it's more between twenty five and thirty. You know. Maybe, so, maybe, maybe, maybe less, maybe maybe less, less to be also. honest. And uh, I think one thing also that, that can be attributed, uh, Hashti seems to be here in two. Yep. <clears throat> Not certain if I've seen anybody else on the dance floor this week on the screen. So it's the longest flag shadow ever seen. So your father's shadow is gone. Yes, the sun is just about rising. And so is Harshjit uh, here in two, an easy two putt birdie. What a luxury that is on a 590 yard hole, yeah, and early morning dew. He could have, he could have used, he did use a little bit of weight transfer. He had, he needed to. But just think about yeah. it. What we, we're talking about a 590 yard hole, mm -hmm. early morning dew. Yeah. These fairways are not rolling that much. So it just shows you that he, he can get there on, uh, you know, 600 plus hole as well. Yeah, absolutely. He's got long levers. He's athletic. Still could use some club hitting. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that when he'll watch the rerun, that's the first thing he'll do. Now we have a look at that split screen, giving you not one, but two. That's what you get when you watch the ABP network. Yeah, that's the, on your right is uh, par three, hole number two. On the left is the par five. First hole. And, and for those of you joining us, uh, you can follow us on www.pgtofindia.com. Uh, you can also go over to social media of the ABP network. 
or the PGT of India. You can follow our professional golfers. It's very easy. Normally, their first name and then uh, golf <laughs> as a suffix. <laughs> Not very imaginative, but that's uh, how the Instagram handles are for most of our players. But uh, you can follow them, see their routines and uh, what they like. We have a lot of players from every state in the country. That's uh, it's it's a truly representative tour. And uh, on your left hand side, Akshay. So that takes him to six under. Two shots back now. Yeah, putting on the heat early on. Winner for birdie on number two. Having birdie the first hole. That would be quite the start if he can make that. Uh, that's a good run, nevertheless. Yeah. Shivinder for his birdie as well. So seems like a lot of birdies uh, for these early on. Early on for this uh, group, making the most of distance. Also, you know, I, I, I'll, I'm, I'm, you know, I haven't seen Shivendra uh, swing for a while, but just saw him on the first hole. It's good right now. I saw him at the gym uh, at where I stay in Guru Gram one day. Uh, he doesn't quite stay there, but uh, I was pleasantly surprised by seeing him there. So obviously, he does visit the weight room as well. That distance doesn't come easy. Good, yeah. easy birdie for him though. Sachin for birdie on number two. On the right of your screen. Oh, brilliant. Really good birdie there on number two by Sachin. That takes him to four under. Yes, so unfortunate miss. Uh, it's the shortest club in the bag, uh, which is which has its which has a mind of its own for Harshi. Two lusty blows to get there in five ninety, but uh, three way, putts after that. That's what golf is. By the way, he had bad start. With All right, so maybe so, uh, he had one of those, one of the only players to have bo bogeyed the first hole in the last. Four groups. So maybe that's an ominous start for him. Sort of. For birdie on number two. Shortest of the lot. Oh, narrowly missing on the high side. Good try. It's always good to miss on the high side. What? Uh, must have misread it a bit. Vene cleaning up on number two. With, with the power on, on the second hole. So it seems like uh, the chasing pack is not going to let go easily. Look at that. That was a real uh, low tracer right there. A bullet of the tee. Big it's interesting that his, uh, his chest is pointing towards the left hand side. That's not a bad thing though. It's a lot of rotation though. That's yeah, it actually uh, it gives you more control of the club head. So is that something that uh, maybe can be emulated in parts, not well, in you entirety? Know, uh, if they, you know, there's so much of uh, technology now in golf, and we didn't know what was right and what was wrong, and th there is no right and wrong either. But there's something which is in common amongst all the good players, and. The study done by the Titleist Performance Institute uh, showed that at an average, the, the upper body is about 55 degrees open at, it, at impact for the top players. And 50 to 55 and maybe 55 to 60 on the lower body. So you can see there's a match up there. So rotation is the key. And seems like Shivinder has it dialed down. Let's see where that ball ends up. 
really hiked that up a nice and a high nice shot. Flight. It has a nice flight to it. Yeah. And, you know, coming back to that, if you are not rotating, the club head is rotating. Open and close it. You can go both ways. Akshay, on number two. This uh, flag should really favor him. You can yeah. see that he stands open. Likes it with the feet. He starts it in the center. Let's it bleed back a bit. I'm also seeing over the last uh, three or four years, he's definitely added a few pounds of muscle. He's uh, definitely he's added a lot of strength. Line also. Yeah. Brilliant shot. Look at that shot. Yeah. He couldn't have placed it any better. It's like it was, it's, it was like tailor made for him, this spin position. Bakshi back in the used to be a little leaner, has added, uh, been visiting the weight room. And I think that's so important now with the way the game is. Yeah, Actually. strength is always good. Uh, you know, it helps you accelerate more. And because the the stronger you are, you the faster you can decelerate. And when you can decelerate faster, you can accelerate faster. Let's have a look here at Harshit with what appears to be a toothpick in his arm, <laughs> in his hands, but uh, yeah, obviously it's, not. It's, you know, it's... Uh, it's That's really it's, high. It's, it's yeah. coming down from... Uh, Quite a yes. height. Yes, maybe I have some ice on it. <laughs> might uh, might be plugged as well in these bunkers, although they're rather shallow. So the I chance of that. Uh, I think he hit the lip on the side lip. It was uh, almost almost working itself back onto the green. There's a lot of intent in Chivendra's walk right now. You know, Manav on number one. Uh, pulled it a bit with this approach shot. This will be a let me test his nerves a bit. This is not a fast green, but you know, chipping on these greens, I would say, is tougher than chipping on faster greens. Yes, uh, especially something like this where you it's don't have much green and you have to still pitch it in the perfect spot. Let's see how he does. A good technique there, you know, you got the ball rolling. It's very important when the greens are not that fast, a slow, slower green, you need to get the ball rolling and not checking. Opie, with his birdie attempt on number one. You can see he's a little bit like uh, hits it off the toe of his putter. Yeah, that uh, brisk walk by Opie. So he'll not be making birdie here. Kapil with his birdie attempt on number one. This, this could uh, bring him into a share of the lead. Harshit from the bunker on number two. That's a pretty good bunker shot yeah. by Harshit. Really good uh, technique there. Very soft hands, letting the club head do the work. Shivind with his buddy attempt. Kapil on the left of your screen with the birdie putt on number one. This will take him to eight under for a share of the lead with Om Prakash Chauhan. Yeah, but that was smooth. I think uh, looks like he's more in control of his nerves right now. He had some some uh, iffy strokes yesterday, you know, uh, felt like he was coming out of it. It's going to be important who can actually hold his nerve. Absolutely. And all around him would be losing theirs. And that's uh, what will determine the champion. 
it's like that there's a very famous poem called if if you can keep your head when all about their all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you yes i think that's also uh written on uh quite a few famous uh, sporting grounds as well i believe lords of, of uh, wimbledon yes nda is as well by the way there you go oh so chivendra narrowly missing his birdie on number two man of cleaning up on number one it's it's a really famous poem by um Rudyard, Rudyard Kipling, Rudyard, yeah. yeah, Rudyard Kipling, and um, uh, my my coach and mentor's favorite as well. Oh, your coach and mentor is quite the colorful character, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Llewellyn. He has more elves in his name than anybody on this planet. I, that's what I think. Very difficult name uh, to pronounce. I yes. remember back in the day, I, I took quite a while to understand. Uh, I think he has seven elves in his name. Yes. I believe still going strong and still coaching. Yes, absolutely. He's uh, back in Melbourne uh, at Clifton Springs. No, actually, he's in. Uh, he's got his own academy now. Well done there, Akshay. Getting off to a hot start there. Easy does it. Birdie, birdie takes him to seven under. So, Om Prakash Chauhan will uh, need to get into high gear pretty soon. The pursuing pack is not going to make it easy for him. Well, both of them are look like they're full of energy today, Akshay and uh, Shivendra. So they might just feed off each other, you know. Harshit cleaning up. Good par there. The second hole is a 197-yard par three. Pins on the front right. Most players are going to be using their six sign, I guess, other than Harjit. Badal cleaning up on number three. This is the group of Badal Hussain, Pawan Kumar, and M. Dharma on the third hole. Third hole is a 463 yard par four dog leg left. A lot of red numbers in the in the last four groups on the first two holes. Very benign conditions, hardly any wind. And the players, temperature. Players are making the most of it. Manav with his tee shot on number two. You can see he's trying to. Uh, Flatten it out, coming down, so it, trying to get back on plane. It looks on he's on plane right now. Yes, so you can see that his uh, maybe just wanted to overdid with the the fade a bit. We'll have that too. We'll have to get up and down from there to make par. Let's see if he can emulate what Harshit was able to do. Om Prakash Chauhan. That's another player who would really like this, oh, this uh, pin is, position. This is. Uh, it's green light in his eyes right now. He's licking his chops. He's I, I, anything. This looks like he pulled it a bit though. Also looked like a sizable divot. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not the cleanest contact. Mm -hmm. Looked a bit, a bit quick there. Yes. Not the ideal start for him, especially given where this flag is. Could the eight-time champion be having a few butterflies in his stomach? I don't think so. Well, it's very early day, early days right now. So you know he's just uh, trying to go to fight, try to find his rhythm, and then he'll. It all starts in the back nine, I guess. Because but it's tight. You know we have uh, a share for uh, for the lead. It's quite the uh, uh, Kapil Kumar at eight under. Then you have Akshay at seven, Shivendra and Maya Manav at five. So it's it's tight up there. 
unfortunate miss for dharma there seems to have pulled it yeah he, he, was, he, he was out of it before he hit it so that's <laughs> that's just showing that there wasn't sure of the line or nerves anxiety anytime you you're kind of anxious about something and not sure about it he, I think anytime you inside five feet, uh, that's that's the region that that gave me a lot of difficulty inside five feet. Uh, you expect to hold it. I think expectation is the devil. You expect to hold it, and then you try to get the perfect line. Um, you know, from five feet, if you get the line right and the speed right, and you and even if you don't get the stroking correct, you might still hold it. But the line and speed has to be absolutely correct. And that's quite difficult to get because there's so many variables involved. So if you have, you know, sometimes you'll have really good putting weeks, you'll, you'll, you'll find out that you always hit the right speed. And, and some weeks you won't, you know, it's we golfers and not just golfers, sportsmen, they can't peak every day, every week. They only set eight, maximum nine peak weeks a year. Others are just, you know, uh, other weeks are preparing for the peak week. Peak week. Yeah. When you're firing on all cylinders. Yeah. Sometimes when the when when you, you might you might still win when you're on your uh, when you're not on your peak, but you might be mentally completely there. You know. You know something uh, seems like the players who are teeing off on the back nine. Um, you know, there's a familiar tale of "woe is me." <laughs> Seems like we're getting off to a quite a painful start. We're seeing uh, Devesh Rana with the with the triple there, and then you're seeing Mani Ram on hole number uh, twelve with a triple bogey. Devesh with a double. You're seeing Manish Thakran starting off with a triple bogey on hole number ten. So I don't know what it is about the back nine and uh, every really good chip there. Everybody's again over par. You're looking at uh, Lakshya Nagar. Uh, sorry, uh, Trishul Chanapa, Harsh Gang Gangwar. Victor Hans, Mohammed Azhar, all of them are over par and making bogeys in the first three holes. I guess, you know, um, uh, a lot of things, when you're on the, on the 10th tee, there's, you are, uh, I know when I've been on the 10th tee, the final two rounds, <laughs> I just felt that, you know, I was on the wrong side of the, of the, of the golf course. I for one felt at home because, because <laughs> I always, after making the cut, had the tee off from the 10th. So. It also depends if you're used to teeing off at the front or the back. So let's see what uh, this youngster can do now. Strong grip. You see that he's uh, quite the wrist movement is less, so that means the ball is going to come out flatter. Yeah, it did come out flatter and really hot. And that was from the grip and the and the lack of wrist movement. So if you want something to come out softer. The wrist has to be a soft. Yeah, he's a little bit like Bryson DeChambeau from the bunker, where you know have the lack of wrist hinge. Rely more on the bigger muscles. That's not ideal in bunker play. You need that artistic touch. So a short bunker shot like this, if you were to draw a comparison with another sport, would be a drop shot just over the net in badminton. All right, or maybe a bunt shot in baseball. Or <laughs> a soft, it's yeah. Soft, or, 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 one of those shots in cricket where you kind of just flick it over the the infield for a four. That's how it's done. Yeah. You see, there was much more softer with the wrist. There was ball came out softer. I know. I've always seen uh, that un not unconventional, but players with um, swings that are not too conventional are really good with the short game. Whereas players who have uh, really good golf swings tend to struggle a little bit around the greens. So maybe it's very difficult to be good in both the departments because you need that artistic touch. You so need no, the... it's, it's, it's again, come here. So, so you, like you, your, your technique has got less wrist in it. So then you're going to be uh, hampered when it comes to short game. Short game doesn't need that wrist to be soft. Then vice versa, it's too wristy. Then the, the long game, that means you're using your hands too much. It's going to bring the club. The club is going to do too much then. The club head, and which in turn makes the ball do too much. Then comes the, the the neutral part where you have a technique, Adam Scott, brilliant yeah. short game also. Putting is a different game altogether, by yes. the way. So, but you see Adam Scott, very neutral, very uh, uh, even Tiger, brilliant short brilliant game. short game. So you see that you have to get your technique needs to be in such a way that it's it complements everything, you know. 
let's see what uh, Manav can do here after that uh, underwhelming bunker shot. Can he make amends on the putting green? The putter can make amends to a lot of things. Yes, absolutely. It's a get out of jail card if you can wield it properly. Yeah, from what I've seen, his, his stroke looks good. So it's bring a good roll on the ball, uh, Shorya. Yeah, they missed good... it. The ball wasn't jumping that much. Yes, it was a good part by him, but yeah. unfortunate uh, for him that he would drop a shot. You know, just uh, it's sometimes in the in the in tournament golf is where you miss it. Exactly. You know, Om Prakash's shot maybe must have, might have looked worse of the team as yes, a, as his contact his yeah. contact would have been but worse. He missed at the right yeah. place and if you look at proximity to hole uh, manavs would have been a lot better yeah absolutely if you uh, drew a short tracer you would say okay this is a much better shot but yeah. one you miss at the right place you make power if you miss it maybe not that great a place yes so professional ball, golf yeah. is a little bit like chess as well you need to know where the rook, bishop, or the knight is going to go. You need to plan it accordingly. Absolutely. So it's you know uh, also uh, another thing you know people uh, for, for for the viewers who are playing golf, club golfers, the top players don't pl look at the, the the flag as such. They make goalposts. Now the goalposts with depends on the club in your hand and how good your feel that week is. It might be narrow when you're feeling good and the club is shorter. And it'll be wider. And uh, if the club is longer or your feel is not so good, but they'll always say, okay, this is where I want to hit it. Because even if I miss it, it and it stays and will stay inside here. And I'm okay with this because I can make par. Yeah, let's see what kind of goalpost uh, he's made for himself there, just uh, beyond the green. It sort of looks like um, his uh, short game would be good because the, the, just the way he swings the club. You can see that little bit of hinge. Maybe yeah, that's, uh, that's where that uh, slow green surface yeah. comes into play. It makes it very difficult. I, I find that the 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 chips from just off the green much tougher when touch it's, shots. Yeah, yeah, when when it's slow. Because the problem is that uh, you can just as easily run it by as well if you get that top spinning one. So you're always careful that you want good contact. Because okay. you expect the green to do the rest. Not just that. You know, sometimes uh, when the green is fast, you just know. Okay, if I land it here, I'll finish there. Yes. Out here, you need to hit it, you yes. know, and it has to go till there. And it's quite difficult because yeah, because the, all the all the time you're making it just land and make yes. it roll up till there, you know. So it's just just the whole uh, the, all the calculations uh, change. Vinay on number three. This is the group of Vinay Kumar Yadav, Sachin Basoya, and uh, Saurav Chaudhary. Is Caddy, who's uh, from Noida Golf Course, Neeraj, showing him the line where he wants the ball to go over. So let's see if how good that was. Whether he can get it over the spot, or at least after that, he has to hit the right speed also. Yeah, see that? It's always going to... So these medium length parts on slow greens are... You forget that you need to hit it. Okay, sort of. Uh, he's giving himself more work than he would want. Yes, especially after that. Uh, the chip looks fairly straightforward, but uh, nothing in golf ever turns out to be straightforward. The straightforward ones sometimes hurt you the most. Let's see if this uh, should break a little bit to his left. Just to hit it to the hole, though. Unfortunate. You see how the ball is just about making it to the hole every time. Yeah. The ones coming to a quick halt as yeah. well. It's like uh, 
there's a like a one of those air parachute <laughs> braking systems on the ball and it takes off and yeah. something is pulling it back right yes absolutely hope he would be hoping that everybody deploys that kind of a system while he has uh, one of those wing suits to run away talking about uh, flying and uh, wing suits uh, only one person comes to mind dig vijay singh and your good friend jyoti randhawa both of them uh, do a lot of adventure sport so you know uh, we have we have the same coach right so i was talking to him and he says um, he asked me so what is jyoti doing and what is diggy doing i said yeah uh, skydiving so he says you know men their age are looking at the sky and seeing where they want to go and they are looking down and seeing where they want to land they're in the wrong direction <laughs> <laughs> well that's fantastic uh, to be able to do that at uh, you know i mean age is just a number for them but they've always been uh, thrill seeking and i think that makes golf a lot easier i would think that if you can uh, do such high adrenaline high risk activities then playing golf would seem like nothing uh, like just a walk in the park it would definitely ease the nerves as you, well, you know life is not just about uh, you know profession and passion are two different things absolutely you know? you know that's where the slow greens come into play that ball could have released a little more for sandeep too much height on it uh, but he, that was a good shot though yeah but you got to get the ball rolling faster you're not thinking of you know this it's a, it's a, you have to change that mindset and you'll see that members of this golf course who play will be chipping with seven irons yes members uh, invariably always chip with chip. seven hands yeah, or, they, or their favorite chipping they have chipper, that uh, chipper, chipper yeah bigger chipper my father used to have that when and, we started golf if, if if you give a member of the golf course that chip he would take a seven iron he wouldn't think about it he'd roll it to within two feet yes uh, so maybe deliberation is uh, is the villain just go ahead and take the flattest club yeah you know it's, it's so it's 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 slow so you need to get it there yes. if it's fast you need to stop it Sandeep, uh, we're at that uh, downhill part to contend with now uh, here at hole number nine. And for those of you who are joining us, uh, first of all, we'd like to thank you that you're joining us early on a Saturday morning here at Jammu Tavi Golf Course. Uh, we're bringing you the final day's action at JNK Open 2023 presented by JNK Tourism. This tournament uh, boasts of a prize fund of 50 lakh. And... Uh, total of uh, 50 players in fact have made the cut uh, just on the number and so, good for the 50 then yes uh, you, you know otherwise you can do the reserve money which is not nice yes so the prize fund uh, will be distributed amongst all the players who made the cut uh, but not uh, proportionately the winner does get uh, 8 lakhs so there's a lot to play for in terms of monetary reward let's see if Sandeep can make his bar looks like he's got it really good oh that's uh He's been uh, fooled twice by this hole, leaving both the chip and the putt short, unfortunately. And this tournament has seen some uh, good golf, has been difficult in terms of scoring. So the tournament that we were talking about, this has always been a high scoring event, um, very difficult to procure low rounds here in this golf course and our long hitting uh, prodigious uh, player yeah, is just finding careful. out. That's our cable Shorya that he's stamping on. Yes, uh, yeah. please be mindful. Yeah, We really do enjoy talking <laughs> about the game. Yeah, just don't make sure it doesn't get entangled on this, these long legs of yours and <laughs> rip yeah, it out. Yeah, so. You can see the amount of dew on the fairways. That means uh, you know, there's a big difference in playing golf at the, on this golf course this time of the year in the morning and the afternoon. Yes, I, was, I would, I would, would, I would be curious to know the scoring average difference between the morning tee offs and the afternoon tee offs. Well, what's your take? I, I for one, feel that uh, morning tee offs on the back nine would be even more difficult. I think uh, front nine, at least, you sort of ease into it with that par five. Yeah, absolutely. There's no question about it. But you know, with the dew uh, on the on the surface, you can see that the golf course is going to play much longer in the morning. Yes. So if we, if we did an analysis of the people playing the first two rounds, we had half morning, half yeah, afternoon tee offs. I would like to know the difference in the scoring between the morning tee offs and the afternoon tee offs, both days. 
Yes, so you can you can you, you can you can come to a you know we'll get to know how much what the effect of dew dew is. I see how it affects harsh teeth here. I like that action. He drive he, he really drove himself. Yeah, it came out well. Yeah, yeah. That, see, it had that little bit of like the moment he drove into it, it's going to roll a bit. So I also felt uh, that you know when back in my playing days that uh, early morning conditions. Uh, really favor longer hitters more i feel Absolutely. because and high high ball fright. high ball longer hitters yes. and afternoon favors medium to short hitters yes because it becomes difficult for longer hitters to control it in the wind because they tend to miss more fairway than for shorter hitters they can actually utilize that condition baked hot conditions help uh, medium hitters more you know and uh, uh just like pin positions uh some brilliant position, execution uh, by you see how fast he got it rolling on yes so uh, that all is, you know, and he comes from Panchkula. I think he plays in Panchkula, doesn't he? Yes. Uh, yeah. So very similar putting surfaces. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Aided him here. And Opi Chauhan also from Mao. It's similar surfaces there as well. Shivendra powering it through the break there. Surprised by the ball not turning. Ashit is indigenous way of lining up the ball. Two, two and a half footer for par on number three. Sure, you see, this is the, the mental side of the game. He missed a really short one on number one, which was very similar. And yet he was, he really took a lot of time over that one. But that will, that will have settle his nerves though. Yeah, you don't want to be compounding errors early in the day. After missing a short one on number one, he's actually hold two short ones after that. The group of Abhinav Lohan, Sanjeev Kumar from Lucknow, and Arjun Prasad. Arjun Prasad, uh, so very hard working golfer, seen in uh, Gurugram practicing in different golf courses. Very even keeled young man. I think that's also a, a common trait these days amongst the younger players. They seem to be a lot more mature. Good part. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, they they have technologies change a lot, and you know, you don't might not need your coach there at in person. You can just uh, video it, and you can practice at a, at a place close to where you live. Well done. I think the the most important thing as far as technique with is concerned growth is the, the the modern day mobile phone it is the most spectacular thing that happened as far as technical growth in golf is concerned your your phone earlier i remember in, in the mid 90s shoria i had I, I was probably one of the only people with this high speed camera uh, i was from uh, and I had the small digital video cassettes in 1997 it cost me a lakh and a half. Just imagine. And this phone, which has got the same features. It was also interesting that uh, obviously you had that kind of uh, green back. So that's interesting as well to be. No, I, was, <laughs> I, I had a really good job. With the, I had a really good job with the NGC. You know, I, I, 
I realized that I need something to see my goals too much. That's the first time I got coaching in my life. Ten years after I started was my first coaching assignment, and then I realized that how do I check this thing? If I can't see it, I can't tell anybody else to check it. How do I check it? I need to record it now. The other cameras you couldn't see anything. Yeah, was, everything was a blur. The, the swing was too fast. So this one had nine, one nine, one ten thousand of a second shutter speed. So you could actually see the dimple on the golf ball also. But that was it. Was either that or the basic camera? There was nothing in the middle. Yes, I do okay. remember what you're saying. So uh, now the the phone is doing the same thing, and it's one fifth the price. You can make a call with it also, and uh, see how easy things have become. Yes, of course. Uh, now you see a lot of more players are technical as far as their games are concerned. At least then they they can improve their technique easily. You know, they can look at it and they can fix it. There we could not when you can't look at it, you don't know what to look for anyway. So you're not fixing it. Basically, it was all feel oriented. Okay, it's drawing today too much. Let me let let me try to you know hit a few fades, sort it out a bit, and that's the only thing we could do. Nothing else. Oh, this is our leaderboard. You can see there's a tie for lead at eight under with with uh, Om Prakash Chauhan and Kapil Kumar. I did speak previously that uh, Kapil Kumar. Uh doesn't save his best for last <laughs> but uh, maybe this time it will be uh, a, a change uh, from that trend hopefully he can uh, make it happen be, he's not going to be the bridesmaid yes. right i don't think he's been the bridesmaid either he really does capitulate on the final day he's, he's been leading but he tends to fall by the wayside maybe this time that uh, that that scar tissue would have built up and he he would have learned his lessons from war i i always feel like we come there come here so often that means that he has a capability it's is that indeed form and capability are two different things his capability is is there because he's getting is getting there form is something that comes undone you might you might want to just introspect a bit on how he behaves differently or what he does differently when it comes to the last round and then improve on it anup seems to be uh, in the sun sand, sun sunbathing sun bathing early in the morning thankfully for him these bunkers are flat and and rather easy to navigate not any steep lips so it's uh, fairly benign and that view as well is fairly benign shows you i would say that golf uh, is probably the only game that you can enjoy in nature and all this luxury i think like uh, like it's been said it's a good a good walk <laughs> walk yeah. on bad man yeah we so, never we never do enjoy tournament no. golf when you're looking at anything you're just so focused golf at all. Like, you know they say that uh, once you leave golf full time like yourself and then you enjoy you can never enjoy it because when you try to play you're competing yep. and then you have expectations and they normally are never met such as manav seems to have uh, looked a little bit too much into the nature uh, to the trees i hope he's not uh, found himself there that seemed to have been a cold top a chilly dip so again you know it's because the wrist is uh, so stiff and this he's going to produce lag coming in at the angle of attack is going to be too the art is too this wide. this bunker shot sorry to interject is the most difficult the 30 yard bunker shot how would you say i i always used to think that maybe take a wedge and have a safety first sort of chunk it out there make it fall about good 15 20 25 feet so you get that safety first approach but a lot of players are adventurous and try to hit the spinning one what's your take he spins a bit not much but i think you know you need to practice this shot more than other shots it's and he's the, he's the, gone off weird off to the right as well so the you can see there's a little bit of a bit of pin has a bit of cut spin on it so it's gone to the right but the tougher shots you just need to uh, practice more and and uh, if you remember growing up you never really had any place you can practice the 40 yard bunker shot cuz you would never get that shot there would be no space in practice ranges to so to hit that 40 yard bunker shot 50 yard bunker it. shot i'll we're going to talk about this 40 yard bunker shot vis-a-vis -vis one of the top players in the world right now kapil with this birdie attempt on number 3 and a bit behind shorya 
but not too bad for a green which is so slow because that adds loft that makes the ball roll you better. called it oh almost made it that was a really beautiful role imparted yeah, that, by him you know you can see his hands were behind he was going to add loft it's going to you know get the ball out of the of the depression it was sitting in which is not visible by the eye but it is all the ball sits inside the grass so you need a little bit of loft to get it out so coming back to 40 yard bunker shots um uh, this was a story uh, narrated by a very famous coach, Pete Cowan, and he had, he was also the the national coach for the Irish uh, national squad junior squad, and he had met a 13 year old Rory McIlroy when he went for the first time, and uh, he, you know exuberance of youth says oh, I can every shot he's hit oh I can hit this, and he was showing the shot, and then Pete Cowan took him to the this shot, uh, we've seen quite a few players come up short. Let's see how he does from here. He's got that stiff wrist. It's, it's easy for him. It's got a bit. It's going to be for him. Yeah, a lot better than yeah. uh, the previous uh, efforts so, by other players. So uh, Pete Cowan shows him how to do it, and he's not being able to do it. And then he goes away, and he says, the, the, the session is over, and he says, Pete, uh, uh, he, Pete Cowan comes three months later for the same camp. And Rory takes him to the bunker and says, I'll show you. So you can see that Rory took the ownership of that particular activity. And then he said, we practiced for three months. And when Pete was back, he showed him the shot. And Pete was really impressed. So how, how did he execute it? What are the technique? Yeah. And uh, while we talk about that execution, uh, a very warm welcome and good morning to you all. And uh, we're also waiting for your comments. Let us know what you think about the tournament and who's your favorite player and Opie. what would you like to hear more of? Well, uh, we are uh, open to all suggestions and uh, questions. You can ask us anything regarding this game of golf and uh, PGTI in, in general. And we would love to help you with, uh, with any queries. Absolutely. And even if you are new to the game, uh, you can you know share your doubts and how this game is played. And if you want to pick up the game, you can share that as well. We'll tell you a good route, how you can go on about it. You can go over to our website. And the great thing about Golf Amit is that every golf course, maybe barring one odd, allows you to go maybe pay a small sum of 200, 300 rupees, get to the yeah, range yeah. You know, and just start hitting golf balls. You know, uh, people who don't are not associated to golf think it's this this fortress, Alcatraz, you can't get inside, you know, it's it's only for members, but that's not true. Golf courses. It, are, it, it is a fortress. Once you get inside, you can't get out. It's such yeah, an addictive no. game that, uh, yeah, you know. It's like that uh, song, Hotel California. Yeah. You can check out anytime, <laughs> you can never leave. But for, golf, for people who are not playing this game, all golf courses have give you, especially in our country, uh, give you the leverage to go pay a very nominal fees to practice and practice. And practice is very important when you're starting off. You don't even need to own a set of clubs. You can, you can actually rent, rent a set of yeah. club, one club, two clubs, a whole set if you want. So it's not as difficult as you think it is. Exactly. So I would recommend that uh, maybe yourself, your wards and, and uh, for juniors, it's a good game to pick up. I think you learn so much about patience, honor, and uh, obviously honesty as well. And those are qualities that are going to hold you in good stead. You don't need to be a professional. You don't need to make a life out of it. But I think as a game, it teaches you a lot. What, uh, Shorya, you know, you people, when, when, they, when they see golf, they, and it's a game of ages, you know, you can play the golf, uh, golf at any age with two people of, completely different calibers can play together with the handicapping system. You don't need to be uh, Usain Bolt to play golf. Uh, you can, you know, golf carts are available for people, for the older people who can't walk. So a lot of things uh, golf has, which allows longevity, you know. There we have that uh, famous bunkers towards the right hand side. Uh, reminds you a little bit of Roswell <laughs> in New Mexico. The site of that famous UFO landing. Maybe this is a place that could get uh, reputed as there's some in, a uh, tourist attraction. There's, there's some in uh, Arizona too. I saw them I was flying over Arizona. I saw a couple of craters from my airplane. Did you follow that piece of news? They said they actually found a real alien in Mexico, which was uh, actually shown to the Congress. They said this is a hundred years old a alien specimen. Uh, I don't know if that was a serious or was it, it tongue was in, in cheek. Mexico. It was in Mexico. It was in Mexico. <laughs> 
can't leave anything coming. Uh, talk about that. Uh, you know, I know it's been a month now, a month, month and a half, uh, Chandrayaan uh, reaching the moon and uh, now obviously fulfilling all its uh, established uh, goals. And uh, that's quite a moment of pride for Indians reaching not just anywhere in the world, but even the heavens. And somebody who would uh, want to reach the heavens and immortality would be Om Prakash Chauhan as he's made a birdie and trying to stake his claim. To yeah, it, was a, it was a good uh, 10 footer that he hold on number three. And uh, this is the group of Rohan Dhole, Patel, Arjun Sharma and Shankar Das. Arjun Sharma from just off the green. Leaving it woefully short. Misjudging it. <laughs> Fruitnik Electro Plus. Of, uh, Rehydrate. Feel alive. काम घर में कर रहे हों या बाहर या किसी बीमारी से उबर रहे हों आप बिना जाने dehydrate हो सकते हैं. रोज जरूरत है Fruitnik Electro Plus Rehydrate. इसका अनोखा R3 formula electrolyte restore करे, glycogen replenish करे और muscles का तनाव कम करे तुरंत energy के साथ. Fruitnik Electro Plus Rehydrate. Put a dangle in front of you. Arjun left himself more work than he, than he wanted. This is the 232 yard part three seventh hole. Well, that's put a spring in a step. Dharma, no, sorry, beg your pardon. Rohan with his par attempt now. Trying to get a visual on what the butt is going to do. Seeing it before hitting it. And swat quite far from the ball, you know. So, very, uh, I would say, unorthodox uh, stance. Shankar Das. Uh, I would say he's the other side of the spectrum when it comes to a pre-shot routine. He's, uh, he uses his eyes and then he's got a narrow stance and uses a stance very close. And um, let's see. And same result, you know. It's only ways of skinning a cat, like my fellow colleague said. A putt brings a spring to your step like no other shot in golf, a hold putt. Ashjit. I like the way he's, uh, you know, he's always smiling, he's got a nice uh, easy going personality. Light-hearted group. Penultimate group of Ashjit Sethi, Akshay Sharma, and Shivendra Sisodia. Well, Shivendra is going. Uh, he's doing bar today. Sachin Basoya, Chavendra, Arjit Sethi, all at 4 under. We have Akshay Sharma at 7 under, Kapil Kumar at 8 under, and Om Prakash Chauhan leading at 9 under. And that's uh, Mr. Jeff Prakash from the PGTI. He's been there for ever, ever since its inception. 
and OP with his OP t-shirt on today uh, viewers the, the design on his t-shirt is actually OP as in his name is Prakash it's good to see smiles on the first tee did you ever smile on the first tee shot here? all depended if I did have the time normally I'm always scampering on but in all, uh, in all uh, fairness, I, I think the smiles were there on the first tee, but uh, eventually depended on how the round progressed. Happiness had such a direct correlation with how you're playing. It's such a weird game. When you're not playing well, the sky seemed grey, life seemed dull, things seemed meaningless. You know, it actually go really back less of a man, right? Yeah, absolutely. When you miss the cut, people think it's easy. It's probably the worst feeling in the world. Uh, I actually hark back to my days when I was... Uh, just turned a professional from amateur and I was like yourself I was a good amateur you were really good I turned when I was India number three maybe in a little bit of a hurry and I expected it to be a cakewalk I was truly heartbroken that uh, no I'm not the only one there's a lot of good players and then you miss your first cut uh, believe you me it's a very strange feeling sitting out you don't know what to do and when that happens more than once and then your roommate has made it yeah that's worse because yeah, actually, play, misery. Mis and you're sitting at home. You know right? what? I'm telling you, it's very important uh, that misery loves company. And then he'll tell you, Chal, let's go to the golf course. Chal, golf course chalte hai, chale, yaar. You know, these are the interesting anecdotes yeah. that we need to tell people that, you know, that happens a lot when your best friend is a really good golfer. And, uh, you know, you start out as roommates. Happened to me. I won't name the person. He was really good and he kept improving while I kept getting worse. Eventually, we weren't roommates <laughs> because the person who's struggling is just thinking about getting there that, you know, I want to make this cut and get into the top 20, mm -hmm. top 30. And the guy who's playing well, he, he doesn't even know what the cut is. So yeah. he doesn't need that negative energy. He doesn't want to know where you hit a bad shot. That's a great thing. I remember Gaganjit Bhullar, we used to sit on a table and if uh, a golfer is saying that I hit OB on this one, he used to say, please stop or change your table. There will be no talk of bad shots here, only good shots. I only want to know where you hit a good shot. Do not, <laughs> I will not entertain any negative talk here. So that's a great thing as well. Because in golf, Amit, you would know that. If I tell you and, and you have a round tomorrow, that hole number 10, I pulled it left to the OB and you never even thought about it when you stand on that tee. I know you won't be scared, but you'll think, oh, there Actually, is a I, I know if somebody's in a frivolous conversation, I didn't remember so much. But I, if, you're, if you're somebody staying with somebody and he tells you that, you know, this hole is really troubling me. My my roommate was Digvijay Singh and we didn't <laughs> talk about golf once golf was over. We talked about it, everything. Our main source of entertainment was finding out where is the closest movie hall where we can go and watch a movie in the evening. That was our only thought. And where are we going to eat dinner? And where is the, which movie is playing where? And because once golf was over, we were done with it. We were not talking about it. Yeah, I, you know, obviously we are on national television. We know that uh, both of you were thick as thieves. And I'm pretty certain that uh, there was a little partying involved. But obviously that's for... Uh, no, no, not, not, not during events. That's, after events. That, that's the misconception because, you know, we didn't, uh, we were not very, uh, we were not uh, hanging around with the other guys because... Uh, Generally, we found that, you know, people used to talk a lot of golf after golf and we didn't want that conversation to happen because we were playing golf. But you, you were the flamboyant duo. So maybe sometimes when you, when you are in the news, no, when you, when you are in the news, you know, things just get made up about you. But both I, of you were very... Those are just assumptions, you know, because uh, people are maybe assuming that we are going somewhere, but we used to go to the move, like we wanted, we did party. We did when the tournament was over. Sometimes we got there a little earlier so we could party. <laughs> None, none, none of us used to uh, drink alcohol. So, you know, it was for us just uh, a way to, you know, you know, entertain ourselves. Like that entertaining part, of course. And and you have to let your hair down because this is such a stressful game. Yeah. You know, all, contrary. I, I always believe, you know, you, you work hard the whole day. You need to reward yourself a little bit at the end of the day because then it's, then it's worth working. It's, it's a lonesome game. People don't realize that it's not a team game. Yeah. There's nobody rooting for you. In fact, everybody's rooting against you <laughs> because there are limited spots. Except for your caddy. Yeah, except caddy. Caddy. unless caddy. unless he gets caddy a better is... paying uh, no. <laughs> unless there's a better paying no, gig. Caddy is all this because that tournament he's gonna get paid for anyway. Yes. After that he can change, right? Yes. But your well being, your biggest well wisher on the golf course is your caddy. Yeah, and uh, you know, 
the thought of disappointing a caddy looms large you know because his entire household runs on you so yeah, it's a lot of pressure it's a, yeah and you know he's uh he's he's, he's carrying that bag it's 25 kgs for eight kilometers uh, what do you think about this part which way do you think it's it uh, going to break it looks like you know, left to right so i'm um, none of the parts are fast here but um Faster well, than but do you reckon a, a left right part on a slower green mm. is it more difficult or yeah. easier it's more difficult on a slow green and it's easier on a fast because green. the green becomes a lot more pronounced you can actually hit it because the ones generally when you have a left right part you kind of baby it yes and then it, it misses on the low side out here you can't be you know you have to hit it so, so you're not going to baby it so you'll end up missing a lot more to the left as well yes on the higher side because you kind of you know you have to hit it yes so let's see how this one goes in this somewhere where the cack handed grip would definitely help there yeah, you have it's, it it's, it's a easier part on uh, when it's slow the left to right down hill otherwise it's the other way around good part right there yeah yeah so coming back uh, you know professional golf is uh, sometimes a lonesome road you have your own um, you know your own trials and tribulations and and you're thinking a lot about your career and how it's going to progress because it's not just a game uh, eventually it's your life and in a team sport there's a lot of support staff you know another thing uh, uh, something which you know in hindsight you can always so my coach and mentor again yes he had these very profound whatever statements or proverbs or whatever you want to call it and he used to say you know every human being who can see needs three more sights and he needs uh, let's watch pawan finish his part first I'm pretty sure that a set of eyes should be fine for this short part. So you need you need the hindsight to know where you came from. You need uh, the foresight to see where you want to go, and you need the insight to know how to get there. That's uh, deep words indeed. Yeah, so you know the insight which we needed was we knew we have all had foresight. We knew where we came from. You know, you come from a very similar background as I do. we have we are very comfortable with where we came from and we know where we want to go but generally we were not we didn't have the insight to know how to get there that's generally a, that's a very valid point so i know now with technology insight is available uh, sure yeah yes absolutely true that uh, path that we saw yesterday with players sort of going over the back left uh, this uh, different so, direction today yeah you know see and um, this is the seventh 232 yards so pins on the right you'll see a lot of balls on the left you can't describe that it's just uh, no space there. and as we are talking we've seen that uh, sachin beswaya has gone on a little bit of a tear he's 3 under par through the first five so he's trying to stake his claim to this trophy he's 5 under for the tournament om prakash chauhan is uh, at 9 under par looking for trophy number 9 kapil kumar is holding strong 8 under for the tournament Startak on number seven. Nice par. And uh, the others are doing well. Akshay Sharma as well. So seems like all of the uh, the top five, top six players have gotten off to good starts. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very interesting. It's definitely going to come down to that uh, back nine, and you know the back nine has sting in it. Yeah, it's it's probably more uh, both. It's got length and uh, more. strategy strategically uh, planned holes well that this is the group of harinder gupta karan patap singh and sarthak chibber on the path 37th and uh, seems to be a similar story like uh, what we had yesterday It's, a little better today no but if you look at it there's only one round under par for the players two rounds uh, my apologies who started on the back nine so There's definitely something to it. This back nine is a lot more difficult than the front nine. And whereas on the front nine you have uh, a handful, so I think it just proves that uh, the back nine is more difficult. So it's a tournament that if you play well, you get rewarded by starting off the easier nine as well. So uh, yeah, I guess you know. Uh... maybe uh, the guys on the back starting on the back nine are bring up the rear yes yeah so that's also a part so their their mindset might be a little more different also yeah kind of 
some some of them must be just wanting to finish you know valid point and you know it doesn't matter now because you know uh, the way the money is distributed uh, at the bottom it's it's not much of a difference at the top is heavy right so every position on top is got a lot of difference in the price money so when it comes to you know, the bottom half they they say okay you know if it goes starts well we'll go for it if it doesn't then we'll just ride the board uh, and see where it goes you know so we've all you and i both have been there we we've, we've thought the same way yes it, it's, it's like that you know and very seldom do you see a really hot round coming out of people starting on the back net other than the first two three groups yes yes because they are they are still in the top 25 or top 30 and they feel that one good round will change everything yes that that can make uh, all the difference if they get off if you get off to a good start teeing off from the back night then you if you get to off a bad start it's almost like okay let's go through the motions yes you sort of uh, uh, you know you sort of think that the destiny has already been done for that week the formidable figure of Kevin Khan Scaddy <laughs> no. That was quite a turn. I thought you were going to say Khan, Shamim Khan's carry. Formidable player and uh, formidable man Friday. Mm-hmm. And his, uh, his, his wife's a politician, by the way, in Noida. Gulu's. Gulu's wife is a politician in Noida. And she stands uh, in her uh, uh, voting that election when you, Parishad, you know, Gram Parishad, the, 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 you get a. Like it's gas cylinder, something like that. Yeah. So is it, or is it a gas cylinder? Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the Gulu is uh, uh, knows which side his bread is buttered. They have uh, Gulu has also been on tour uh, with Shamim for quite a while. An honest uh, lieutenant. You know, and it's it's funny when you know caddies are caddy for so long, and they say, uh, Shamim, you know, you ask him, Shamim, kaisa khela? So he says, you know, humne. It looks like it, it, it sounds like both of them were hitting the shot together. Yes. You know, humne. I said, humne ni usne. <laughs> so, yes, you know, that's uh, they, they become an integral part of that team. And uh, as we have a look at that, Arjun here at hole number eight with a putt. Right that's, in firm. Yeah, with, with that uh, putt seems to traverse the entire length of the green. What do you give that? 100 oh. feet. Yeah, that's, that's a long part. And how do you rate that? Playing 200. Paying 200 and so how do you rate that part maybe not too bad i would but, say uh, i would give it uh, minus 0.1 in strokes and which is just maybe a couple of feet outside being okay okay he's about seven seven feet six feet would have been fine right all right so let's say from 100 feet you carry it about six feet so five percent is the number that we're looking at yeah you want to be at least uh, from the distance you start mm-hmm. uh five percent to basically gain distance maybe that percentage yeah. changes as the distance changes but uh, you know the difficulty as a rough so is there but you know at an average this is what it works out to if you have a very slopey part you know sometimes you can't get to a stop on next yes, to the yes. but general rule and then other than that you also want to see how many feet of putt you've heard hold what okay. is your you know, like every putt you hold, it's in a tap in. It's just if it's two feet, then you write two feet. If you can get that to go past 120, 150, you're, you're putting well. It's not how many putts. If I miss every green and I chip it given every time, I'm gaining strokes chipping, hmm. m- not ch- not gaining strokes while putting. putting yeah? yeah. And losing strokes on in my ball approach shot, yeah. uh, on my approach shot, because that's why it's missing the green. Shankar Das here with that unorthodox technique. And, uh, and hmm. so everything is compared to the average on the PJ Tour. So, for example, you know, the PJ Tour has a uh, lot of athletically bound golfers. And so now some of our, uh, our stalwarts from yesteryears will lose strokes off the tee because they're leaving themselves too far back. Yes. So if you go strokes gained off the tee, they will all go into minus. Okay. So you even mean, though they're hitting the fairway. Yes, because they're that far behind. Yeah. And that's not the ideal place to be off the tee. Let's see if Rohan Dode Patil can gain a shot here. If he holds this part, he will gain 0.3 strokes. 0.3. There you have it. Exact mathematical calculations being delivered to us. Uh, kind courtesy, Mr. Amit Dube. You know, uh, earlier times we didn't have the know-how that 
you know, oh, I miss chip putt, right? Now there's a layer to it. Did you chip badly or you putt badly? There's another layer to it. Yes. And when you, unless you uncover all the layers, you actually can, can't get down to what you need to work on more. So Rohan knows yeah, that he... Point three strokes gain, I can tell you, it's, this is... Uh, you see the spring on his step? He knows yeah, he's gained something. Yes, he's, he's saved that putt. Gave uh, Arjun a really good idea of the speed and the line as well. Rohan also had a disastrous start uh, with a seven on the first hole and a birdie. He's clawing himself back. Uh, uh, yes, sorry. Sir. And hole number six, he had a birdie. So I think all in all, he's uh, doing really well. Yeah, his, his, his year has not been that great so far. So maybe this will, you know, build a little bit of momentum for the second half. Competition is also so stiff now that uh, if you're not on your A game, you'll see yourself soon falling by the wayside. Arjun is just a fantastic putter. You know, he's, he's, he's an excellent putter and he's the driver straight. He's about 280 carry, so he's medium long. Maybe I jinxed him, but uh, he, he has the two ingredients to play he well. He has not uh, from that distance, the whole percentage on the PGA Tour would be about, this is about eight feet, right? About 50%. Yes. Okay. 50, 50%. So, um, might have lost maybe 0.2. Okay. Okay. But I had a good stroke on it. I think players don't feel too bad about it when they hit a good stroke. You know, some things you can't control, which is how the ball is going to, you know, react when it's even. So they did a test and the best screens on the planet, Augusta National. They took a putting uh, robot on it from 15 feet and made it in 10 parts. Still missed seven. And the same role, exact speed. Sure, yeah. But how, what would that be attributed to? God knows. <laughs> God knows. Only God knows. But it's it's that means it's some things are within your control and some are not. Something or not. So you know, sometimes you know people don't realize that you know when you're playing like a pro shot. So today I hit a certain distance and you hit a certain distance. And for you, if I'm let's say marginally longer than you, let's see what uh, Pawan can do on hole number seven. Pretty straightforward chip shot. Yeah, again, you know, needs to get the ball rolling faster you know so so coming back to this and then maybe i have all in between clubs and you have fuller clubs so you hit it closer than so there are these small they, little they, things they are, yes. and yeah. uh, on the next day it could be the other way around yeah so there are small little things that can change uh, the complexion of a round yeah and generally you also know and i also know that when you go to the practice range you don't generally hit three quarter shots no you, you just, just sort of, yeah. full half you do Half but not to that not as extent, much as yeah. the full ones so your full is more uh, and the full allows you to be more aggressive also one question i have because been associated so closely with the game of golf i remember back in the day we used to beat a lot of golf balls on the range in fact i uh, you know picked up my routine from my good friend himatra he used to hit 500 shots 500 chips 500 putts so i tried to do that i could only get to 400 because i just couldn't hit to keep up with the speed that he had uh, but are players from today they hitting these many golf balls on the range or it's a lot more quality as they speak like lower ball because i felt that hitting balls there's no other way to improving your swing and grooving it than is beating balls on the range no the thing is uh, they might not be uh, hitting as many full shots or but stats have helped them fantastic putt yeah. there by dharma stats have helped them practice efficiently you go your round is over your tournament is over you put your stats down then you see okay this is where i need to improve most this is how i'm going to structure my practice for the next week i've got my next tournament coming up two days i'm going to practice this more then you do that and then you have you see trends and you basically know what to practice more what happens is let's let's say i'm practicing on the range and uh, i missed a putt on the last hole I've hold everything before that. And I'm practicing my putting. Not necessary. The correct putting. thing to do because you. Yeah. So, and when I go to the driving range uh, and I hit a few balls, like a hundred balls, I only remember, remember the last five, I think. Yes. Everything else is a blur up after that, right? But if you have like a, a launch monitor with you, 
it's recorded every shot. And then you can see your pattern and you say, okay, this is my miss percentage. And it's always here or always there or whatever. It's short, right, left, whatever it is. So it's all about the holistic approach and the complete picture as we look at Arjun Prasad. This is Sanjeev Kumar from Lucknow. Uh, isn't that a sight for sore eyes? Well, uh, it's good to see. So it's good to see wildlife on the golf course. I remember there used to be a golf course in Pretenda and it had a nature park inside and we could see Whole Even the same thing deer, in Turkey, where where I uh, deer, played golf, black buck, you know, and uh, uh, ducks, and whole bunch of wildlife. And I think it was uh, there was uh, the, the commanding the, the the commanding officer there was uh, General Billamoria, and he used to love wildlife, so he said, "No, they all stay on the golf course." <laughs> That's the similar thing in uh, Rurki as well, where uh, my dad commanded, I remember. So there was a lot of wildlife uh, right in the golf course. It's still there in, uh, in Lucknow at that Moriba golf course. They still have it. There's still a lot of wildlife there. Uh, it's, you know, the, the, the downside to it is they don't know when that they don't need to walk on the green. You know, I don't think anybody's given them the remit yet. They're not uh, trained. Yeah. In golf etiquette. So, no such issue for our players though. Except for the ones having a wild round. Yes. You know, you were talking about steel spikes earlier. When we were juniors, I know that, um, you know, some could be so destructive that maybe <laughs> rough up the line for the next one <laughs> while going. There was a lot of gamesmanship when we were juniors, believe you me. Nobody likes to lose <laughs> more than a child. Abhinav for his pa. On number nine. That's a good one. And the third member of this group is Arjun Prasad. Got an interesting question for you now that uh, we spoke about the concept of losing and winning when you're a junior. Uh, when you start out early, is it important to know that you will not always win and accept that uh, you know there will be outcomes that uh, will be not favorable to you? You will only win a few of the times. Or uh, you want to build interest in a game early on by giving you know good success early on, and then, or you want to let the junior know that yes, you you might not win every time, but you still have to put in your effort. Or you want them to taste success because not both can't go hand in hand. You know, it's it's a very in interesting question. Let's watch Arjun finish, and then I think Nikhil's gonna come on screen, the head of uh, media on the Professional Golf Tour of India, and over to him, and we'll join you back in a little bit.
viewers uh, to the Jammu Tavi Golf Course, the magnificent environs of the Jammu Tavi Golf Course. And uh, we are here for the third edition of the JNK Open presented by JNK Tourism. And today to tell us more about this uh, wonderful golf course, we have with us Mr. Manav Gupta, Secretary, Jammu Tavi Golf Course. A very warm welcome, sir. Uh, I would like to ask you, Tell us a little bit about the development of this course over the years and uh, how it has progressed over the years and today we are holding championship events over here. First of all, I am very thankful to PGTI for coming all over to Jammu again and uh, straight for the second year. Second year in a row we are conducting this uh, PGTI tournament with all the professionals playing for the last three days. Entire Jammu is very happy. All the golfing fraternity is very, very happy. All the golfers are very enthusiastic. They are following this uh, tournament. Uh, 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 such kind of enthusiasm, I was not uh, uh, believing ki, uh, such type of response. I was not expecting, basically. So, to tell about this course, uh, I just want to tell you this course was designed by late Mr. Baga. And this course is has been beautifully designed. And uh, nine hole came into play in 2011, and entire uh, 18 hole uh, were inaugurated in 2015. After 2015, this course has uh, come uh, has uh, crossed many leaps and bounds, and uh, uh, it has developed into a very international destination. The this is the proof that PGTI is conducting this uh, second time in a row uh, a great tournament here. So. Uh, so far as golfers are concerned, the feedback which we are getting for the last three days, they are rating this course as one of the toughest courses of India. Course is no doubt tough and very challenging. Uh, fairways are narrow, but this is a beautiful course covered by all the uh, landscape is very beautiful. Uh, we are in Jammu and all the beautiful destinations of Jammu are visible while we are standing on this course. Right from Mata Vaishnu Devi to Amar Mahal to Mubarak Mandi to Harki Podi to Bave Wali Mata, every, each and every destination we can see. This uh, is situated very well and everybody is liking it and the response which we are getting is tremendous. Sir, uh, also tell us a little bit about the challenges of playing at this course because we've seen there are not too many low scores whenever we play over here. Uh, uh, that is true. The cut, uh, uh, cut is the proof that this course is uh, really tough. But the but the most important thing is that golfers are enjoying this course. No doubt, this is tough and challenging, but uh, the uh, but golfers are enjoying very much. So a little bit tough because of the narrow fairway, but the course is designed very beautifully, very nicely, and everybody is liking it, everybody is enjoying. So though, no, though there are challenges, but uh, the one thing is very good, ki if you start playing here, you will. Uh, uh, you, uh, you, uh, it is easy to play in the other courses of the country. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing your valuable insights with us and thank you for hosting us here once again. Well, that was Mr. Manav Gupta, Secretary, Jammu Tavi Golf Course. Stay tuned for all the action from here on, on the final day. It's back to you in the studio, Amit and Shorya. Back to the action. Uh, we had a look there. Uh, Nikhil speaking with uh, the secretary here, Mr. Manav Gupta. And uh, must also we must also share our appreciation of how well uh, they've been able to host this tournament, the conditions how well the, they've been able to get this course ready and just provide PGTI with a fantastic venue. You know, uh, all golf courses that support professional golf tour in India should be applauded because, you know, this is um, something which needs to, uh, which we have seen grow over the last few years and needs to keep growing because, you know, for a sport to flourish, golf courses are very instrumental in in making the go the game grow it's uh, i know it's um, a lot of members don't get to play but you know professional golf is your uh, torch bearer i would say now that professional golfers are allowed in the olympics and uh, golf is an olympic sport and allowed in the asian games also so you know it's 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 just something which i feel that if all golf courses take a leaf out of the out of Jamutavi golf courses book and start promoting prof uh, professional golf. It will grow much faster.
you know Absolutely. and you know n- professional golfers abroad like for, for example when i played on the asian tour i got like a asian tour card when i used to go to america playing golf on one of the be- almost almost all the golf courses was free of cost you know now that you say it um I, I, a couple of times in australia and- and play on a golf course and they give you such uh, hospitality you talk good about it what a fantastic shot right there by pawan really give it good air time yeah it's uh, that's the par 5 eight, par 4 eight hole uh, just a minute that is in fact uh, the par 5 eight hole oh, yeah it looks to be his third shot and this is badal hussain on, on the same hole and she been uh, across the green just blind shot by badal while we were discussing uh, that uh, there have been quite a few birdies amongst the leading trio we have om prakash chauhan who's moved to 10 under par uh, kapil kumar also moving to 9 under par akshay sharma moving to 7 under par So very good golf all around, and Sachin Besoya remaining at five under par. So shows you this tournament uh, is not going to be a one horse race. Absolutely not. You know, Kapil is a fierce competitor. If you I played with him a few times, and he is aggressive. He has that aggressive mindset. He might have come undone maybe from being too aggressive, but not from being timid. That's actually you. You'd rather have it like that. Uh, He's you rather, to... rather live and die by the sword than just live a tame life absolutely you know you know by the way for viewers the top the number one golfer in the world loses 90% of the tournaments he plays the the number one tennis player in the world wins 90% of the tournaments he plays oh yeah because uh, so, i think the unique nature because in tennis you actually having to only beat six or seven opponents yes. So that's uh, that's a brilliant Using part. The he's this wedge. He's really uh, got the distance and the speed dialed down well. Is yeah. It's, uh, he's Dharma. It's been four days, so Shorya. Yeah. It's almost the end. So I guess the more you play on the golf course, you the more you get used to it. So we talk about the win percentages in games where it's a knockout. Like even if in football, you think about a team winning a World Cup has to win seven games, and not even all of them. You lose maybe a few in the group stage, and then you win five. In professional golf, if there are one hundred and forty four, one hundred and fifty players, you have to beat the score of each and every player. So it's a very unique game in that aspect. So it's so much more difficult to win major championships in golf because there is the elements, and then there is the entire field. it's not like a knockout where you beat one person so i mean if you imagine you're playing tennis and the opponent is having a bad day you can beat him yes, on your c yeah. and d game but not in golf you always have to be on your a plus game if you're winning the big tournament so that's a very unique thing about this game of golf i can't think of many other sports with that sort no of a facet yeah. it's very demanding yeah, to win a professional very, golf tournament it's uh, that's why we you know there's a match play format in golf also but very seldom played i used to love that format i yeah. used to just i used to grind the opponents down <laughs> i i must they, they need to take a bed yeah, yeah. i've called many a great player in match play it was so much fun but it's also a different uh, format you're playing the person you don't really need to worry too much about your score you can free wheel it's a lot more liberating well i uh, have bad at match play i i He went into two All India Amateur Finals. I lost both finals, and and I also went to the the Pro Golf SRF Match Play Finals also. So I, I'm a three time losing finalist. Good part by uh, on there on hole But number I, eight. I used to. I never thought of a match play or stroke play. I said, okay, I need to shoot. 
this much. And if yeah. I lose, I lose. Doesn't matter. I I had quite a few great matches. I was able to play with the best uh, in all India. I've I've uh, Siddiqur Rahman, Mithun. Uh, Mukesh Kumar in SRF, Harmeet Kalam when he was number one. I think they used to just get get scared by the speed of play, and I used to I just mean, get there. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good one. We had we were on the golf course it first. The same day? No, it didn't uh, actually. The next, yeah, the next calendar day yeah. evening, and it was all forlorn. Everybody was gone. We were still there. <laughs> I think the first round of the finals were taking up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's a. Great player, and it was a fantastic round that we had. Albeit maybe on the. No, I actually beat uh, Anirban uh, once he came, and I think he played well at Black Mountain. And I had asked Ashish Paratham, who's the sponsor for a sponsor spot, and as a result, I was 64 seed, right? That's I must cool. also must I must also thank uh, Mr. Amit Luthra. He did help me with that in the same event, and I was able to produce that week. Uh, I think that was the one where I beat her meets. He was number one seed that time, so. Good back in the so, day. So uh, I um, had a fun. So I was practicing. The, the thing is that in match, uh, in the you know, tennis players who are playing against each other are not warming up at the same place. Golfers who are going to play with each other are warming up next to each other, right? And they are talking to each other before they are, you know, going to go and play against each other. So it's funny thing. I just got a new new driver in my bag. Titleist had uh, that's my sponsor that time. I'd sent over a new driver, and it had a. You must know that there's shaft called Voodoo, right? Yes. So I'm hitting my driver and um, Anirban refers to me as Bhaiya. So he says, Bhaiya, new new driver. I said, uh, yeah, man. So he looks at the shaft. He says, so how's the Voodoo magic? So I said, <laughs> you'll find out today. <laughs> so it was just, yeah. you know, friendly banter. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and it, it did work. So I did beat him. I, I, I think Harshit would need a little bit of that uh, Voodoo spell right now. He seems to be... Stuck in a spot and anything to extric extricate himself from here. Yeah, he's uh, he looks like a commando right now. In yes, China, yeah. right? let's see if he can snipe his way out of there. You see how carefully he moved that loose impediment yeah, so that the ball doesn't move. Also, seems to be taking a sizable swing. I Maybe going for some over sort over of the, a... these coniferous trees are not so tall. You saw the, all those cone shaped things, he can take it over them. See, he's taking it over. It's, it's easier. Played it like a bunker shot. I had a little bit of uphill life from that cart path also, so it helped in getting the elevation. Let's see where that uh, ends up for him. I think it's the, he's on the eighth path five. No, it's, it's, it's seven path. The seven path three. So he's made a little bit of a meal of this hole. Uh, needs to make up and down for his bogey, otherwise would end up drop, dropping two shots. And he's. He's doing okay. He's one under today. He's yes. four under for tournament. If he hold, he needs to hold his ground for a bit and let's see and let things unfold. Yeah, I think if he drops more than a shot, then uh, can pretty much say that his uh, challenge would uh, come to an end, so as to speak. Unless, halt. Yeah, rather early halt. Uh, but you never know. Maybe the back nine uh, bears its fangs and <laughs> you can see. You know, Om Prakash having a very similar day to what he had yesterday. He's uh, he's bogey free for the first six holes. Two birdies, two under, ten under total, one shot ahead now. Akshay Sharma, part of that vanguard. Akshay, Kapil and Om Prakash really re leading this procession. Let's see how he can do. He has a lot of uh, intent in the way he plays. And I really like his body language. Very positive. It's given a good rap. But that didn't make it as well. So, yep. need a little you know, more afterburners. See. Uh, people say, you know, the, uh, oh, the green so fast, you know, the green was so fast. That's why it didn't putt well. I think it's tougher to putt well on slow greens. It's... What speed are we rolling? It's almost medium, maybe not too slow this week. Uh, yeah, it's probably like eight or nine, but comparatively, think... you know, they they, they played, uh, they, they, they're playing on uh, in Hyderabad, which is uh, before this. So in fact, uh, we'll just check up. And... Uh... Yeah, so pro approximately nine is, is what they're playing at, and maybe because of the uh, of uh, the green that becomes a little slower as well. So yeah, you know, I would, I would say it's playing more like eight right now from the looks of it. And they used to uh, they just played Hyderabad at eleven or eleven or so. So it's it's an adjustment which uh, sometimes is uh, it's more it's equally difficult but actually. From slow to fast and far to far to slow. My coach, one time, 
he doesn't like any excuses so he says you know you don't need any excuse some things that don't work in golf it's one of the most important thing is excuses don't work so yeah i said oh the green was really fast he says uh did you did you put on the first green i said yes then you know the speed valid point you know the speed now it's going to be the same so that was me shutting up then and there's a certain truth to that that everybody is facing the similar conditions but obviously for some it's a little more difficult it depends on the kind of game that you have as well you can't quite perform you know, sometimes you know uh, if you uh, start looking for excuses you it takes away the intensity that you need to ex execute also so yeah um, it, it's you know oh it's, unfortunate uh, yeah i think he, he hit it he hit the part where he wanted to hit it though you can see it that he uh, uh you know things these, these are things not in your control i think he he's not he it looked like he made, made a good stroke on it that's uh, rather unfortunate for him that uh, he would um, that, not make birdie he was on the par five eight no that was the seventh hole uh, shot yeah that's the yeah, my apology so you would drop a shot then yeah and then that, that takes him back to six under four shots back now Yes, yeah, so we are having a look at that split screen. That's uh, sort of Audrey on the right hand side with that uh, prominent change in direction in his swing. Let's see if he's executed it well. He would have definitely wanted to hit that closer. Yeah, that's the par five eight hole, and that looks to be his third shot. We have a look at Shivin there as well, cleaning up on number seven. Sachin playing number eight. Yeah, I was just thinking the members do have a brilliant, uh, that's a decent shot by Sachin, brilliant golf course to enjoy their uh, normal rounds. The only thing is that they must lose a lot of golf balls here. Yeah. I can imagine the amount of golf balls they're using on this golf course. It's so uh, penal for a mess. Yeah, that makes it difficult to bring out a new ball every time. I'm, I'm assuming there must be a lot of those putting balls that are employed by members, you know, play with an old ball when you get on the green, put a new yes. one. Yes. And sec secondly, you know, another thing is that they have marked, uh, I guess, with sometimes these golf courses, which are so, you know, they just mark the roughs as penalty zone. So you don't need to go and look and you just drop it. Yeah. So this week, uh, this week, in fact, a lot of the, uh, the, the bush and the shrubs are marked as hazards. So that makes it a lot easier for the players. So just yes. imagine if that were not the case, then, oh, it, then it would just be keep looking for the ball. Then the scoring would be so much higher. We'll finish it right? yeah. two weeks time. Exactly. But um, yeah, now you only get three minutes. Uh, they, I, I feel they should do that for Delhi Golf Club too. Okay. <laughs> it's very similar. Yeah. It's Actually, the same thing. You, know? you should give the player an option that if you hit hit it. Um, but I think that'll take away uh, some of the pressure that the player feels on the tee because right now it's like out of bounds on either side. It's a lot more scary when you're standing on a tee. When you know it's a hazard, I think that allows you to free wheel a lot. Yeah, you know. If you make it a hazard, player would be taking a lot many more drivers. Yeah, yeah I would just take my driver and hit it if it goes inside. Otherwise, I'd just take my third shot. Right? Exactly. Yeah, it's just a bogey. So it's still just a bogey if you hit the hazard. But right now, it's not even a double bogey is confirmed because you have to tee up again. Yes. So that changes the entire complexion. Absolutely. So, you know, changes the way the tournament goes. Shivendra, sorry, Vinay Kumar Yadav on number eight. He's got the whole width of the green to putt. A good part of 80 feet. Yeah. 
Let's see how long his stroke is. You could have chipped it actually. It's such coming a long up, putt. Yeah, coming up short. The ball is actually airborne for some time. It was such a long, you know, it's a long putt and it's a sl it's relatively slow green. So you, I would have preferred chipping it. Yeah, especially when uh, so, so it's uphill as well. So. Mm -hmm. I am tell Neeraj that he is giving wrong advice. <laughs> Neeraj... Uh, Vinay not having a, a... Not that bad a day. He's uh, one under. He's got two birdies and a bogey. Yeah, he's at two under overall. And I think if he can get to maybe four, that, that might be good enough for a top five. And you know, he hasn't made many cuts this year. He's marginally missed a lot of cuts. So this is a good event. There will be decent prize money and that will help him catapult himself up on that uh, order of merit. You know, my club fitter, uh, Pintu, has also made the cut this week, uh, Shorya. That's good. I think Pintu is having a good run. Uh, we saw him make cut at Ahmedabad, where he had that little bit of a waterloo on the 18th. Uh, yeah, he had that tin cup. <laughs> tin cup moment. Yeah, yeah I didn't Started pulling his leg, leg like calling him MC Hammer. <laughs> I think so. He was able to turn that around. So that was one of the quotes that we, we used. Do you, I don't know if the golfers still use it. MC Hammer? Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the ubiquitous uh, quote that is used for miscut. Yes. And sometimes you lose the MCs, just how do you go, hammer? <laughs> <laughs> to buy the, for, for the viewers who are much younger, there used to be a very famous rapper called MC Hammer. Yes. Uh, and since MC is also miscut. And his famous and, song uh, went uh, something like, you can't touch this. <laughs> that was his, Yes. His, uh, he married uh, Whitney Houston, actually. Uh, they would have produced some famous songs, I'm sure. If anything. <laughs> <laughs> She was a great, fantastic singer herself. As we digress and get back to the golf on hole number eight, and currently um, seems like Om Prakash Chauhan is singing in perfect tune. He's at ten under par. Nothing, MC Hammer. Yeah, he's, he's already the tough thingy number three, which is the long dog leg left par four. He's buried. He's put two par fours, and he actually didn't bury number one. Yes, so he's uh, he's on song and, and he's able to uh, stave off bogeys. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Yeah, I think he's and he, from yesterday it's been it's been very consistent. So, but the good thing is Kapil is able to keep up. Akshay and front unfortunately making that bogey, dropping four shots behind. But uh, given the complexion of this golf course, that's not too much on the back nine that can turn around in in, in a couple of holes. And he's found the green on number seven as well. That's Vinay Kumar Yadav uh, missing his birdie on number eight on the left of your screen. And this is Manav uh, on, the, on number seven on the right of your screen. Playing part three seventh hole, 200, measuring 232 yards. With a top right pin with trouble on the right. That's why you'll find a lot of balls on the being missed on the left. Sachin with his birdie part on number eight. Narrowly missing. Manav opting to chip. Put a good roll on it, Shorya. Pretty good effort. We've gone with probably the, the best we've seen from the, all the groups that have come as yeah. far as that particular chip is concerned. Yes, yeah, so we were talking about uh, junior golfers and, and what uh, sort of uh, qualities you need to inculcate in them early on. Uh, somebody who wants to win, I think because children want to win all the time and uh, that might be a personal question for me as well. My boy doesn't even like losing in anything. Very difficult. Even if I try to teach, teach him chess, he wants to win in that. And so it's, uh, it's, it's even if you're playing snakes and ladders, they'll win in that. So is, is that a case even in, in sport? They want to win or or you also expose them that, yes, you can lose and you need to learn how Golf to accept that. Yeah. 
it also teach you that how to how to be a good uh, you know your the way you look take, at that part look at that part that the was way trailing. you take a loss is uh, is very important i think this man would not be looking to take a loss today what a brilliant part that was that looked good the entire way absolutely missed it on the high side didn't leave it short you know one thing i really like about op the way he walks with intent mm -hmm. he has a spring in his step yeah and see you you don't want to stamp on a fellow competitor's line ever so that's why he went across it exactly unless you don't want him to make and the, this is this is what this is <laughs> unless you don't want him to make the part this is what happened at the Ryder cup you know patrick cantley yeah. versus the Rory McIlroy and, and Patrick makes a 20 footer on a very similar line on the almost same lines line as Rory had his 19 footer on and uh, Patrick Cantley's caddy but was so excited and happy that he forgot that he was the Rory had still to part and he started he, he kind of ran, ran on Rory's line and Joe, Joe Lakawa is 100 kgs in weight so the green goes down and then it takes about a minute or so to recover. That's bones, right? Yeah. No, Joe Lakawa. Yeah. And that, uh, so that created a little bit of a fuss during the Ryder Cup. I think it's all sorted out now. Yeah, but I think that seem to be one sided competitions with the home team always winning. I feel you know the uh, the the Europeans were playing a lot of many more tournaments leading up to the Ryder Cup and they were more match ready and whereas the US was resting uh, a lot and maybe not completely sharp but you saw their sharpness kind of improved as, as the as the tournament uh, uh, proceeded so I think uh, uh, they got that part of the recipe wrong Manav with his uh, far attempt on number seven opting to keep the flag inside he does that so it just makes it so different because you're aligned at the flag and then you maybe if you want to aim left edge then you also your eyes are it's sort of confused i don't know how they handle that because then you're looking at multiple targets yeah i like his uh his putting stroke though he's got a very nice uh technique to his putting look at the break on that that yeah. was considerable it didn't look like it was going to break that much, right? Well done by him. Good mm -hmm. putt. So you also saw that uh, the Ryder Cup had that controversy with the cap. <laughs> Cantley did not want to wear a cap apparently, and that became a big thing. Yeah, this, that's all right because you know Rory didn't wear a cap for a few years himself, so it's fine. <laughs> but um, coming back to you know stamping on, uh, not purposely, but unknowingly walking on a uh, fellow competitor's line should be avoided under all circumstances yes. because it affects the putt at least for the next one minute and you don't have that much time you need to just yes, get on with it also you have a time stipulation because yeah, yeah it stomps on the grass and then grass takes its own time to get yeah, back it, to where it, it was it might not break the way it's supposed to break very valid point yeah so it's 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 a technical part of it not the psychology psychological part is that's a different part altogether the the technical part is that it, the grass goes down and 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 it, when it comes up it takes x amount of time but you don't have that much time because you are only allowed x amount of time to exactly. get the shot right so golfers need to be aware of it actually on 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 the professional tours you don't walk on the through line either yes which is in case he has a putt which might miss and you don't walk on the on the other side so because he's going to have a Yes, it's very important. Etiquette is such an important part of uh, professional golf, and not it's, golf is uh, is a gentleman's sport, as it's been termed as. And uh, etiquette is very important, and you need to respect three, four things. You need to respect the institution that you that you're playing for, the institu institution that you're playing in, fellow competitors. These things need to be inculcated in the juniors because you know sometimes with, with the advent of uh, social media, people think they can say and do anything they feel like, and you know whatever they want to say and write, they do it, and that's not the way. This this in, that is not what this game is trying to teach you. This game is a lot about honor. It's a lot about tradition. 
and uh, integrity you know integrity, you, you, yeah. you're playing at a golf course you, you have to respect the rules and regulation of that golf course that includes the members of that golf course they yes. are the part of it i think that's so important that members are the flesh and blood of this game in fact uh, you know they are the ones who support tournaments um, they are the one who make it happen and they have to be out of action for almost a week when a professional tour comes rolling in you know their practice rounds there's time taken so obviously the professionals are appreciative of that and uh, it's one of those games that you know it's almost like uh, akin to maybe something like uh, horse riding or polo that has rich tradition and you must know that yeah and it's it's you know every sport uh, shorya was local it was started in a certain part of the world because of the facilities or the environment or whatever it, it there was there but now every sport become is become global but that sport was started in that place because of few things and those are the things that are be, trying to be taught through that sport valid point as we have a look at uh... Akshay, I think on hole number eight with that long putt seems to be tracking. Yes, yeah, probably one of the few people who got like, actually Shivendra also got it past the hole, and Akshay's got. Speed yeah, they, they're putting over that uh, sort of spine right yeah. towards the center. I, I think this, this, there's another one early on. The greens are really long on this golf course. The depth of the green on number eight is 37 yards. Yeah, so it's a long green, long and green. ninth is forty-one yards long. So it's four clubs different between the front pin and the back pin. Probably for the longer hitters, maybe two and a half clubs <laughs> with the way they their uh, differences between yardages would also increase. They're getting good distance control here yeah, on they, uh, they, this they, eighth hole. The, this group has got, and they, it's from the first hole onwards, they all three hold good parts on the first. No, like Harshi's wasted, but Chivendran, and they've kind of been rolling the, the rock well today. Coming back to, you know, the difference in uh, between a long hitter and it's got such a, if you have a long green, a long hitter has only two and a half clubs, a medium hitter has maybe three to four clubs. But that's, uh, that that shows you that if you're a medium hitter, you can actually hit the correct yardage more easily yes because the difference between two clubs is less so not necessary that you have a disadvantage that you're hitting a longer club it's not necessary because golf is not just hitting the ball fly with your irons you need to hit the correct distance for you to be closer to the hole it's just pure mathematics you can hit it closer you have an easier putt you have an easier putt you have more chances of making it and as a result your score gets lower Yes, so it allows uh, golf is an inclusive game. It allows players with different ability to compete, and of, of course, there are some advantages as well. As we and have, and yang to everything. Yeah. Now you have Shivendra with his birdie attempt on number eight, the par five. Aman Raj, uh, the winner from the previous week, has just made an eagle on hole number eighteen. He's also started out the back nine. He's uh, from that group of players, uh, you know that he's not just going through the motions. He's a very feisty he's, competitor. He's, he's, he's having a frustrating week. At least has made an eagle. So that would uh, maybe spark things for the back nine. Yeah, I think he, then he goes to another par five first hole. So, and he's a straight hitter. So uh, he's uh, Shivendra narrowly missing his birdie on number eight. But as we see, uh, we were previously speaking there was a player who was under par on the on the back nine who started on the back nine now it's, uh, it's only the one lonesome figure shankar das is one under for that back nine the rest of the players all of them are par oblique over par so showing you the back nine is obviously where the difficulty lies uh, on the other hand we've had almost eight or nine players under par who started on the front nine but they were still par before they started also yes uh, but there's some good players on the back nine but maybe not the best of nick Harshit uh, cleaning up. Obviously, you, you can see a perceptible difference uh, on the top seven, eight uh, players that uh, bogeys or worse are few mm -hmm. and far in between. Akshay cleaning up, making birdie on number eight. That takes him back to seven under, three shots back now. But we have the leaders coming up to the par five eighth now. So, and you can see that OP has found the fairway. This is Pawan on, on the 10th tee, starting off his uh, back nine.
Tenth is a 417-yard par four. It's a relatively straight hole. You need to hit it about 220 off the tee, and then you will have tee left with the mid iron in. Multiple options available of the tee. There's a bunker which is at which finishes on your left on the left side of the fairway at 230. So once you clear that, the fairway opens up, or you can hit it. Uh, you know, just short of it, but then the second shot becomes more challenging. Dharma seems to be going with a three wood. I'm presuming he's trying to clear that first left bunker. Dharma. Tiger Woods colors today. Let's please. You know, uh, people uh, ask Tiger, you know, I, you know, you intimidate other players. And he says, no, I don't. He says, but why would he wear red and black then? Why didn't he just wear white, plain white? Because there was, he, he did have that intimidating black factor on other players. It's from the from the clothes he wore, and it, it, it he wasn't saying it, but people were feeling it. Yeah, I think uh, there was a lot of mind games to it. But I mean, they just used to capitulate when Tiger was in and around the lead. They just used to uh, lose their form and not be able to play. The only person I think who ever uh, did uh, change that trend was uh, Y. E. Yang. The time he catapulted that golf bag over himself uh, because I think he, he was an ex-army man also. So maybe he didn't quite. You no, know, I, 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 uh, he actually beat uh, Tiger at the PGA Championship at, at Hazeltine also, which is the only uh, major uh, that he had won. And I remember he beating Tiger at the HSBC. The one that Jyoti was leading after three rounds, he had won. The Y Yang won it, and Tiger finished second to him. So Tiger, it, uh, Y Yang, maybe we can, he came from a different part of the world. He didn't know who Tiger Woods was. You know? <laughs> you know? But quite frankly, when I went to play the World Juniors, I didn't know who Tiger Woods was. People talk, spoke about him. When I reached there, then I said, "Okay, let me see." So it was, it was the first time I seen an uh, African American play golf. It was a you know, I said, and then I saw him play, and then since so the, you know, in the the internet was not that strong, and and information was not so easily available. So I don't think the Asians had he had that intimidating factor on the Asians because we didn't know anything better. So it was just you know, we were oblivious of what was happening. Yeah, maybe that uh, helps keep your blinders on and just worry about your own golf game. Don't worry too much about what the others are doing because you'll get mired in uh, a lot of uh, thoughts and you don't want to do that. Vijay Singh gave him a run for his money though. Yeah, Vijay Singh was a very uh, feisty competitor. He actually had that run where he won, I think, eight or nine tournaments. Uh, yeah. Have a look at this chip shot. Brilliantly played by Vinay on number nine. Yeah, Vijay was actually a very good ball striker himself. Probably uh, the only thing is that he was of a later generation. If had he been at the same time, then they could have gone neck and neck for a lot longer. Absolutely. Ernie Els, Vijay Singh. Ernie Els, I think Tiger had the measure of measure four, but not Vijay. Yes. Not Vijay. And not David Duval either. Uh yeah, David Duval was but David Duval had his very own short own, duration, own, yeah. Own issues, but that's that's different. But I don't think uh, David would uh, Duval was that intimidated by Tiger. Yeah, but uh, he sort of fell by the wayside. Uh, he didn't, you know, the yeah. Tiger. Tiger was able to outlast all of them. But obviously, he, you know, a lot of it comes down to pure ability. People talk about mind games and all that, but eventually, you have to get the ball in the hole. He was a much better golfer. You know, he was a much better golfer. You, if you go and back and go back and watch videos from two thousand, all the recordings, his technique was far superior than the others playing that tour. Tigers. Yes. You can see it, the technique, you know, you can watch any tournament from that time. You knew that his technique was far superior. He, you knew, and, he and his balance and strength, he used to hit drivers and, you know. Not just, there were strong people that time also, Shorya, but his, 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 his golf technique was far superior. 
something all everybody had very you know now the modern day golfer is a very similar golf swings right yes but tiger you know so tiger is, was then swinging like the modern day golfer golf. swinging now you always find that uh, the path breaker sort of is ahead of his time yeah see if uh, Sachin can hold this looks like it should break a little to his left yeah. i think he had uh, both of us uh, fooled that line and him also <laughs> unfortunate for him missing that part you can see he looked out and looked looked at his caddy and said mm -mm, hmm. that wasn't the line such in the currently at five under for the tournament still pretty much in it yeah he narrowly missed his birdie on number eight as well so that would have taken him to six so you can see that he's a bit frustrated with these two misses In the Indian context, if you were to look at a path breaker, uh, domestically, it would definitely be Mukesh Kumar. Is there any other name that um, comes to mind? Obviously, internationally, we've had uh, the likes of Jyoti Jeev, Arjun, Anirban, Shubhankar, Kaganjit Bhullar, yeah, you know, a lot of names, but uh, who would be the one person that actually gave them the belief? In, in, in women, uh, Simi uh, was fantastic to go and play the LPGA that early. so. I think the first ever winner on the PGA Tour from India was Arjun Atwal. Also, Daniel, he's, he's Swedish, but Daniel is played all his junior golf in India. And Daniel Chopra was a phenomenal ball striker. As in, he had... It's a really good part. Yeah. You can see that he was happy. And uh, Daniel had won before Arjun. He won the Wyndham Championship. But I, think, but I think one problem was that Daniel obviously has the Swedish nationality. No, it does not resonate. It does not resonate with no, no, the it, rest of it, the... We all knew Daniel. Daniel had lost his card on the European tour, came back to Asia to play. And he played a few tournaments on the Asian tours. Had won in Asia, went back to qualify for the PGA tour. And then qualified and then his, was losing his card actually, uh, Shorya. And he had two or three events left. And... Uh, I think the last event he wins the Wyndham Championship and then he wins the very next event the next year the Mercedes Champ which is the Century Tournament of Champions now so two back to back wins and you know Daniel was basically he could you can you can say he's Swedish but he played all in junior golf yeah yes I, I do understand it he, he represented India at the Asia Pacific Juniors not Sweden yeah, but eventually, uh, you know, so he was a path breaker of sorts playing here. But uh, when you talk about somebody, you know, waving the national flag, that, you know, that small technicality, it means a lot for no, juniors so he, to get motivated. When, when, when Daniel, you know, when he, when he was playing, he was a phenomenal ball striker. We used to watch him hit the sound. And you say, okay, this is what we need to emulate. Okay. I've heard stories about him being able to draw it back from the OB in DGC on the eighth hole and, you know, doing all that way ahead of his time. No, he, um, let's watch Dharma at his second shot on number 10. Looks like he made a good swing on that. Uh, oh, yeah. If you were to pick somebody apart from him, obviously you have affinity as you played. Arjun, uh, Arjun Atwal. Arjun Atwal. Arjun Atwal was uh, a beautiful golf swing, great rhythm. Uh, when <laughs> on the PJ tour, man, that was the first time an Indian ever had done it. I think it's still yeah, it's still not been done. Only yeah. time. Uh, in yesteryears, before the advent of television and stuff and uh, all this social media, there was uh, uh, PG City. He, I have seen. There used to be a program on on TV called Shells One World of Golf. And they used to invite the top players from uh, in the world to play at some exotic location golf course. Maybe it could be in, in the in um, Nevada or wherever it is. And he, I have seen him play an invitation with Jack Nicholas and Anand Palmer, invited PG City. So he was someone who Gaurav and uh, and Gaurav Ghai and who are much our seniors they watched him play and said that he was phenomenal ball striker you want to elucidate a little bit about his record uh, for those who are not aware like what did he win when he, he won the indian open as an amateur he's from the indian army and he's from the cavalry regiment and he's he won the indian open as an amateur and he's the only amateur to have won the indian open and uh phenomenal ball striker he could hit a two wine like and those times, at, at, at that time, the two iron was a little bigger than the ball. 
So uh, you should practice like uh, him at 500 used to come up short. I can <laughs> so, you know, so he, being from the forces, he wouldn't have turned professional. Then he then. did. He played, he, that's why he won the Indian Open as an amateur. So, and uh, then he left the army. This is steel. And this is an idea. So what happens when we join them? Something marvelous. Like cars that are lighter, more fuel efficient, yet safer. Thanks to high-perform automotive steel, which lowers CO2 emission and makes this world a better place. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel. We also make tomorrow. Small round thing. It's that new technology called BOA where you don't need shoelace and you just twist it around and it tightens it up. Makes life a lot more easier. Yeah, it doesn't open. <laughs> Golf shoes tend to... Uh, the shoelaces tend to come, open. Uh, you know, other. come undone quite often. I don't know why. 10 Maybe kilometers, we... man. 10 kilometers. You're yes, and, and you're twisting and talking yeah, while you're yeah. hitting uh, the, the shot. So maybe that's... What causes yeah. them to? And if it lo gets loose, it just turn yeah. around. It's, it's so super convenient. So coming back to, I was talking to somebody. I was playing the Sri Lankan amateur, and uh, they said, "Sis, sort of Chaudhary on number ten." When you're standing on the ball, it reminded me a little bit of Thoran Virachand, that right, you know, that uh, almost oh, yeah, fantastic that, golfer. Though. Yeah, that. Uh, Right elbow bowed a little yeah. and uh, same length of maxing also. Yeah, very similar actually. Uh, yes, Tawan Virachan, he's the all-time winner, money win winner on the Asian tour, by the way. So and very unassuming when you so see Raj, him on the range. So the final of the Sri Lankan amateur was between Rajkumar Pitambar, who has won the individual at the Namura Cup, and PG City, and both are roommates. So the tea off time has come, both haven't arrived. So the, the organizers go to the hotel, which is close by in Nuralia, which is the hotel is next to the golf course. Let's watch uh, Dharma first and I'm going to continue the story later. Dharma for birdie on number 10, just off the green using his putter he's having a good putting day today yeah he's one under for the day and one under for the tournament uh unfortunately he won't be able to add to that tally yeah that was a good putt though he he, he gave it the, the speed was correct maybe misread it a bit yeah it just bobbled on him a bit initially in that you know fringe so rajkumar pitambar and Bill, uh, mr seti major city i think um are in their room sleeping so they knock on the door. He says, you know, the tournament, he says, so Rajkumar tells Mr. Uh, uh, PG Sadi that, listen, I don't feel like getting up. You go, I give you the match. PG Sadi tells him the same thing. He says, I also feel, don't feel like going. You go, I give you the match. So both are saying, okay, I don't That's feel a like very here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a true story. And then finally, they both come out of the room and they both go straight to the tee shot. Yeah. Both shoot nine under for 36 holes. And then they, I think uh, uh, PG City won on a playoff. Or I'm, I'm not sure about the result, but yes, both shot nine under for 36 holes, no warm up, sleeping. I don't think they had breakfast either. That's talent. That's talent. Yeah. But uh, Ray shows you that they didn't want to turn up. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a little, know, little confused about uh, what to take away from this uh, story. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's an urban legend, you know? Yeah, no, might be, but this was narrated by one of the. Uh, you know how uh, how stories get embellished. You know, from yeah. the time somebody. Is, I'm surprised that you know, we are on the driving range, warming up from the bag and putting and chipping and yeah, and these two yeah, it's, it's, they, it's, they're it's, so uh, they're so in control about yeah, the, so the in whole control thing. of the game. They just pick the clubs up and rip it down the center and make birdie. Yeah, if um, yeah, but. I'm, I'm pretty certain there's an embellishment to that story as it gone from one generation to the next. In one of those urban legends, like uh, somebody going to mother cleaning up on number ten, somebody going for hunting, killing a small little fox, and maybe saying he caught a lion. And by the time you find it, he wrestled the lion with his bare hands, and you know that's how the story changes. 
as we have a look at Harshdeep and Dharma. Very different postures indeed. Dharma craned over. Harshdeep's uh, having to crane over because of his height. Thing is, Harshdeep's putter must be as long as Dharma's seven iron. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Picking up the ball from the hole also, Shorya. Yes, it's, uh, it's uh, going to be. His hamstrings are nice and loose. I think that's how you should employ the caddy there that, uh, yes, please, you do the needful. You know, hamstrings are your muscles very required to be flexible and a full length for you to touch your toe. Shivendra mm -hmm. for par on number nine. Was it uh, Sam Sneed that who could uh, touch the roof? Uh, but he's extremely flexible. Over his head. Over his head. Yep. Phil Mickelson, there was a video recently where he did that uh, like kick over a person's head. He must have torn his trousers though. No, he didn't. In fact, he had those. Uh, it was a fun time that he didn't have uh, shorts on and be famous for his calves now. And he said, activate the calves. Number nine, filling it in. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Chibin is all right. He's going. He's going along steadily. One under today, five under for the tournament. We're coming to you live from Jammu at Jammu Tavi Golf Course. This tournament is the JNK Open, presented by JNK Tourism. Tournament offers a prize fund of fifty lakh. Currently leading the proceedings is the man from Mau, Om Prakash Chauhan, the only player in double digits under par, ten under par. Uh, two under par for the day, blemish free just as he was yesterday. Trailing him is Kapil Kumar, the yet to win on tour, and has its uh, task cut out has to beat Om Prakash on an eight time winner. So that's uh, going to be quite the task that he has in front of him. Uh, trailing them is Akshay Sharma, the man on our screens. He's hails from Chandigarh, he's a winner two times on tour, a uh, prodigious player, a uh, very good ball striker, and also uh, not too bad with the putter. I'm not sure what this putt is for though, but uh, he's given a lot of thought. Whatever uh, it was for, he's made he's it. He's made it. One less one less stroke on your card. There are no pictures on the scorecard, by the way. Well, that uh, leaves the stage uh, for our final threesome to play number nine and then get onto the money end of things. A lot of blind tee shots on this hole, you know, you kind of, you have to have a you have to have played a practice round here. You can't play this golf course without a practice round. Or you can't just wake up and decide to shoot a nine under nine par. Nine under, <laughs> because, you know, by, by the way, in Aurelia, there's some hole like this, but they played that whole golf course before. Such in letting one handing it, still finding the fairway. Akshay using the big stick, staying aggressive. Harshit, nice low penetrating ball flight. Shivendra remaining aggressive as well. This is our the group of Saurav Chaudhary, Sachin Basoya playing number 10. Third member of this group is Vinay Kumar Yadav. Vinay, one under today, a total of two under. Sachin, two under today, a total of four under. Sort of even par today at one under. Sort of with his buddy attempt first.
good part of 35 40 feet bit downhill left to right Akshay with his tee shot on number 10 looking anxiously seems to have uh, missed it right a bit Shivendra Chasing it down, finishing on his left side completely. Arshit, the third member in this group, six feet six. Arshit setting one under one over today, and uh, finds himself at two under for the tournament. Sort of with this lag part on number 10. Harshit one handing it. Sachin getting a good read from Sort of Spot. Looks like everybody is looking at the same line. Vinay Kumar Yadav with his birdie attempt on number 10. Uphill right to left. A lot of these putts are coming up short, you know, they, they, the players are using the putter from uh, just off the green and and the ball seems to come be coming out bouncing. So anytime the ball's bouncing, it's rolling less and uh, it generally tends to come up short. Sachin with his birdie attempt on number 10 now. He's got a good read from sort of spot a lot of left right borrow on this one Just over borrowing it a bit that's Sachin right there uh Trying to fix some pitch marks right there. Now we have a look why the split screen at two groups at the same time. We've seen some good scoring today. From the top 10 players, Om Prakash, Kapil and Akshay, all of them are two under par. Shivinder Singh Sodia at one under par. And uh, if we go down and see some of the other scores, not too many red numbers. Lower down, uh, this part on our live feed one should break a little from the player's left and uh, brilliantly done there. Yeah, 
This is the group of Sachin Besoya, Vinay Kumar Yadav and Saurav Chaudhary. As you are seeing some of the scores lower down, a difficult day for the players and um, Lakshay Nagar currently 4 over, 10 over for the tournament, uh, Trishul Chinnappa 2 over, so they are towards the middle of the pack, and then you have uh, Abhinav Lohan as well as Arjun Prasad, both of them 1 under par, that's a rather unfortunate but uh, missed right there, or oh, Vinay Kumar. My apologies for store of Chaudhary there and uh, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, we'd like to tell you we're live at the JNK Open 2023 being presented by JNK Tourism being played at the Jammu Tavi Golf Course. This tournament to boast of a prize fund of 50 lakh. On the left is Sachin Besoya, right uh, you can see Kapil Kumar. Couple would have this, but uh, break a little bit from his right to left. Speed should not be much of an issue because he's going downhill. He's playing hole number nine. The ninth is a par four, a challenging one, the most difficult par four on this golf course, measuring in at 479 yards. And he's done well there, holding that. Om Prakash Chauhan now uh, with one of those multi compound putters holding that I presume that should be for his par and he should remain at 10 under par man of best two over par today so uh, not able to replicate the kind of form that he showed yesterday but still uh, he's got another nine holes to go so maybe he can turn things on on the back nine it's important because uh, for him, he's just starting out and this prize money would be really important uh, in terms of deciding where he ends up on the order of merit with some big tournaments coming up in the next season. Each position counts. You do have the core sanctioned events with the Asian Tour, the DP World Tour, and uh, even with the Challenge Tour, the ADT Tour, so many big tournaments, the Indian Open. So all the work... Uh, that has been put in by the players for the duration of the year does come in handy if they are to get an entry into these big lucrative events and that's uh, what they all play for they want to move on to bigger stages such as Manu Gandas has been able to do kind courtesy his uh, numero uno position on the order of merit and uh, the historic tie-up between uh, the professional golf tour of India and the DP world tour while we have a look at Dharma M on hole number 11, uh, maybe all of five and a half, six feet. Should be easy pickings for him. He's a brilliant putter. Very smooth stroke. Uh, applies his trade at uh, Bengaluru. And plays on really quick greens there at the KGA. Brilliant part playing alongside Badal Hussain from Bangladesh. As far as the international players are concerned, uh, currently we only have one who's been able to make the cut, and that is uh, Badal Hussain flying his country's flag high. I'm certain that it must give him a lot of pride to uh, come over to India and play well and make a name for himself this is one of the biggest domestic tours in the world and uh, mind you it's an open international tour as well now is the pgti uh, it, it uh, allows players from any country to come and play and it also gives you international points so a lot to play for 
Yeah, Bangladesh has produced quite a few good players in the recent past with Siddhikur. They have Zamal, who's won a few events. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's something which uh, we, and they, we have a, a, our PGTI event in Kumikola uh, as well. So it's a, it's a very, very golfing. I would say we have a lot of, of, you know, Bangladeshis who, you know, come and really power our tour out here because they are good players. Yes, uh, some very good players and that helps sort of a symbiotic relation that helps the Indian players improve. I feel that the more uh, attendance by foreigners on our tour, it will really pick the standard of play up. The similar thing that has happened to the IPL and the Indian team. Yeah. I think that is something that uh, you will see that will happen on our tour as well as we have a look at Manav on hole number 10. I think the years to come with this sort of influx of prize money, you'll see a lot of players uh, flock in to play that. The similar thing that happened in cricket where players are actually giving up their national contracts and coming to play in the IPL because they know it's lucrative. So at the end, it's a, it's a lot about honor, but money does matter. So you it's, might see a lot of players coming to play in India. Sport is entertainment now, Shorya. It's, you know, uh, people want to see it has to be exciting and IPL is exciting and that's yes. why there's it's money in it and uh, uh, you know if, if you're if, if people are watching it then the people who are playing are going to get paid more yes so thankfully people are watching it kind courtesy this historic partnership between the ABP network Eurosport and professional golf tour of India and on uh, your screen on the right hand side is the current leader, the numero uno Om Prakash Chauhan, eight-time champion from Mao. Uh, this man has a spring in his step and his swing is he, uh, swaken. He's not uh, hesitating. You know, he's. You can see there's no uh, hesitation in his you know, his body language. His, his swing. There's no holding back. That shows me there's no. There's a lot of trust and his this commitment is complete. Another thing I must point out that both. Um, Om Prakash and Kapil come from humble backgrounds and look where they are today. They're the leaders and, and they're doing so well on such a big tour. It shows you that anything is possible in golf is a great equalizer. It's uh, when you support this game of golf, you're actually bringing up grassroots. If you see our tour, I would say maybe 50% of them come from humble backgrounds. Many of them have started as caddies, but look where they are now. Rashid Khan is a name that comes to mind. He's uh, one of the emperors of Indian golf, the way he's just risen through. So it's you know, uh, it's so uh, earlier that whole uh, dialogue about being a rich man's sport. If you go and scroll down the PGTI player list, you won't find any extremely rich people there. They'll be all very middle class, maybe middle to lower class economically. I'm talking about. I think golfers are a class apart by anyway. Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. You get what you do. You yeah, know. There's no, there's no, yeah, it's all on you. And nobody can stop you. Yeah, nobody you can good. stop you. No. You, you know, you eat what you kill. Absolutely. And that's the beauty of this game. You know, I just feel like once you have, uh, once, if, if you're performing well, sky's the limit. And uh, many of them have been uh, able to, you know, grab onto those opportunities. And I must also mention um, the many foundations which are doing good work in promoting juniors and, and children. There are many good coaches, uh, you know, there are people like you who've been associated with the game of golf at a high level. And then now, you know, giving back to the, uh, to the game, working with juniors, that's so important. And uh, the work that golf foundations and all these other ones do, it's, it's, it's really helpful towards these kind of players. Many have come from that uh, factory and now we're seeing even down south, many more academies coming up in Kolkata. So uh, all the professional golfers, the ones who retired, who are working with the game, uh, you know, big shout out to all of you. That, I think uh, and the government has a big role in it because um, junior sport now, promotion of junior sport is a CSR act. So, you know, every company has a CSR, which it has to do. Uh, and since junior promotion of junior sport in the CSR, now the, the, the 
companies and industries and uh, multinationals are able to support junior golf more uh, not just golf sport in general so that is one thing which has really changed this has been a very recent development as far as csr if policy is if you see if you look over the last eight nine years sports there have been a proliferation of all sport you see our medal tally at uh, asian games you look at the olympics we are always improving now you see our players uh, you know, in all major sports, they are dominating, they are competing, they're improving. We finished uh, in the top five in the four into 400 meter relay at the World Championship. We qualified for the World Championship in the four into, no, four into 100, sorry. It was four into 100 uh, relay. So you can well imagine how far we come. Athletics. We beat, we beat some uh, powerhouses. We didn't come, we finished fifth. There were eight teams, eight relay teams. So India was not known for this. And then you have Neera Chopra, who's, who's the who's won the world championship now uh, at Javelin, and he's won the Asian Games, and you know. So, it's, so, it's, it shows you that you know it is possible with the correct support. And something else I saw: we beat Pakistan at squash. Yes. Jahangir Khan, Khan, yeah, 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 yeah. Khan, Jahangir Khan, you know, they were like legend, legends of squash and India was not. And we actually beat Pakistan at squash. So it's it's uh, great strides that we make in sport, but these are sustainable only with everybody's support, I must say. It takes a village, as they say. And it's uh, we're thankful that uh, this kind of change is happening. It It's very good, uh, keeps the youth positively engaged as well. I think sport is so important in the development of uh, the youth, which is the engine of any country. You know, the biggest competitor to sport as far as uh, social well-being is concerned is the flat screen. This is the biggest rival to sport. If you are playing sport, you're not in front of the screen. If you're but, not playing but sport... But we would recommend right now that you please be in front of your screens and yeah. play your sport no, I'm, later. I'm, 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 talking uh, about, I'm talking about social media, no, no, I'm talking I, video games. I, I, I'm, I'm speaking in jest. We would want our people to yeah, be... Absolutely. Please be glued us. to your screens all the time. And, and, and send us... <laughs> But yes, you're right that you know you more outdoors as opposed to previous generations. We were, we were spending times outdoors. Now these things they have come in between. So there is a choice that you know if you're playing video games, you can't be outside. Yeah. There has to be a balance. So sort of that looks like dharma on the right hand and sort of on the left. Yes. So you pick your poison. So that's opium on on your on your right. And it's similarly dressed as uh, absolutely, but just the more pink in his red. That's a brilliant shot. Uh, he's definitely. I think he's uh, baying he's, for blood. Brilliant shot. It's really yielding its its results. Sachin on number eleven. Eleven is a three hundred and eighty-two yard par four. Vinay Kumar Yadav with his birdie attempt on number 11, missing on the lower side. Vinay uh, just coming off a bogey on number 10 that's taking him back to even par for today, one under for the tournament. One under currently in a tie for eighth position. Sachin finding the middle of the hole there. That should take him to five under, a tie for fourth position with Shivendra.
Vinay Kumar Yadav cleaning up on number 11. Uh, seems to have lost his cool a bit. Om Prakash, after that brilliant approach to number 10. Well, uh, it's, there's still just one shot between Kapil and uh, Om Prakash. He's not like he's running away with it. He's been rock steady though, but uh, he's not, Kapil has hung on. Both are too wonderful today. Both tenacious characters, Om Prakash and Kapil. Kapil with a slightly longer body part on number 10. Then Om. Reading it from all sides, you know, this uh, whole procedure of reading the line is a very, is very good for the visual, visualizing the putt also. So it helps you make the putt before you make it. You've seen a lot of Putts come up short from here. Let's see if a uh, couple's got the speed right. Give me a lot of thought. And the speed, right, just misread it a bit. Turned more than you thought it would. It keeps him at nine under. Manav with his birdie attempt now. Three good approach shots in here by our leader group. Good putting technique, uh, minor bias. Let's see if we can read this one correctly. Oh, just running out of steam as a result, turning more. Om Prakash Chauhan with his birdie attempt now. This will put a little more daylight between him and Kapil. This routine always remains the same. Same right hand. And finding the bottom of the hole again, taking him to 11 under, two shots ahead of Kapil now. On the right of the screen, Akshay making a birdie on number 11. So Akshay goes to eight under now. Shivendra with his birdie attempt on number 11. Uphill, right to left. Let's see if we can follow suit. Oh, just hitting it through the break there. A little too much steam.
as cheat two foot of a pa cleaning up Shivendra taking his time, a little bit of gardening, making sure the surface is smooth. Don't want it bobbing up and down on part of this length. lost our streaming for a bit there so the leaders finding them their way to number 11 which is 82 yard par four on prakash chauhan moving up to it uh, this hasn't been updated yet, but he has made birdie on number 10, which has taken him to 11 under, two shots ahead of Kapil Kumar. Akshay at 7, Sachin at 5, Shivendra at 5. And as you can see, it's been a high scoring week. Uh, just just about 10 people under par. This is uh, the Jammu Tavi golf course is 7,251 yards long and it's a demanding golf course off the tee. There's a lot of, uh, lot of penalties on both sides on most of the holes. This is the rest of the calendar for the year for the PGTI. From here, the players make their way to Panchkula for the Haryana Open and then followed by the Chief Milka Singh Invitational in Chandigarh. Then it's a long trek across the country to Dick Boy for the IOC Masters Golf 2023. From where they come back to the nation's capital, Delhi, and when the, uh, for the couple day round found an invitation at the beautiful DLF Golf and Country Club followed by the SSB Invitational in Kolkata. Then it's a trek back to Jaipur for the Jaipur Open, followed by the Tata Steel Tour Championship, which is got a enhanced prize money of three crore, which is also just for the top 60. So this is the last event. It's a no cut event, only the top 60 and in, in, in whites get to play it. which is uh, going to be held at Jamshedpur. That will be then followed by the PGTI qualifying school, which has got two stages to it. It has a pre-qualifying and then the follow main qualifying. It has, this year it has over 600 entries. That is the Tata Steel PGTI rankings so far. Om Prakash Chauhan, who is leading our tournament here as well, is leading the has a sizable lead over Aman Raj on the prize money. In third place is Karan Pratap Singh, followed by Sachin and Jamal. Jamal is not playing this week. Gaurav had an indifferent outing here, having missed the cut. 
Akshay Sharma is going to enhance his position after this week because uh, Sanit is not playing and Akshay is uh, well within the top five here. He's in, actually in second position right now at eight under. Yes, good. Uh, climb up uh, maybe all the way up till seventh, mathematically speaking. Maybe even sixth if he indeed wins the tournament. I think uh, second place uh, position would be four lakh and then some, or maybe closer to five lakh. The winner it's, gets uh, about. It's But uh, 550 or something. 550. He sticks. But he'd be looking to win this tournament. Uh, but it's not going to be easy. Om Prakash Chauhan uh, looks like an insurmountable uh, object in front of him at this point in time. He's playing like a man possessed. He's reeling off birdies after birdies and not a single bogey. Uh, knock on wood. So that uh, the commentator doesn't curse him. <laughs> I don't think he either. He's not interested in dropping shots, only interested in making birdies, which is uh, really good. On our screen is Kapil playing number 11. Uh, the 11th hole is a par for 405 yards. It's a fairly short hole. Very straight, relatively, relatively straight, I would say. Sizable divot. Just one bunker on this on this hole, which is a green side bunker short. It runs. It looks like uh, one of the I would say easier holes on this on this track. Relatively. Yeah, but I, I think the difficulty is if you miss the fairway, this green seems to be a little perched up and that bunker. And it's rather narrow as well. So stopping the ball on the and correct. Right, the bunker is right in the middle of the green. The, so, it's not on the side. So stopping the, the ball on the correct surface. Uh, I wonder uh, how the members play this hole. They must be treading that bunker. <laughs> you know how members are. They, 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 like, might... they like to roll it up, you know. So it's right in the middle. Must be getting a lot of traffic. Absolutely. Opie with his brisk walk on the right of your screen. El Sanjeev Kumar from Lucknow finishing up. We did bring to you the scores of the leaders. Uh, Akshay, Om Prakash both at 3 under par. Akshay at 8 and Om Prakash at 11 under for the tournament. Ka Kapil Kumar also joining that uh, trio at 8 under par total. And as you go lower down, we see that Lohan and Prasad uh, are playing really well. 2 under for the day. Uh, Scoring all around has still been difficult today. As we look at Manab Bias on hole and number 11 coming from the left hand side. It will be difficult for, the, for this ball to stop, but uh, hasn't he done ever so well? That is uh, exemplary control by him, being able to pitch it towards the front center of the green and uh, release it towards the flag. That's brilliant control by this young man. So it shows you that he has uh, the iron striking game well under wraps. And uh, as you look at the scores, uh, we see that uh, Shamim Khan is the one who started from the back nine. He's one under par. He's the sole figure, I think, now. Or uh, there was Shankar Das, who was one under. But no, now... I think it was C. Arul. Mm, there's somebody on the back nine who started... Uh, yeah, but he just bogeyed uh, the first hole, so it's dropped back to even par. Yeah. So nobody from the back nine who's under par. So shows you that... It's not easy pickings by any measure. And even towards uh, the top half, there may be only about 10 players overall under par. And uh, the Shamim start on the back nine today? Shamim Khan? No, uh, no. on the front nine. Yes, yeah, so because that's coupled with his bunker shot on number 11. Fairly straightforward, not a very difficult bunker shot. Uh, it's like to be a longish bunker shot. Oh. There's the ball. So this, it yes, way. it's right at the back. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you prescribe? Um, I personally like to hit the chunk and run from this kind of distance. So that takes the safety aspect first. You don't, you ensure that you're not. Uh... 
it makes this shot really difficult yeah. right and uphill also yeah it's it's a very difficult shot overall there's no uh, magic to it you just have yeah. to execute it you give yourself a, sh a shot i think that that's good enough you know Yes, so, so that's like three there. Yes, so might be the commentary discuss is might come in being again with us. Say he hasn't made a poke. Yeah, that, that normally happens, but I think uh, it's been quite a while. It's been twenty eight holes, twenty seven holes, bogey free, and maybe a few. No, he did make a double bogey on the last hole of the second round. Apart from that, it's it's been a pretty clean uh, week. Just three bogeys and a double thus far. So it's been very. Good in order to avoid disaster. Yeah, that's pretty pretty neat on on golf course. This can take shows you that his ball striking is absolutely on top, and they have some friendly visitors as well. They have no idea what's going on. Absolutely. Let's see if uh, Op can continue that streak. It's going to be a difficult putt. Left it short as well. It's not too bad. It's quite, it's quite deep. Rohan uh, with what appears to be on hole number 15. Yeah, second. Yeah, I think that's the 15th hole that we've seen on our right hand side. With his par attempt coming up on number 11. I think this could uh, really change the complexion of things if he were to make his part now. So, it's the very difficult hole there. It's the wash out. No, but you know, home is from scratch, is also going to drop a shot here. Yeah. yeah, so maybe, you know, stay two shots is so gettable. Reduce the margin. He knows how important this is. But thankfully for the players, the, everything is important at this point. Yeah. But. Thankfully for the players, the weather is not oppressive, so they can just sort of focus on their game. We have a look at Shankar Das. A couple going at it at the same time. Putting in unison, both of them. Shankar uh, is looking good, looking good all the way. Just about. Let's see if couple can do one better. A little more deliberate this time is couple. Pull this putter back towards him, then he replaces it, and this is his last look. That looks good. That looks good. Uh, that's uh, right in the jaws. Rather unfortunate there for him. Yeah. Front door drunk and then slept outside. Absolutely. And that's how it should be. <laughs> Inebriation uh, must be penalized. So there he is. Uh, and we have a look at Rohan after that bunker shot. Yeah, it was, it was hole number 15. Long putt for his par. Over today. Just coming up a bit short. Not sure getting his marker back into place. And I almost found his uh, big casino chips very disturbing as markers. 
as in any time uh, unless you you won uh, then it might be it's a small coin you actually don't want him to move it at all because you're going to use it as an aid for your life but this one you have to tell the person to look to move it Akshay, for his power on number 15. Oh, that's rather unfortunate for Akshay right there. Let's see, he's not very sure about the line. Arjun Prasad having a brilliant day today. He's four under today and it's been one under for the tournament now. They're having a field day. It's lunchtime, Shoya. They're not concerned. Only thing interesting right now are insects. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they have the head down, as you said, in the wild. <laughs> They're looking down. Look at that. That's some good camera work if I've ever seen any. You know, this shine of the sun, I remember I was playing, uh, I think it was the Emirates Amateur in Dubai at the Majlis course at the Emirates. And it had just been made, I'm talking about 95, 96. And, um, so the caddy told me when you're hitting this third shot over the water, don't look at the water. And because we play, we were playing in the evening, I said, don't look at the water. What does it mean? And it was a practice round. And, you know, I looked at the water and the moment I looked at the water, it was like mercury. It is the angle of the sun is such that it shines and it hits you in the eye and you go blind for a couple of few seconds. You can't see anything. It's Quite the story. Un un unreal. I like. I thought you were going to come up with something no, I more interesting. I, I thought it was crocodiles probably. I had to jump out of the shot. I couldn't see the ball. It was. It was my. I was blind. Uh, I was blinded by that reflection. Yes, that's where. Uh, that's a good golf course for match play. Huh? Make your opponent look into it and then call the referee for slow play. <laughs> that was especially good. Would be quite the one. Did you ever play any of those golf courses in South Africa where there's a lot of wildlife, tigers, lions roaming around? That's a brilliant part. Uh, you seen those videos where there's been a wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> Not any more, unfortunately. Uh, that's rather unfortunate. But all good things come to an end. Hopefully, he can make another comeback. 18th hole. Look. Interesting pin, huh? The, the the tree is guarding the pin today. Yes, it uh, favors the fade player a lot more today. Shamim with his caddy Kulu. Amrit has his. Uh, needs to get a tighter belt. His t-shirt keeps coming out. Misreading it a bit. Shamim. This looks like it's Amrit. Yeah, that was Amrit Lal. This is, looks like it's number 17 from the looks of it. Like, uh, we are on the spot. Uh, can't make too many mistakes either. So let's just uh, wait and watch. <laughs> That's what I do. Play it safe. But say, playing safe is never good enough if you have to win a tournament. Oh, Prakash yeah. will tell you that, that you have to go for the kill. But unfortunately, yeah. sometimes yeah. when you go for the kill, it can come back and haunt you. He's, 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 uh, he's uh, dropped shots in couples. Yes. Week. So he doesn't like making bogeys. He's made a double bogey. He made a double bogey at the end of the second round. Yeah. And he's made another here. But he's been bogey free. Technically, Absolutely. since the first round. Yes. So he's at nine under par, one shot ahead of Akshay Sharma, and he's uh, invariably got Kapil Kumar in the tournament as well. Sachin Besoya, Shivendra. Everybody's in love. Yeah, now lurking behind 
Because like sometimes when the wheel comes off, it's it keeps coming off. Yes, absolutely. Sometimes. Let's see if uh, if he still stays on track. But uh, they can they're like sharks. I'll tell you, the chasing golfers. They can smell blood in the water, and they're Good in for the kill. But by Shimi. There's going to be a spring in the step of all these other golfers who are at five under. Maybe somebody at three under also thinks Harshit that maybe I just overpower this golf course, drive a couple of par fours. You know, the conditions being so. Funny uh, why Shamim wasn't playing better. Yes, um, I, from what I heard, I, I did happen to speak to his caddy. He he said uh, last time I met him that putting has been an issue for him because uh, obviously he's not playing where he used to. So owing to that, uh, you know, putting was a skill that he was really good at. He's, he's, he's not, not getting to practice that much. He's not getting to practice where he used to. So the problem is that uh, he's having to play golf in other golf courses where the greens are slow. So he's really lost out on that uh, Midas touch that he has around the green. So hopefully he can that's find a place that the greens are fast. That's unfortunate. But he was, uh, he was such a, he is actually a really good putter. Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. So, you know, just as you're talking about people coming from humble backgrounds, their stories, you know, there is struggle involved. It's not so easy. It's all not all uh, roses and sunshine. There's a, a lot of financial burden to actually play this game, even on a regular basis as a professional. So unless you have a benefactor, a company or sponsor. So I really do implore that for corporates uh, and even uh, governments, local governments looking at this, even as individual players, they can get associated because it's a symbiotic relationship. A player goes place to place and he does help your brand and, and you helping uh, him along his journey. Absolutely. As well. You know, I think Om Prakash, uh, comes from Mao. The, the, the golf course in Mao uh, had actually banned him for some time. He was practicing in the in the fields. Now it's back to playing on the golf course, but you can see the grit. Yes, uh, you, you know, can see the grit. Uh, yes. You can see how much he how much he wants it. Akshay on the other side, same humble background, Kapil, Sachin, Shivendra. Shivendra wanted to join the Air Force, is now a professional. He's flying high. He's flying, uh, yeah. flying high in a he, different he's, way. He's uh, currently like a MiG-27, uh, but he needs to get in, into the Raphael mode. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, he needs to get just those four shots on to put on these afterburners yeah. and get after it. So, uh, you know, coming, you see the top uh, five on our leaderboard today very humble background very this just shows you actually you, you made a brilliant uh, observation look at that this is what inclusion looks like om prakash from mao akshay chandigarh kapil delhi sachin delhi shivender uh, gurugram um, it's dominated by people from different parts of the country and humble backgrounds and they're fantastic ambassadors for the game of golf what more do you want this is what dreams are made of you know you you work hard and uh, sky's the limit you win, you become number one, you go play DP World Tour. So if you have what it takes and you want to play a sport, I I really recommend that you look at golf as somewhere that you can fulfill your dreams if you really have what it takes. Nothing can stop you apart from yourself. And uh, there you have it, Om Prakash Chauhan, right under you part. Know, I feel that uh, when, you, when you come from a more humble background, you feel... You know, this the drive is is it's a little more intent intense, I would say, though, because you feel like uh, this is your your salvage. You know, it's the way you go, reach where you wanted to reach in life, and there's no option basically. You know, this is one way. This is the way, and when you know that this is the only way, this is your backs against the wall, then you're gonna come out fighting, and they, that's what they, that's the advantage of. So I remember. Uh, a very famous interview by Ben Hogan and he came from a, from a very humble background himself and Akshay has just made birdie on 12 and has the smile and has moved to 900 and is in the tie for the lead fantastic so Ben Hogan said you know I always he said, uh, I always uh, feel bad for the rich people they, they don't know what a tough day is I had a tough day every day of my life 
and I know how to handle tough tough days and uh, and I and I, and I have enjoyed ha- handling it. So they, you know, the environment has breeds toughness, and it's at the end, then when you come to a tournament and clothing, it's 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 a, it is, it's a test of that character. You know, it, your toughness does have a big role to play on the result. Yes, um, and I think that's where. You know, they say the extremes uh, can still make you know work at their dreams. It's in the middle. If you're having to balance things out, it becomes difficult. But nothing that is great in life comes easy. Nobody's gonna give you anything on a platter. You have to risk it. If you have a plan B, they say you already lost. But uh, unless you have a plan B, then you can be lost in the wilderness in life later. So it's there's no straight answers. But you must know if you have it, have what it takes. You know, a person deep inside every golf player, every sportsman knows. If he has what it takes, it doesn't matter if you don't win, but you must know that you have the ability. Well, uh, uh, the middle come, coming to the middle. The middle is probably where uh, a lot of good golfers come from. Also, where a lot of dreams go to die. Yeah, you know, but, you know <laughs> that's, that's the, middle, the middle is us. Okay. Exactly. Also, where your Jordan Speeds and your Tiger Woods come from. Yes, that's the middle. But the middle has it has its own advantage. The middle has advantage of discipline. Yes, it has advantage of integrity and all those characters that which are important in sport. This the the the, the bottom has the advantage of having their back against the wall, and there's only one way forward. Yeah, it's it's either you also has, you're up, either you're up or you're out. The top, if they keep their heads about them, has an have they have an advantage too of resources. Absolutely. So there's, think, a, there's there's advantage everywhere. everywhere. It depends on how you use it. If, if exactly, you it, it, yeah. you're right. It's how you look at life because yeah. every situation is going to be unique for each player. But I feel that maturity is something that is common across the board. You must know what you have going for you. You must know how to tackle this game. You can't be blindsided by things, especially if you want to be a good professional golfer and play for your life. You must really be well prepared. And uh, you must know. unless you can sleep and shoot nine under par when others are trying to wake you up, don't try that. That's like you said, <laughs> hindsight, foresight, insight, right? Exactly. Yeah. So the insight needs to be there. And the foresight needs to be clear. You know, when the more clear your vision is, the more you actually things open up for you. And there's another part of you know, it's it's from our our uh, you know, I don't know if you've read of Chanakya Niti. You know, it's yes. it's, uh, it's a very famous book of uh, sayings. And and Chanakya had a very famous saying. He says, if if you don't do the right if you don't do the thing at the right time, time will not allow you to do it. Yes. Okay. So there's a time and 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 uh, there's a time where you have it going for you. And it's, if that time you don't do it, then time will not allow you to do it later on. Very deep. Uh, let's see if this is the correct time for Harinder Gupta on hole number 15. Harinder Gupta currently sitting in at level par. Let's see if we can get into those red numbers. It always looks so good on the scorecard. Yes, absolutely. Especially on the big leaderboards on the golf course, and everybody's just looking for the red numbers. And yes, those, your, those yeah. are all the leaderboards where the numbers would change. Yeah. So the, on, on on the whole leaderboard, uh, leaderboard, the level powers in in black, the overpowers in blue, blue. and the underpowers in red. Screen is rather uniquely designed. Team. That seems to be Karan Pratap Singh. Yeah, the back bunk, the bunkers seem to be really far from the putting surface for some reason. I think the reason might be the one that you pointed out yesterday, so as to uh, diminish the chance of sand landing up on the putting surface. And uh, seems that uh, uh, he's diminished his chance of the ball landing up on the putting green either. So they both missed the green. Yeah, it's a very uh, 
well designed all this uh, the pin bone you have a bunker which is at 250 from the T which you need to decide whether you want to hit past it or short of it and I guess alongside it also yes Any, anywhere but in it yeah this fairway seems to be a little wider than the others green lies diagonally across from left moving up to the right it's, be, it's going to be telling what uh, Om Prakash does on hole number 12 and 13 to see how he's able to bounce back uh, from that. Uh, 12 is a power 5, so it's, it's good that it's a power 5. Yes. Yeah. It'll allow him to sort of uh, unleash some of that uh, frustration by hitting a driver. Mm -hmm. I think he just uh, caught a bit of a flyer on number 11, took it, went over the back, then, you know, I guess he missed that small. Yes. Part, you know, so it's. It's not like he's really. But that's that's golf, you know. It can just get away from it's you in the blink of an eye. And those soft uh, double bogeys, they hurt a lot more because yeah. you know that you've lost your focus somewhere. But the, good, the good part is that you haven't actually hit the shot that bad. It's just a little bit here, a little bit there, and caused you know. So going over the back, maybe a flyer, not not off track yes that's the flyer then short as a result you've short-sighted yourself so you pay his play safe hit it on the green hit the first part then miss the other yeah, it's, uh, so it's not that he's done something drastically wrong yeah, it's like, one of the soft uh, yeah. drop shots now Manav seems to be his chipping no this is current Pratap saying sorry Very good execution. You see that yeah, like after the second bounce, yeah. it released so well. Yeah. Yes. He has a very good chipping action. It comes out really nicely. The, on the fringe and around the beach, you don't need so much of any time. You want to get it almost like uh, behave like a putt sometimes. My coach used to tell me that, you know, if the ball is dancing on the green with spin, it's not going to win. <laughs> it's kind of rhymes, kind of rhymes as well. Yeah, it's only parts and chips, only chips and bunker shots that go in are the ones that which are rolling. So that's another thing to be mindful of. Uh, don't so employ... Spin Long part here. Yeah. Given his wrap, still come up short of it. Sartak. Sartak Chibba. This is a group of Sartak Chibba, Karan Pratap Singh, and Harinder Gu. Sartak going well today. He's uh, one under today, uh, even power for the tournament. They're coming up short as well. And they're one under as well. I mean, now Lohan has got a good round. But he's, he's blemish free today, three under, and even par for the tournament. Tartak for his pa. Good clean up there. Remains at one under for today and pa for the tournament. A tie for 11th position. It's 
So Om Prakash is coming back for the birdie That's on talking. number 12. The metal. It's taken him back to 10 under, one shot ahead again. It's uh, he's showing his metal. That's what champions are made of. Uh, was able to bounce back from that. That's, that's a litmus test. Mm -hmm. No, it, it, it was a par five also. So which is but still, I mean, you still have to be in your element. Uh, not that a par five is. I don't think he had any drastically bad shot on the double bogey. It was but, just a little bit. You know, you know that can work both ways. That you think that you lost your focus and dropped two shots instead of one, but he's he's so good that he bounced back. I would be something and I've got a few titles coming up. If I have wide off the team, I would be thinking about it. But if I've hit generally okay, I know okay, one of those holes, you know, it's okay. It'll, it'll all even out. That's what you know you you know it, it won't worry you it won't worry you on if you're striking like, on a golf course like this where the tee to green is uh, yes it's, I agree. It's, it's a challenge. But it would still irk you that uh, you yeah, have to focus a little bit yeah. That, things but not worrying if let's say on, on the other side if you hit it like way right or way left and then you and then you second guessing yourself yeah and then you've got, i've got another seven holes to go you know and i hope i don't repeat that miss miss you 13th is a short uh, par 3 150 yards yeah it's uh, it's very uh, very interesting hole. You see it uh, almost like a dog leg. Yeah, it's a, to be aggressive. You have to get close to the hole. Sachin with his chip came out pretty well. Yeah, good, nice, uh, firm, nicely done there by him. <laughs> you know, golf is such a uh, mental game. I we saw Vinay getting upset on number. On number ten, hitting his ball with his putter, then he's just gone bogey, bogey after that. So it's three bogeys. It's your your emotions need to be kept in check in this game because they they are the your biggest weapon and your biggest enemy also. Yes, it's a nice layout. Uh... And design of this hole you see how that uh, bush sort of comes into play those trees on the right hand side overhanging out I, I would have uh, maybe like the flag pin position to be further to the right to make it even more interesting front right i think that will be uh, the stuff of what nightmares are made of you know it's that's the sadistic part of every human being. <laughs> and uh you know we were talking about uh earlier we had this discussion which we didn't go through with it but you know should you win early? Should you lose early? Should you, what should you do? You know, this for a human being, we all grew up at different rates. So if some, we have some early bloomers who become big early in life and, uh, and some kids who, you know, grow a little slower. I feel that the, the more you challenge somebody, the more they push themselves and the better they get. So if you have somebody who's an early bloomer, I would actually let the kid play with, uh, with kids his size older than him or her and vice versa for somebody who's uh, uh, you know a, a, a late bloomer who's shorter than he he or she should be at that age growth wise I would not let them play tournaments with the yardage too long okay I want because psychologically I want to challenge that person who thinks he's cat's whiskers okay and I, may, I don't want this one to take a beating that they they, uh, they get disheartened. Yes, and uh, it's it's the balance of of uh, things that make uh, you know make uh, for yeah he's just uh, made a real hash of it. You know I think he just lost his footing on the on the top of his backswing and uh, didn't make good contact at all. Is that uh, Shivendra? No, that's uh, Pavan Kumar. Yes, and they both have the leaves on. Yeah. Vinay leaning up. Oh, see, this is another one of those, you know, uh, angry messages. You can see that he's, you know, he just wants to get out of the golf course right now. Yeah, and that's, that's been since his missed putt on number 10. He hit the ball with his putter, then you could see the, 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 the frustration and anger on his face. And it's, he's taking it to the next hole. You, you need to 
not take any of this stuff in the next tea box. That's that's what will help you perform better. So you know this uh, anger, frustration, all these negatives which uh, which all human beings have, they need to be curved in this game. It, it's 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 all you are definitely going to have it, but you need to you know keep a tab on it. One of the ways is to look at the drone video. This has uh, something majestic about it, calming, meditative. Just look at it and relax. Yes, beautiful view of uh, of the golf course. I, I I'm really impressed by the golf course. It's the layout is fantastic. The conditions are great and uh, challenging. Are we got first. This is the third edition of the JNK Open presented by JNK Tourism. The first edition was played in Srinagar. The last two editions, this one and the one before, is being played here at the Jammu Tavi Golf Course in Jammu. That's Dharma on number 15. Finding the putting surface. Very still day. Great conditions to score. And uh, we. Om Prakash Chauhan is leading the pack at 10 under in close pursuit is Akshay Sharma at 9 under followed by Kapil Kumar at 7 then Sachin and Shivendra at 5. Hashjit and Manav at 4. One under is placed at 8th position all the way to the 11th place. High scoring week, tough, really tough, challenging track. Um, any mistake is a bogey or double bogey here. Pavan, after hitting, uh, losing his footing in the bunker, uh, not making good contact with the ball is left with uh, 50 60 yards to get up and down for his power on 15. Trying to see where he's going to get a, a lie which he which allow him to hit the light he wants to hit. This particular le length of shot is uh, though it's short, it's 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 uh, something where you need to decide the trajectory before uh, you hit it because until you don't control the trajectory you won't control the the distance you get on it and the release on the green subsequently and see is a two plane swing picks it up above the plane then drops it in got a little scoopy on it I'm up short. Badal chip in. Badal, uh, right. I'm assuming Badal would be here in two. Yeah. Unless he's uh, suddenly pulled a Dr. Jekyll and Hyde and <laughs> driven that ball 400 yards. Cart path. Yes. Yeah. There was that one drive, uh, I don't know who went the longest way. The cart path went to the hazard and there was like a 480 yard drive. I think twice in my playing profession ball. One was an advantage and one was a disadvantage. I remember it was an IDC. I was playing with Sujan Singh and I came on the tenth tee, uh, on the first tee, and the wind was off the left. And I was driving the ball really well, and I was I, I used to prefer fade with my driver, so I aimed it on the left side of the fairway, just pulled it a tad. It, the wind did not bring it back. The wind was left to right, and it was going straight, touch and go with the with the with the. Uh, with the rough on the left and it lands on the cart path and guess what it goes on the green <laughs> on number one in itc uh, and the second time i had the cart path i was playing in clearwater bay in hong kong it was a star alliance open and the the, the, the cart was on the left of the fairway and i hit and i pulled it a bit and it hits the cart path and stays on the cart path comes 150 yards back to me on a 360 yard holes and I had 210 yards left. 
and I was on the bubble that time and I had to make it like I had to yeah, and it was straight uphill and it, this cart path was like this hole was like a 30 degree gradient so it came back a long way so sometimes uh, you win sometimes you lose yeah it's, you know everything evens out if you uh, if you look at it in over a period of exactly time. yeah Om Prakash Chauhan has made par on hole number 13 and so has Akshay Sharma. And uh, for those of you joining us right now, we'd like to welcome you to the JNK Open 2023 presented by JNK Tourism, being played at the Jammu Tavi Golf Course at Jammu. This tournament offers a prize fund of 50 lakh on your screens is Pawan Kumar, who's uh, struggling on this hole. Let's see if those struggles come to an end. It's decent putt. Uh, yeah. He would drop a shot here on this hole. Leading a tournament is uh, Om Prakash Chauhan from Mao. Trailing him uh, by a solitary shot is Akshay Sharma from Chandigarh. Kapil Kumar from Delhi, further shot adrift. And then you have two players tied at 5 under Sachin Bhai Soya, Shivinder Singh Sodia. Long hitting Harshjit Singh Sethi at 4 under par, tied with the youngster Manav Bais at 4 under par. Behind them, uh, in a tie for 8th, uh, we have a Quartet of players, Arjun, Harinder, Dharma, and Saurabh, all at one under par. And I'm your host, Shaurya Singh, joined alongside my co-host, Amit Dubey. And uh, we look forward to hearing more from you on social media. And do follow us on uh, by reaching our website, www.pgtofindia.com. Uh, you can get a lot of information there on the schedule of events, prize fund, your favorite players, where all we go, and even tips and tricks. Dharma for his par, sorry, birdie on number 15. Oh, that was such a good part. Circle the hole, did everything but fall in. Must have looked really good to him. Badal for his par on number 15. Badal having an indifferent day today. He's four over today. And uh, four. The tournament. Missing out again. One of those days that nothing is going for you. Started with the double and then it, everything went south. It shows you a different uh, view out of wildlife. And these. Uh, it seems to be the 15th uh, that we're looking at on our left hand side is yeah, am I right? yeah, yeah. yeah really nice this is a wonderful golf course to be playing yeah and it's next to the river so water is never going to be a issue and it's got a lot of water bodies in it also yes it reminds you a little bit of um Anjkula. yes a lot if you see that uh, similar river on the side, a similar kind of uh, grass as well, mm -hmm. similar layout, similar bunkers. Uh. You know, the three, four days of June and then. <laughs> Fruitnik Electro Plus. Rehydrate. Feel alive. काम घर में कर रहे हों या बाहर या किसी बीमारी से उबर रहे हों आप बिना जाने डिहाइड्रेट हो सकते हैं रोज जरूरत है फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट इसका अनोखा आर थ्री फॉर्मूला इलेक्ट्रोलाइट रिस्टोर करे ग्लाइकोजन रिप्लेनिश करे और मसल्स का तनाव कम करे तुरंत एनर्जी के साथ फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट Thoughts go out to all of those who were affected uh, by those floods and the people who did pay the ultimate price. Uh, we do hope that they recover and obviously uh, the appropriate governments to take care uh, of those people and uh, and nature take care of us and likewise. 
it's it's uh, it's a mutual thing you need to take care of nature as well somebody who won't have any of those thoughts in is sachin, with, uh, sachin with that brilliant shot yeah it's, you know good execution for fairway to be a good fairway bunker uh, player you need to have a really stable base you need to have your stability has to be really good so it's actually a good place uh, to work on if you want to work on your stability just go to a, a bunker and hit a few long fairway shots from there and it'll, it'll, it'll make you feel stable that's and it's from the the legend sevi bayesteros used to do that on the beach when and he was a really good uh, long iron player sort of and sachin Link number 15. I think so. Your thoughts uh, about the tournament are coming true. Om Prakash uh, does have a commanding lead. Now, two shots, it's Prone to with Akshay dropping a shot. Akshay does have four holes to go. As long as it's a couple of shots and they're playing the 18th, it can still be decided. I think uh, more than two shots, then it's. Uh, yeah, and you know, I, I I just feel that, you know, this is uh, a golf course where you have to have small misses and uh, you will miss. Golf is a game of misses and how you how well you score with them. But it is a small miss golf course and Om Prakash is missing small. And as a result, he's not going to, I'm not sure what he did on the on the 18th hole on the second day, but that was um, a soft double bogey, I would yes. say. You know, nothing, you know, you, it's nothing out of the ordinary. That's... Yeah, it could be, you know, like, it could happen to anybody. You know, you, let's say, for example, you get a beach with a new second one, you just hit it, and the wind comes up, and you find the front bunker, and yeah, it's below, not fair. Below, behold, it gets plugged in it. It's not because you hit a bad shot, it's just it's the sometimes the element. Or 20 feet it's a boogie it's, it's a soft double it there's nothing you could do about it you know yes. so it was uh you hit a flyer it actually went over he covered the flag on that and then because it was he had short sighted himself he, he played safe which is what is the correct thing do. yeah and but then it, he didn't miss a small part you know so these these greens are the small parts on these greens are actually quite challenging so Let's see this one. We'll have quite a break from the players left to right. You should just miss Vinay's marker, which you can see on the screen, the coin, just to the right. If he just misses it on the right, he'll find the hole. Uh, let's see if he's able to do that. He's gone. Line seems fine. The... Maybe uh, maybe just a little under red over there, missing yeah. it on the lower side. Line. He actually almost uh, yes, and that's after he told him to move it. As uh, sorry, normally you want the, the marker move so that you don't hit it. In there, I'm not sure. You know, uh, if this is a good thing or bad thing, but you, you you can actually keep tapping on your line all the way to the hole and it yeah, become then, an indentation you know like and you can actually it'll make the ball go in so i'm not sure if it's a good thing or bad thing but well, it's the rule it's uh, i mean it's the rule you can as long as there is something which is out of the ordinary you're allowed to tap it down so the specifics i think any damage which has been done by any other player uh, i think that's the no you can't change the natural contours but if there has been something caused by a spike mark or anybody's putter for example you know if you if i keep Tapping it down all the way to the hole, for example, with my putter, and it's a, a certain width there, so go da, 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 all the way to the hole. And now I kind of say, okay, I generally have the line. It's almost like a, you know, it will take a X amount of time for it to recover from the stem, uh, from the putting it down. So yeah, it's, but it's, very rare that, uh, yeah, very rare that uh, that would be done yeah. by anyone uh, knowingly. 
uh, knowing that uh, you know people do understand the rules but yes you are allowed yeah. to press down on uh, well, in, frankly, indentations two taps it's down man you know you don't need to do it five times over oh, sometimes it just depends the kind of indentation there is you you know pitch marks do require a lot of work so we'll always give the benefit of the doubt to the player as we have a look at our multi screen view when a birdie attempt on number 15 sartak is with his tee shot on number 17 Yes, missing it on the low side. A Jim Furyk esque swing. You saw that he actually is working on flattening it out in the back swing because he rehearsed something and did something else. Something else. That's so a good shot, though. So his feel is that he he knows that he's uh, he needs to fix this a bit. Quite firm. It's, it's got still got about two and a half feet left on us. See, he's just hit it too hard again. Yeah, these short parts, as you uh, said previously, they can cause a little bit of an issue. He hit his first part too hard, then he hit his second part too hard. Both too hard. I think it's just sometimes you just want you're trying to force the issue because you so you so want to play well and maybe that's some, it, you come in your own way as they say you know yeah in golf you can't quite uh, force the issue you yeah, have to you sort of let to, it flow you need to give it your best and you know, let things unfold by themselves it's a rather unique game you can't force the issue in most of the other games like if you think about just cricket a batter can get aggressive and hit the ball a bowler you know he can give it, is, it give it a you're reacting to somebody else right yeah you're not reacting to anybody It's it's uh, it's got ball elements ball. of everything. You have to hit the ball far. It's not moving either. It's not yeah. running away. Very risky in that stroke. Yeah, it's a few things you shouldn't be doing in putting, but sometimes too wrong to make a right. Absolutely. And uh, somebody who does not want to commit any more wrongs is Om Prakash Chauhan. I think. Um, I don't think he have any more blemishes coming in. He he I think he was uh, sometimes you know the law probability says that okay there's been quite a few holes. <laughs> yes. And yeah. that does tend to happen otherwise it will be easy for players to go bogey free the entire duration. Yeah. You you will uh, the elements will get to you even yeah. if you don't hit. You know if you, what happens on if you stand on the railway track for too long. Runs over you exactly. If you make too many, uh, so many pars in a row, are now it's like a casino. If yeah. you're on a. This is steel, and this is an idea. So what happens when we join them? Something iconic, like the Bandra Valley Sea Link, an engineering marvel that connects two parts of a thriving city, where Tata Steel's state-of-the-art LRPC strands have played a role, inserted in the concrete deck. and anchored to support the vision of new india tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel tata steel we also make tomorrow ashjit seems to have come out of that a little bit look looking right yeah maybe he just started a bit right of where he wanted to yeah not too bad but uh, not that Great either. He was the closest there. He would have wanted to hit that a little closer. So the average distance that you should the PGA Tour hits it from the pin is ten percent of your yardage in feet. Right. So if you talk more hundred yards or ten feet is what you're saying that to get to. Yeah, that's what you should aim to you know achieve. It, it could be you know sometimes you have hanging lies and from the rough then it doesn't hold good. Not quite sure. But Badal has uh, gone right next to the hole. Is that his ball? Well, uh, he's the only one who's. Uh, we are at hole number sixteen. The sixteenth is a par four at four hundred and forty yards.
The Om Prakash, not short, is made on number 13. He's Om Prakash is made a part on, 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 no, on 14. He's finished 14. I can, we can see him. On, we just saw him on the there will be updated. 15th tee. Yes, we'll be updated soon enough and we'll know what he has made on, on our screens currently. Green seems to have uh, some sort of abrasions towards the back edge, or is that sand, or uh, is green? It seems like the. I think this, that's where the water drains off. So when the water drains off, it uh, you know erodes. You can see this green is sloping away at the end. So that's that's why the, the you have that eroded area. Um. I think green technology has really upgraded over the years. You do see that uh, when they are building green, there's a lot of uh, drainages yeah. under the surface. Uh, also, sprinkler uh, systems under. Do do we have those at golf courses now? Or uh... I think most golf courses have it now. The older ones maybe not, uh, but now most under the un there are sprinklers underneath the greens. No, no, the the, the drainage the, the drainage is underneath the greens, the... and the sprinklers are just towards the edge. You can, yeah. And basically, the, the sprinklers are uh, 180 sprinklers, so they only spray forward. That's a very difficult shot. It is a bunker shot, but coming out, I would, of... I would, I would clip it. I would chip it. Yeah, not the easiest yeah. shot to chip either. It's such a long green. I just put it back in my stance and just sit down on it and let it release. I think that's what he is intending to do yeah. as well, like that. Yeah, but he's duffed it a bit. That's a brilliant shot. Not too bad from there. I think another thing is that when a bunker is absolutely flat, somehow it makes the bunker shot more difficult. Yeah, you, because you're not visually, you don't need to visually hit it high and you just practice high ones. Exactly. So if you have a same shot without the lip, I think it makes it more difficult. You know, and most members actually would put it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they're really good at I, that. I, I guess that's why we, a lot of golf courses which, which have a very high membership in it, they have very, you know, now they have the lip of the bunker, the bunker, the sand going all the way to the top. Almost like a play, ramp. Yeah, yeah play a putter, it speeds up play. So, you know, otherwise bunker shot can... Yeah, they, they never yeah. get out of them. It's yeah, every, very difficult. Yeah, every member's Waterloo, they, they don't like bunker. Yes. You see that Akshay's hit it by a, f a fair bit. Like we had just spoken of how far, how the f this putt is particularly faster than others. Badal with his birdie attempt on number 16, coming up short. Shivendra. Shivendra's had a little bit of a roller coaster last three holes. He's gone bogey, birdie, bogey. This is for birdie on number 15. Also hitting it a fair bit far past the hole. So this green seems to be a little faster than usual from the left playing out to the right. Akshay has got to test the left for power. Harshjit with his birdie putt. Now this one is actually uh, quite slow compared to the other two putts. see how much slower this is compared to the last the other two parts that both of the players are uh, missing their respective parts <laughs> players who have finished their rounds the best round uh, thus far seems to be uh, belonging to abhinav lohan who has shot a three under par and has been able to move himself up to 11th position, Arjun Prasad with a one under par. So good round by him as well. Um, further down, we have Ranjit Singh, uh, the veteran from Chandigarh, also shooting a one under par today. Very good ball striker is, is Ranjit. And uh, from all the people out on the golf course, the lowest round is three under. So it, it's not been a day uh, for birdies and eagles. It's been a day of a wearing down grind. It, it's been a day that pars are at a premium. You know. Uh, Everybody's always said that Ranjit is such a good ball striker and yeah. 
maybe he's so good and he uses it on the green also <laughs> <laughs> because he's always struggled with his putting you know yeah he's always yeah. struggled i experimented a lot with different putters yeah he's grapes putters length of putter uh we just have uh now nikhil on screen A very warm welcome from the Jammu Tavi Golf Course. We are in the final round of the JNK Open 2023 presented by JNK Tourism. It's going to be a nail biting affair, so do stay tuned till the end. Before that, we have a plaque presentation ceremony, and I would request Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi, CEO of PGTI, to kindly present a plaque as a token of appreciation of PGTI to Dr. Sayyad Abid Rashid Shah, Secretary Tourism JNK, for JNK Tourism's support. to the event we would now like to get a word from dr sayed abid rashid shah sir uh jnk tourism supporting this event for the third year in succession tell us about uh, the fact that tourism and golf coming together here at this event thank you for having me uh, you are aware that jammu and kashmir we call it the crown of incredible india and we have a plethora of uh, tourism products in jammu and kashmir and golf is one of them one of the most beautiful products in jammu and kashmir tourism is golf tourism we are in the tavi golf course which is one of the most beautiful golf courses in the country we have a total of almost 6 golf courses in jammu and kashmir some of the most beautiful in the country and so therefore promoting golf in jammu and kashmir is one of the core focus areas of Uh, JNK government and the tourism department we are very happy to collaborate with the PGTI in which 126 uh, professional golf players from within and uh, outside of the country participated over the last 4 days this was a great opportunity for us to showcase the rich cultural diversity and the beauty and magnificence of Jammu and Kashmir as you see uh, which is clearly evident and uh, known to the whole world I also take this opportunity to invite all the professional golfers, avid golfers, amateur golfers, anybody with any interest in golf. JNK Tourism will go out of the way to make sure that your experience in playing golf in Jammu and in Kashmir is world class, global and something that you will remember by for the rest of your life in terms of the beauty and magnificence that Jammu and Kashmir offers along with the world class golf courses we have some of the most beautiful like i said golf courses this being one of them the tavi golf course is remarkable in terms of its beauty it's a very challenging golf course nevertheless extremely beautiful and in the times to come i am very confident that golf is only going to be taken up by a lot more people and we are going to see jnk as one of the core focus points of golf in our country Thank you sir thank you for all your support and encouragement we are here because of JNK tourism support we are looking forward to a fantastic finale to this event so do stay tuned for the end of round 4 it's back to you in the studio amit and shorya there you had uh, dr sayed shah the secretary of JNK tourism speaking with mr uttam singh mundi the ceo of uh, professional golf tour of india and nikhil kalan there the media head um definitely a word of thanks uh, to jnk tourism what they've been able to achieve in stitching together this tournament their support uh, the definitely golf, the golf course yeah the, the support would go a long way in also encouraging the golfers from this state and uh, you know promoting golf in this region as well as professional golf so A word of thanks, and I think the players are really enjoying the conditions, and none more so than the man on our screens. Yeah, his stride is something which is telling us a lot about his intent. Great, the great thing is that his stride is always the same, even when he's not playing well. He's always brisk. He has yeah. intent. Yes. He is someone, you know, he plays with intent. He wants to get something done, yeah. and I think that's a big difference, and it. It's also visible on the greens. You know, in 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 Sanskrit, there's something known as mudra. That means your gestures. Your gesture tells what you're thinking, and it works the other way around. If your gesture is a certain way, you start thinking in that way. It is a two way thing. So, from his body language, you can see what is how his mind is working. His 
always productive. He's always thinking of doing something. Or any, anyways, question. to be honest, I, I've uh, really liked the way he carries himself and his game. Yeah. And and I feel he's one of those golfers who can have a long, very good career. Primarily because of the way that his swing stays in the groove, mm -hmm. and when he gets on a tear, he he's, he doesn't get in his own way. He's one of those momentum players. Yeah. And even if he's not playing bad, he he's quick, and he's very uh, you know he's very self-assured. Mm -hmm. And and the way he puts from around six feet, he might not make all the putts, but you see there is intent of holding the putt. Same thing with Rashid Khan. Inside six feet, they are aggressive. They putt with intent, as opposed to other players who are tentative. You know, I can see the same walk. In Ashok, yes, he had a very similar walk, and he used to, you know, carry himself very well on the golf course. I'm, I mean, he might still be doing that. I haven't seen him for a while. And uh, also, another one person who comes to my mind was Jyoti. Always, yes, very, uh, you know, his head was up. Yes, he was definitely the lion. Uh, yes, back, uh, and you know, you, you could see that he was in control of himself. I think that's yeah. really important. Yeah. You know, you, you don't need to. Some other players get really down on themselves and the body language uh, yeah. gives way. And the next thing, you know, you lose your posture and that results in bad ball striking. Yeah, that, it's a mental game. You need to be mentally balanced. You know, you need to, you know, you can see him that his, his, his body is telling you that he's, he's in, he, at least he's in control of himself. He's not outside himself. Yes. Yeah. And uh, here on hole number 15, Kapil has his uh, work cut out. Yeah. So this, he, this is important because this is to stay in touch. This is to remain in uh, Om Prakash Chauhan's uh, rear view mirror. Otherwise, objects that appear may actually be further than they are. Yeah. So that's uh, what. That's a really good song from Meatloaf, by the way. Oh, well, you definitely are a good a connoisseur of good music. It was his uh, Grammy winning. Um, album bad out. I don't quite recollect. I think this is from uh, we're talking about a band uh, from the time of the 80s or no, maybe in early 90s. Early right? 90s. Yeah. I did hear the group but uh, I don't think I ever came around to Meatloaf. I'm pretty certain that I'll do my research today. Let's see if uh, Kapil Kumar can uh, take a bite out of this loaf and make a par. Well, we've seen a lot of ball uh, putts come up short and, you know, missing on the lower side, which is the right side due to lack of pace. So this is, he has to keep the pace up on this putt. It's very you, difficult uh, putt, to be honest with you. Yeah, into the grain, into the up, grain, up, up, to right. Very low probability of this uh, falling in the hole. Yeah. So, but you know, when you, when you come, win a tournament, you do things which are low probability. So oh, there you go. Fantastic putt, uh, right? The last breath, it fell in the hole. You know, so they say, okay, this is the uh, percentage uh, of putts hold from this length. I say that that means only that many percent of people are making it from that length, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to be one of those, others, yeah. then you need to be in that other percentage. That was a good one. So yes. Kapil is showing intent as well. Uh, no, it was, uh, it was a it, it was a challenging one, and this I can tell you has. Got Om Prakash thinking. Yeah, giving him a little bit of food for yeah. thought. They thought, have, a, uh, as they say, uh, you know, there's a man, there's the slow player's best friend is right there. Uh, <laughs> but he's, he's in the the been a fantastic ambassador uh, on, on the store and uh, even for the other tours that he referees on. He's you know, really a fair, uh, you know, who even keep person. His brother is? No. Krishna Machari Srikanth. Real brother? Yes. Real brother. I think he's a really modest man as well. If I if he's never told us that uh, that Mr. Chari's brother is actually um uh, Chari's brother. Oh, fantastic. What a great uh, sporting lineage. So you know, you saw that uh, just lack a bit of speed as far as the line is concerned for OP there. Tailed off at the end. Seen a lot of putts. A couple is probably the first one we saw made from that direction. Especially putting into the green. You've not yes. seen many putts because it's very difficult. The ball doesn't hold its line if you it's strike it to firm. Sixteen. 
on the right of the screen. Manav narrowly missing out. up there you can see from his uh, his gesture that he 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 pushed the first part that he missed from the right winds picked up a bit uh sure yeah you can see the flat the, the leaves moving a little more briskly on top yeah the golfing gods are not gonna make it too easy for op he'll have to earn it on the last three holes and uh wind would play a factor the 17th uh, is not the easiest of holes either. It was a strange thing, but you know, every time we played uh, a tournament, a PGDI tournament at Noida Golf Course, it used to be windy. And it was, it's not a windy golf course normally. But it, it somehow, when the PGDI, PGDI came to Noida Golf Course, it got finished. Do you remember the times? Uh, I think this would be uh, prior to uh, uh, the start of PGTI when Ashok Kumar used to win tournaments on the final day at Noida, he used to shoot nine under. I remember that happened twice. Back to back tournaments on the final day, he would shoot a nine under par. That's how good he was. I mean, I was leading one of those. I remember, and he played with me, and he. That would be he, what year? Are we talking about? Start, I'm talking about 2002 or three. I can't remember which one it was. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, he was just devastating at that point in time. Yeah, he. he and I remember it was. The, it was the season ender and they had boosted up the prize money a lot that year because they had to make up a deficit. And he showed me what ball striking is. Nine under par. Right? Yeah. And surprisingly, the first two rounds I played with him. Mm. Then the third round, since I was leading after two rounds, third round I played with someone else and the fourth round I played with him again. And uh, this is a funny thing happened. I was on the ninth hole was the last hole. We, we started on the second round from the 10th. And I just, you know, I just got a driver for myself. And uh, I had this really long one on number nine in, uh, in uh, Noida Gal. You remember that bunker that comes six, 40, 50 yards short of the yes. on the right? Yes. I was inside that bunker. That's a stupendous. Uh, drive yeah, to and I was like 80, 90 yards by him. Hmm. And he's looking at my driver. And I said, it's, it's, I was using it yesterday too. You know, uh, it's not just the I, I time. Yeah. I, I, sometimes some weeks, you yeah, know, sometimes you just, yeah. timing is, you know, impeccable. On, yeah. You know, I almost used to hit the green side bunker that week on number 12 also. Oh, so, so it was one of those weeks. And, uh, and then the later on, he, uh, it, I think, because I hit a wide on one of the holes and then I kind of got really conscious of what I was doing. And then you know, once you get conscious and you start swinging slower that you need to put the ball in place, especially in a tournament. So, you know, it, it was the, the, the difference was almost the other way around at the, at the last round of the tournament. So it's, it's such a mental game. I was trying to tell you that, you know, when you're, when you're on, you're not looking anywhere. You just uh, and when you're off, you're you're looking everywhere. Did you notice this as well? That I noticed that once you turn professional from amateur, you actually lose distance. Uh, amateur, you tend to hit the ball much longer because you're free wheeling. When you turn professional, uh, you know score becomes a lot more important. <laughs> Sometimes because when you're playing amateur golf, uh, score, you know, you will get the score. No, actually, you know, when I tell you when when I'm I know that I'm hitting it straight. I don't hold back. I, I I give it everything. I I used to sorry, but if I'm I'm not I'm not hitting the ball. Uh, uh, I'm I'm hitting. Life with Vedika always full of altitude. Mighty key. So there you have it. To drop then uh, definitely put it down on the excel back but if it's not your day then just uh, take your medicine try to keep the ball in play and uh, talk about keeping head and 18 obviously is a hole where uh, I, maybe even an eagle is possible i don't think he's coming back yeah I need to get him. 
yeah, I don't see him dropping a shot. Yeah, Akshay and Kapil need to make something happen. Home is not going to come back to them. Two birdies and three holes? But, I mean, maybe. The, the Samarin Green is uh, 27 yards long. It's playing 20 yards shorter today than yesterday. Okay, so let's see how he does. Uh, but the chasing pack will not give up hope that easily. 18th, 18th is. We hope not to. Yeah, it's, it's, it's mm. always exciting to have an exciting finish. Thought of on hole number 17 on the right of the screen. Harshjeet there. Thought of Chaudhary from Mao. Three over today, two under for the tournament. Harshjeet giving it an oil mighty wrap, making it to the hole. That's a good part there. And, by and getting, uh, getting, uh, that was burglary. <laughs> he, that was, it was a really good part. Look at him smiling. I love this guy's smile. And he's always smiling, by the way. Yeah, why won't he? Golf is an easy game or walk in the park for this man. But um, no, all things considered, he's, he's a fine young man, a good ambassador of the game. The putter seems to be that it's uh, a long putter. I think that's... Yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, I wonder what his shoe size is. It look like big shoes. Something similar to uh, one of those NBA players, I feel. Where you know, I, the biggest pair of shoes I've ever seen is uh, Amit Sutra's shoes. So he asked me to get a pair from him, for him from America once when I was there. And it was really big. 15. Oh. 15 was his size. Is his size still... An avid golfer still uh, um, takes the time out to play golf, even though he has a busy schedule. He's a hustler. <laughs> He's a hustler. Great amateur, never turned professional though. Yeah, you know, at one time he had a plus five handicap at Delhi Golf Club. This is Akshay for birdie on number 16. That's for quite a handicap to have. Who don't know what plus five means. That means his average score is five under. That's, uh, and really he something. won, and that year, that's the year he won the Singapore Amateur. He, he beat Dino Quek. And uh, really good, really good amateur. Very active still, plays a lot of uh, corporate golf. Yeah, he's probably in every corporate event. It's incomplete without Amit Mutra. Uh, oh, Shivender. He's the celebrity corporate golfer. There was a uh, miffed by something. Not quite sure what it was. He, he just, just bounced right in the in the middle of its of its roll a bit and just threw it offline a bit. I don't know. He's gesticulating to his caddy and looking behind as if maybe he read the ball long or something disturbed him. He's, Not quite sure. Yeah, he's had a little bit of a roller coaster. Bogies and bogies and birdies and bogies and birdies. Still even par today though. As long as you pepper it around with enough birdies, it's fine. You can drop. Uh, a few shots here and there. I think it's so important to make birdies because that a birdie actually gives you a spring in your step. You know, you feel good every time you make a I birdie. Think another thing uh, to make birdies is uh, just uh, birdieable holes. Are uh, you need to uh, and if you're putting well and if you you will get the chances then um, because every golf course has birdie holes. Yes, they have tough holes too. Actually, yeah. cleaning up on number sixteen for his par. So Akshay would uh, make way for the leader group to come through now. Badal. Seems to be hole number 18. Yes. Has uh, hit to the left, it seems. Yeah, that's fine. He's laying it up. Though. That uh, had quite a bit of movement on it for a layup. Uh, seemed like a strong draw. As you can see, it just bobbled a bit. Looks like it's going to go in. Yeah, that's it. That, that was heartbreak hotel right there. Like, look at his expression. It's, it's, it's telling you how he felt about it. Yeah, it's very emotive. We saw that yesterday as well. Oh, this looks, must have looked good too. You know, Shivendra, you, you put a good stroke on it. Don't worry about it. Sort of on number 17, the par 3, just left of the green.
such a not very happy yeah. <laughs> definitely not leaving a lot to the imagination I had an interesting round last year, Manav Jaini and Sachin Besoya and myself and uh, Dipankar Kaushal at Noida Golf Course. Well, uh, good favor you too. Well, because yes. Did you guys uh, beat them? No, no, we lost. Uh, thanks to kind courtesy myself. <laughs> I had a howler, but it was a lot of fun playing with these guys. Jaini is still very... In fact, Manav Jaini shot five under that day. Really? Yes, and, and uh, you know, he's, he's, his distance, I think he's lost a little more, but... Uh, his accuracy was uh, like he laid up on hole number eight and really? on eight and he buried from 100 yards. So his, his game inside 100 yards is still really, really strong. Yeah, he's always been like that. I just thought he was a little, uh, Delhi golf course makes me a little bit like that, I guess, playing on Delhi golf course and play. That's what I, that's what I do. The, you know, that's what I think. Like players at Delhi golf course lose a little bit of distance because they prioritize accuracy. Yes. Because they play every day and, you know, you want to be in play. So I'm not sure if it's a good idea to just play at one golf course. You really need to broaden your horizon. Yeah, absolutely. It's also your, you know, your adaptability also increases. Yeah, yes. You it's adapt to uh, different conditions that's what they say like about american golfers they're not great travelers when they go overseas because american golf courses are expansive wide massive just you know bomb and gouge but you go to different places it's a lot integrated vinay kumar can break his butter right now he's so frustrated with this but we've seen him miss a whole yeah, bunch of small parts today as, is that dharma on our screens and uh, yes, oh that's yes. a good shot right there it must have skirted with the tree Trees in play today on the right. It's a brilliant uh, pin placement, especially given the fact that it's the final day. So anybody trying to make eagle would have to take that tree on, or hit a nice, nice uh, left-right fade. Famous open, definitely. Badal playing out to the center. Number eighteen. So how long are you driving it now? Amit? Uh, what 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 kind of distance uh, are you uh, carrying? Uh, what what is the? You know, that's a lot. That's just really high, given the fact that you know uh, you've not been playing competitive golf for almost fifteen years. Yeah, but I'm on the golf course. I earlier, you know, I used to teach kids, small kids, and they're all grown up now, so they don't need that much of hand opening. And uh, they're still my friends, but I get more time to practice because they don't do it. But how have been, uh, and, and previously, what, let's say if we go five years behind, what was your swing speed at that time? Probably slower than it is today. I've been working a lot on my, on my, on myself, on my, on my uh, fitness. I, uh, as a result, I, I think I'm being able to do more with my body. Saurav for his par on number 17. A par is a good score on this hole. Yeah. He's so, had a good outing this week. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, three over today and two over for the tournament. It's just seeing that uh, track on 18. Everybody likes to favor a left to right shot of the tee. Not really seen many draws, to be honest. And that's yes, probably the first one. Yeah. That's Dharma looping it. I like that tight draws, you know, they always look good. Somebody that comes to mind is Zach Johnson. Very tight draw. Abhinav Lohan as well. I think they have same the same coach. You know, I uh, you might not know this, but when uh, we were a junior, Vivek Pandari used to be a star. Yes. Yeah, he went on a golf scholarship to USC and uh, he won a or that time PGAI uh, as an amateur he used to hit the tightest draws I've ever seen like, then he switched over to a fade when he turned professional then no 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 he, he still do it but then he I think um, he, he got his golf swing got looser as he grew older but as an amateur I remember as a junior he um, he won a pro tournament in army golf course everybody was hitting a driver and three wood he used to hit a driver and five and on the same hole Vivek Mandari. So yes, he won that. Know. He went 
that us uh, the red honda no, 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 i remember that, that yes that, yeah. i'm talking about two three years prior to that okay when he was that was when he turned pro and the first pro tournament that he played was in jalandhar i remember he and jyoti went into a playoff <clears throat> but uh, that honda car army of course yes and uh, but i'm talking about like three four years prior, prior to that yeah and the the stall of indian golf that time and he as an amateur you know it was it was a convincing victory it was not just one shot so he, so i remember him having that i got there with like with like on a string let's see if uh, pawan can have a tight part you know some uh, if it is like the left right parts actually you like to see everything move to right the third member of this group m dharma relatively short birdie putt coming up dharma is one under today and one under for the tournament in a tie for eighth so it's got a little bit of catch attached to it it's got is it's his this is to go into a tie for fifth position Kapil with his birdie attempt on number sixteen, narrowly missing on the right of the screen. Op with his birdie attempt on number sixteen. Narrow, narrowly missing also dharma with his birdie putt on number 18 right to left uphill burning the edge Anna with this the park part on number sixteen. That was a good stroke. that keeps him at a total of 3 under Pawan with his par part on number 18 Cleaning up. Badal for his pa on number eighteen. Dharma, after narrowly missing his birdie, and we're getting towards the business end of things. Mm. 
we getting towards the business end of things uh, here at the JNK Open 2023 presented by JNK Tourism being played at the Jammu Tavi Golf Course here at Jammu. This tournament uh, features a prize fund of 50 lakh and currently the front runner is Om Prakash Chauhan having completed 15 holes with a three uh, with a two shot lead over uh, second placed Akshay and Kapil who are at eight under par. Harshjit Singh Sethi is in fourth position at four under par. Uh, the event has seen uh, high scoring overall. So there have been difficult conditions, tested the players on all facets of uh, their golf game. And currently somebody who's been able to answer uh, the golf course. It's going to be interesting. And we uh, request you to stay glued to your seats and uh, follow us, whether you're watching this on TV your mobile or your laptop uh, on your live feed one you can see hole number 18 and live feed two you can see the par 3 17th the leader group has now moved to the 17th hole in view is om prakash chauhan it'll be interesting to see how he uh, executes this shot uh, not his ideal shape the flag is to the front left maybe he'll fade it from the flag towards the center, of the, green. The center of the green in two part Take a take a three, walk to the 18th. That's a really good yeah. shot by him. 15 Perfect. feet right. Yeah, like this is probably as close as he would want to keep it. And that's uh, playing to about 207, eight yards, and the ball came to a dead stop. Shows you the purity of yeah. the strike. Now we have the youngster, Manav Bess. Everybody bogeyed number 16. In this final group. Manav is still in well within, is in seventh position. Couple of good holes. Very helping is. Uh, He'd want to get those world ranking points. But overall, I think he's held his own today. Mm -hmm. The fact that he is playing uh, in the leader group, he's, he's done decently well. This is a difficult track and he's three over today, which is not bad. Uh, I mean, it's not what he would have liked, but I think this golf course plays at least two and a half, uh, if not more, three shots more difficult than any other on tour. Absolutely. And you know, the average score today would not be, would be around three, three over, I would say. If not more. We'll just take out the, the two the really high scores and just keep to the medium scores. So I think like three over. Yes, yeah, so then average. the median would probably be maybe three. Yeah, you're right. Three yeah. is uh, yeah. the average score by the professional. So it shows you that it's. And normally you find the average score on a final day is even par because you get a lot of under par rounds. So it's definitely playing three shots more difficult per round than Absolutely. the average yeah. course on tour. You know, look at the. The the only other golf course we had scores this uh, like this was not a golf course. Like I remember Gaurav Pratap yeah. winning at eight. I think the playoff was at eight under or something like that. And the first time Gaurav Pratap won twelve years ago, that he won at three under. Yeah. I remember. So that golf yeah. course. Uh, but we have had Honey shoot twenty under there and in excruciating and, conditions. And Vivek Bandari shoot nine, uh, twenty-two under or something like that. Okay, yeah. I didn't quite know that. So uh, uh, that's a golf course where uh, if if you you, know, you get your putts going in, they go in from. But end. but normally it's a golf course that uh, is a high scoring affair. If you see the tournaments go at like single digit under par. Yes. Only a few where somebody is really on top of his game runs away and uh, yeah. it's not easy to shoot twenty under par on a golf course like Noida. So there was one time that Vivek shot that score. Mukesh was right there. I, I think, think Mukesh, Mukesh has been right there for the last 500 years. I think he, he's he's been like, there all he throughout. He pushed Vivek to the to the to his limit. Have the players walking down hole number 18. You know, with uh, with something we never saw earlier was uh, trolleys on tour, which has changed. 
I've, uh, I think it's a more humane approach by the professional. Uh, carrying is hard enough as it is, and uh, the trolley makes it really easy compared to carrying it. I don't know if it was a rule that trolleys were not allowed or we didn't take it. I think uh, caddies never quite, uh, because a carry light is anyways not too heavy. So they never really uh, found the requirement for it. But it's a good point you raised. I think trolleys. I, I, I think they, they weren't allowed or I can't remember. I don't think so. I, I, I don't quite remember any caddy employing a trolley though. So anyways, the trolleys now are so good. Yes. You might want to have one actually. Yes, so uh, ones with uh, three, four, five wheels, they're quite easy to use. In the pandemic, many had employed those. Yeah. Sort of on the last. <laughs> Taking a lofted approach, it seems. Yeah. Yeah, it feels very comfortable hitting these high, soft chips yeah. on the, around the green. That's and Obvious. executes executes them decently well so i i guess whatever works for you cuts you know I, at some level if you are really accurate with your landing spot it takes away a lot of you know the line doubt, and the uh, doubt yeah. on how the ball whether how hard i need to hit it because it's slow and it's uphill and it's into the grain so there's a lot of you know you're thinking you have to hit it and hit it but you have to have really good execution yeah. in order to pitch it at the spot that you're yes, looking at yes. that's vinay on your know, live feed one playing number 18 and om prakash on your right on live feed two playing 17 and that's a birdie putt for Om Prakash that will put a that'll give him some breathing space yeah absolutely then he can just waltz down yeah. 18 and enjoy the walk so I think uh Vinay has had enough of his putt and he's using his wedge to putt now yeah yeah he's had enough of his putt he missed too many putts he missed it with his wedge also I, I have a feeling he's gonna hold this one what do you feel Oh, oh, there you have it. That was the tiger moment. No, that, he came to his front door drunk and then fell. Yeah, that's absolutely how you fall to the front door if you had one too many. But that's what a fantastic part. And we call that. Yeah. You know, he has that ability to bounce back. He's he's made of really stern stuff. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he knows that he's... He can, this, this it takes a yeah. deep belief yeah. to be that relaxed. That's why he's been able to bounce back from that double with a birdie. He made a bogey, then he makes a birdie. It's not that easy to do it on a golf course like Jammu Thavi. It's a very difficult, challenging just, golf course. Yes. That um, we have Kapil. He's putting for uh, birdie, if I'm not wrong. Not sure what that is. See his, where his tee shot ended up. We Sim saw that Mana went in it right, a bit on the right side of the green. It's imperative that he hold it. He's two shots behind, at least. Uh, He'll have a shot if he's even maybe make an eagle and trying to force the issue. If it's for birdie, then it's clutch he makes. Bobbled up a lot. Yes, it's not a birdie, it's at best a par. Yeah. It looks like it's a birdie part though, because he you know, there's, there's a different look. On yes, the yeah. When he holds the bird, misses the birdie or maybe misses the misses par. Misses the par. Palm this has far deeper impact on the yeah. It's It cuts sharply. Yes, it hurt. The birdie miss, uh, okay. Again, also depends a lot on the kind of ball striker that you are. If you know you're going to get a lot of opportunities, if you hit more than 12 greens every time, you're confident. You don't worry too much about Miss Birdie because you know that the par fives, you'll probably hit two of them on and you'll make a few birdies on the short hole. So a lot depends on that. Yeah. Sachin for his birdie on the last is worth a lot of cash. Yes, yeah, Sachin currently at three under. This would move him in with a tie uh, at fourth. No, oh, not to be. Man, narrowly missing on the left. Started off with a bang today, though. Birdie, birdie, pa, pa, birdie, and, and just lost his way a bit in the middle. And he just had a really not a the end he wanted. He's gone bogey, 
बोगी बोगी पा That's looks like the aerial view of number eighteen. Yes, sir. Uh, cutting a solitary figure. Who is that? Black and white. Uh, Let's take a guess. Karan is live feed, so it has to be Harshit City. Yeah, I think so. Yes, Harshit City. My best guess. Well, it uh, gives you a good view of how to play the whole. Yes. It's really and very uh, nicely placed trees. It just gives you that a little bit of a funnel effect. You know, it's wider on, around the green than it is approaching the green. Favors the higher ball flight. Reminds me a little bit like the E shot on of number seven in Chandigarh. You could thread the needle. Mm. Remember a very the, intimidating T shot. Yes. What club would you normally use there? I would just I would hit my driver with a low tee, really low tee. With a low tee. Really Normally low tee. players prefer a driver. Like I also prefer higher high tee. Hit a fade over the left tree. I used to just punch it and it used to fade. Okay. And then I used to hit it right in the put it right in the center of the gap. It was widest at the bottom, and I would just swing it and it would cut and sometimes more or less. But it, I would actually hit the fade more more often than not there. We have a big fade. He tends to, I think he favors his one-handed shot. Even yesterday he had a, a rather unconventional finish on he's this. A, he's the Matsuyama of Indian golf, man. Matsuyama takes his club off, yeah. hand off the club every day. I think he does that when he hits a good shot. Yes. <laughs> and then the commentator, oh, I wonder where that's going. So, sorry, that solitary walk was. Uh, Yeah, it's Shivendra Singh. Yeah, he's black then. Actually, this. Actually, it's the green in two, I think. Yeah, he's wearing uh, dark trousers. Is Shivendra, and they're both wearing a white T-shirt. So yeah. The third member in this group is uh, Akshay Sharma. They have cleaning they, up with a wedge. He's he's had a bad day with his putter, so he's given it a break. Let's see. Happy to make that putt, sort of. Nice loud prints on T-shirts these days, right? Yeah, reminds you a little bit of uh, John Daly and how he dresses up. Oh, although that's a little too outlandish, but, but the, uh, the, I think the first person I saw with prints was a guy called Ducky Waldo. Yeah, Duffy walked off on the yeah. US tour. Yeah. He used to wear his Patek Prince yeah. splash. Well, it's okay. He's going for it. He knows that he needs to make at least four. Yeah, he's so, yeah, at least four. Do you think it's uh, is uh, this that tree is in his back swing? I don't think so. That uh, is he behind it? Or he's behind it. It seems he's that about uh, towards, towards the tee box. Towards right? the tee box. It seems like he's about. Uh, Got two or three hours. Maybe in he does have a backswing. You know, in the follow through, maybe that. But he's still going with a rescue or a three. Yeah, what it seems. Good to see him going for it, though. He's yeah, showing he's the tee. The right also tapering to the right of it. This is this is what you call brilliance, Amit. This is courage under fire. That's a diff difficult shot, and he took it on. And I don't think anybody in the world could have executed it better. He's he's got a lot of bravado, this man. I'll I'll give you that much. Didn't hold, uh, you know, now threw caution to the wind and went for it. Now we just we don't know. I safe to assume that would have been a second because it was fair. It's not behind Harjit. Hit from behind him a second shot. He's not out driving Harjit Sethi. Yeah, no, but that's a fair distance behind, and uh, I already said uh, such uh, uh, things about that shot, so I'd not want to be wrong about it now. <laughs> we'll assume that for a second till we are proven wrong. Shivendra on number seven. On number eighteen, from from the right green side bunker, it 
currently at three under tied for fifth really good bunker shot there good control on that yeah good technique i'm impressed by this you know I've, it's been a while since i saw him play on he, his his technique looks much more sound now than it was earlier Harshjit, that what looks to be like an eagle putt uh, from the left of the green. He's got a lot of real estate to cover, though. You can see he's uh, about 35 feet away from an eagle on number 18, the par 5. Harshjit currently sitting in at 4 under par. Won't be winning this tournament. But uh, definitely a solid top five finish for him. Yeah, you would want to cut this hole because if he miss, if if he doesn't make birdie and Shivendra makes birdie, it takes him into a tie, right? Yes, yeah, so he'll lose a considerable number of uh, points there. How important do you think these these work out? If if these players plan to play on another foreign tour, this will allow them to get into the final stage, qualifying, basis the world ranking points. Apart from that. Uh, there are not many benefits unless they're really playing well to qualify for some of the bigger events like maybe Asian Games, which is concluded, or, or uh, uh, you're talking about the World Cup or uh, the Olympics. But apart from that, it just gets you into the final stages. Of... I, I think, you know, anytime you've... Uh, it's, it's, it's something which you look at it over a long time. So it's, it's, let's say if you just look at <clears throat> how many under you played for the whole season, okay? And you say, okay, last year I played like 150 under par. And this year, if you just set your goal and, and say, okay, I'm going to pick 150 and each, then each of these putts count. And that drops your scoring average and that gets you every stroke at the end will, will be equal to X amount of a monetary benefit, which is we are playing for money. You know, whoever says I'm not paying for money is probably not being completely honest. I agree. Let's see what uh, Akshay can do here. Yeah? We still to get confirmation whether that was uh, uh, second or third, but we'll assume that was his second. Yeah. Just missing on the lower side. Just ran out of steam a bit. You know how much you could see the intensity he had. He knew that he had to hold that. But. Uh, You'll soon find out how the other players, if they congratulate him, good birdie, console him. Uh, you'll find out a little bit if he did yeah. indeed make birdie a par. Body language is a telling tale. It tells you a lot. Yeah, you know, I've been, I'm impressed by Shiva. Last time I saw him, he, his technique wasn't as solid as it is today. He just did a bit. You saw him peeking at that ball. Just yeah, we seen on the lower side as well. Yeah. You, know, you could see him just peek a bit. I think anxiety he did not hold many many putts today and just the you know just wanting to see one go in finally yeah but no such satisfaction i have to wait the next week but uh, overall a decent week by shivinder good player finishing the week at three under par and that would be good enough for a tie uh, as we speak for fifth yeah this is uh, it's birdie attempt on number 18 after hitting the green and two yeah well done yeah, solid week. Uh, two under today, total of five under. You see, he's uh, what is his height? He's, he's really six, towering. Six, no, six, six. I'm pretty sure that he's taller than that because Shivinder uh, is up, is more than six feet and he's no, no, Shivinder is not more than six feet. I think he's six feet tall. No, no, no. Jyoti is six feet tall. Shivinder is not as tall as Jyoti. I think Shivinder is quite a tall lad. I think uh, Harshjit might be 6'8 or something no, in no, the Yao Ming territory. He's, he's, he's six, six. The thing is, you know, you know, I, I, believe, I believe 
Okay. He's yes. just short of six feet. Okay, he looks rather tall. Yeah, yeah he looks tall because he's lanky. Yeah, he's lanky. That's why he's looking taller than he might be because just the, the proportions. Uh, but uh, Diggy is just short of six feet. I know that for a fact because we kept arguing on this. And uh, if he and Shivendra is not taller than Diggy. Interesting. But either way, sir. Uh... He is uh, indeed quite the specimen is Harjit, uh, a ball striking machine who can propel that drive <laughs> up to 350 yards as we have a look at Manav here. In Kumudo, he did 400 a couple of times. Yeah, exactly. Manav Bess, uh, he's about 25 yards behind that tree. Seems to be laying up. Yeah. Manav uh, is at not the best of layups. Yeah, and just getting a few congratulations. Uh, hand takes OP on the right side of the fairway. That means mm, I think that was the third shot of Archer. Yeah, but you know, uh, you can see the, uh, everybody congratulating OP and on. Uh, he's walking with some players on the right. I think side. he's uh, executed a good second shot, so maybe that might be the reason. Otherwise, you. See, players tend to remain focused till the job is done, or you're sure that you know you have a, a lot of wiggle room. Yeah, he's just that, that looks like his ball in the center of the field. Yes, it's laid up. Yeah, it's like uh, in, in golf, there's old saying saying if, if you've got five, use them exactly. Yeah, couple uh, out of view, pretty certain would just be laying up. Yes, I think a little bit, a bit too far uh, to threaten OP. I think the prudent thing would yeah. be to yeah. for him to solidify his position. Well, both their balls next to each other. Om Prakash using his hybrid of the T, taking no chances, knowing that he five would be good enough. That was a straight uh, shot, not much movement in it either way. Very difficult to call. Mm -hmm. It's so a if good. You, if you if you know you can't reach this hole in two, then that would be the best thing to do. Just to be now let's see what he does here. At least he has a two shot lead. We'll soon get an update regarding what uh, Akshay was able to do on hole number 18. Prakash, yeah. like to be vague in his hand, not more than 100 yards. I look this anyway, short of the, uh, short of the hole, 10 feet would be good enough. And he fit it five feet. Oh, maybe less than that also. That's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Doesn't want to step off the gas, take his foot off. He's going to put the pedal to the metal so as to see, so as to speak. He's uh, at 10 under, wants to finish the week in style at 11 under par. So I think there's little mystery now. He's definitely going to win this tournament. And uh, interestingly, with that, he's going to open an absolute. Uh, uh, Chasm, so as to speak, uh, between uh, the first and second. He's mm -hmm. going to be at uh, 80 lakh. So, Aman Raj would find himself a good 25 lakh behind him. That's a lot. Uh, you know, with, and OP is not going to take his pedal off the medal. Right? This year can be um, a record. I mean, he's, he's going had, to... He's played 12. He has had seven top 10s. He's had one win. And um, he's missed a few cuts as well. So he missed four cuts. So it means that he's been tempestuous. He's, he's not been that consistent. Uh, I guess one of the cuts he missed was that joint sanction uh, event with the with the challenge tour. 
from what I remember. And one he won the one he won one, then he missed the cut on the next one. Golf is a funny game, isn't it? Yeah. Same golf course. It's it's a, it's a strange game. Sometimes you just can't explain it. I can't remember the next cut he missed. I can't. So, so four cuts missed, and and it's a, every time he makes a cut, he ends up in the top ten. It, he's very good. Kapil, it's a previous record. Uh, I'm not too sure what is the previous uh, any record, but she's I think 90 or 80 lakh or something. The last year, Karoor wasn't breached. Fantastic shot, but this year I think he's gonna get there. This year he's he's might even end up at 1.5 if he's going if this he way. If he plays the tour championship well and wins it, then he'll be doubling this amount. Because that's gonna be a, a winner's check of in excess of 30 lakh. Yeah. And then he has uh, he has all these uh, big events coming up with uh, with uh, Jeep Milkhat Singh Invitational and uh, SSP Chaurasia. My apologies, not thirty lakh, fifty lakh. Sorry, because it's a three crore uh, event. It's going to be close to 60, yeah, yeah. It's going to be fifty lakh. So yes. just imagine whoever wins that tournament uh, and that European Tour position also hangs in the balance. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very keenly contested, that tournament. Though he already earned himself a challenge to a spot. But won't hurt, that won't, won't hurt to step up. So I think he's uh, definitely in pole position as of now. Absolutely. You know, his club Because is... the third position is Karan Pratap saying it's at 36 lakh. It's, it's just so far behind. But you know, golf is a funny game, you know, it's a couple of good weeks. And then you have the tour championship where the it's so loaded on top. Yes. And let's say hypothetically he Om Om Prakash has a good week, he finishes fifth. But Aman Raj wins it. It's everything changes. Yeah, but um, I think right now it just looks stacked in his favor. It's just uh I think a bridge too far, just, uh, as they said, you know, just I mean, like the FedEx Cup, you know, uh, going into the FedEx Cup, uh, Scotty Scheffler was way ahead of everybody else. Uh, sorry, John Ram. John Ram. Yeah, and you saw Victor Hovland ending up on top. I think these two events, Jeev Milka, Singh Invitational, and Kapil Dev uh, Grand Thornton, they're going to be really important in terms of the prize fund on offer. And these are going to have all our stars playing in it, though. Yes. And talking about stars, there's only one star that we can think of right now. That's Om Prakash Chauhan. Please remember the name, ladies and gentlemen. He's already a, an eight-time champion, soon to be christened as a nine-time champion. So that was his third shot from Harajati, uh, Shorya. Yes. Yes. Because I was wondering how he had outdriven Harjit City. Yeah, but that was a brilliant, brilliant yeah, third shot. Brilliant now. shot, though. Not backing down, taking on the difficult shot. Good uh, putt right here. Yeah, that's an expensive putt. He's made birdie and that takes him to a joint in second position. That's his best uh, finish thus far on the PGA. These guys made, man. So, uh, yeah, Change finally. <laughs> so, uh, many congratulations to Kapil. Uh, fantastic performance. He really did hold his own, uh, own today and uh, shooting red numbers. So he, he should take heart from that. He was able to string together it's, four it's nice that, uh, Manav is going ahead and finishing up before uh, OP and leaving the stage open for him to you know you know that winners Manav has a birdie part too yeah. so he would uh, get in uh, into that tie for fifth so uh, congratulations to Manav he would get some world ranking points as well opting to keep the flag in he's done it all day He's used to it. Fancy golf shoes. Yeah. All yeah. Stroke. And yes. you can see that uh, fist pump. He's happy about that. Yeah. And uh, why shouldn't he be? That leaves the stage set for Om Prakash to mere formality now. Him winning the third edition of the JNK Open. Presented by JNK Tourism at the Jammu Tavi Golf Course. This to go 11 under. That'd be a good uh, three shot winning margin. Should break a little from his left to right. And in uh, the center of the hole, there's your champion. Time. What a worthy champion, Prakash Chauhan. 
So he's 59 again. And there you have, uh, that's why they call golf the greatest game ever, because you might be competitors, but you're happy in your friend's success. That's why we, he, his uh, fellow playing uh, professionals who played with him left the stage, stage clear for him, because yeah. after this, they would not be able to part. <laughs> Very well done. Uh, the members involved as well. And uh, aren't we so happy for Om Prakash John? What a worthy champion. A good ambassador for the game of golf. He had uh, kept his nerves. You know, the back nine uh, did have a few wobbles. There was a double bogey there. Then there was a bogey. But, you know, he answered it uh, in style with birdies. Absolutely. He's, uh, he's, 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 let, he's not let up. And like we had predicted yesterday halfway down the the third round that he's the one to beat you know he's the one who has the experience to go see it through and he has he's uh, this is a three shot uh, win it, it's a uh, it's, it's he's he's bounced back he's made a double bogey on 11 bounce back with a birdie on 12 made a bogey on 16 then bounced with a birdie birdie to finish so a really good performance here and uh, look at the top 10 scores. Uh, these shall be updated soon enough. Uh, Om Prakash Chauhan is uh, the winner this week at uh, 11 under par. Akshay Sharma at 8 under par. Kapil Kumar 7 under par. Harjit Sethi 5 under par. And in for a tie, uh, we have a, a trio Sachin, Shivender and Manav Bes. Harinder Gupta in at 8th position alongside M Dharma at one under par uh, we had a total of 50 players make the cut uh, the first position obviously om prakash chauhan the 50th to mansuk sandhu and uh, some good rounds but overall a very difficult week in terms of scoring for all players Look at uh, some of the highlights. Uh, do stay tuned. Uh, there's going to be the prize ceremony that will uh, soon follow, where you'll have uh, the dignitaries and the players come. And from all of us here um, in the AVP office, we'd like to say that we really enjoyed. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this broadcast as well. And any parting thoughts, Amit? Uh, well, it was. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to see that we have got person like this in India now. It's a challenging. Kudos to JNK Tourism. Kudos to JNK Tourism. Kudos to PGTI and your support and JNK Tourism for holding this together. And Om Prakash Johan, thank you and we'll see you next time. Please stay tuned for the prize ceremony.
Mr. Manav Gupta, Secretary, Jammu Tavi Golf Course. Ms. Sunaina Sharma Mehta, Joint Director, Tourism, Jammu. And Mr. Amarjeet Singh, Special Secretary to Government, JNK Tourism Department. I'd now like to request Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi, CEO PGTI, to kindly make the opening address. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you all. What a grand finish for a beautiful event like this. You know, it's always a pleasure to be back here in Jammu and Kashmir, and especially now in Jammu. This is the second year, second edition of the JNK Open presented by JNK Tourism at Jammu, Tavi Golf Course. I guess uh, we've heard a lot about the, the golf course from all the players the last couple of days. There's been a huge improvement on the golf course. We'll come back to that. But before that, let me congratulate OP Johan. Fantastic victory. The man won it in style again. Well done, my friend. Congratulations to Akshay. He's been knocking on the door for a while. You know, but I'm, sh I'm sure it's going to happen soon. And there are big events coming up. So God be with you. <laughs> OP is, uh, most of you will probably won't know, he's uh, a winner on the Challenge Tour as well. He won a tournament on the Challenge Tour, which is part of the European Tour in uh, April, due to which he got an exemption on the Challenge Tour. He's played a few tournaments on, on that, on the Tour, but then decided not to play these last few tournaments on Challenge Tour because he's leading the Order of Merit and he's very confident that he'll finish number one on the Order of Merit where he gets a full exemption on the European Tour the next year. So hats off to the guy. I'd like to take this opportunity in thanking uh, JNK Tourism. Unfortunately, uh, Mr. Bhatnagar couldn't be here amongst us. Uh, Dr. Abid Shah, he's also had to leave early. But uh, we have everyone here, the, the dignities on the dais are there. And I'd like to actually say a big thank you. Amarji Singh Ji, Sunana Ji, thank you very much. Manav Ji, fantastic golf course, great job done. And uh, you know, without the support of JNK Tourism, we would not be in here. I mean, they've been a, a great support to the PGTI, to professional golf over these years. And I'd like to thank them for their continued support. And I know that this event will only grow bigger and bigger in years to come. Uh, they're also played a huge part in the hospitality. I mean, what you are witnessing today, you know, the, the Dogri festival, the food, and the, the festivities that go with it, the dance and the sings and the songs, I think it's all thanks to them. Uh, kudos to you, sir. Thank you very much. You laid it out for all our players. They've actually been very, very grateful and happy about this whole particular event. The course has been in great shape. I think there's been a major improvement over the last year. And I think some of the players, maybe uh, when we get OP here, I'm sure he'll be able to stress more on what the golf course was in these last four days. And uh, lastly, but not the least, I'd like to thank everyone else who's actually paid a major role in making this event a success. There are a lot of people that work behind the scenes. We always witness all of us who are up here on stage and think that the tournament went well because of us. But it is actually the guys who work behind the scenes and my entire PGTI staff, the entire club staff. Sohail, uh, where, uh, I, I, I don't see him here. Ah, thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. I know it's all the stress on you, but thank you very much. There, and Malvin, Malvin is, uh, Malvin, he is, he is the guy who always helps us with all the IT work and Kuldeep, fantastic job on the golf course. Hats off. I know that you had a, sorry, of course, the GM sub, the food has been great. I'm, that's why I said that there are a lot of people that I might actually forget by name, but everyone behind the scenes who worked 
fantastic job done. I mean, the course has been great. Thank you for him because I know the rains have been pretty hard the last uh, these last few months. So get the golf course in this shape has been hats off to you guys. Thank you very much. Lastly, but with not the least, I'd like to thank the entire media, the social media, the groups that are here, the print media, and everyone else. I think uh, today we had uh, the whole bloggers uh, team here. So thank you very much. And we look forward to seeing you all again next year. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'd now like to request Mr. Manav Gupta, Secretary Jammu Tavi Golf Course, to kindly address the gathering. Everybody, uh, I'm thankful to everyone, each and every one, especially uh, my golfer, my friends, my colleagues, who have participated in this tournament, no, uh, no doubt from outside the golf course, but with great enthusiasm. All the member golfers and all the golfers of Jammu, they have keenly watched this tournament for the entire four days. I am really thankful to all of them. I am also thankful to PGTI for conducting this tournament uh, second straight year in Jammu. I am thankful to Tourism Department, UTF, uh, JNK, to make this possible. I am also thankful to all the st sports staff of Jammu Tavi Golf Course. Because Jammu Tavi Golf Course is getting a lot of appreciation, but I must tell you, this is a teamwork. My colleagues, my brothers who have worked day and night to make this happen, I am really, really very thankful to all of them. Whether they are sports staff, right from my boys who are working in the club, who are working on the machines, Mr. Kuldeep, Sohail, Marvin, everyone. Because the list is long, I can't name all of them. But I am highly thankful to them. Because no doubt, Raja ka naam aata hai, but kaam bohot uh, se chal hota hai. everybody knows that. I am thankful to each of everyone, uh, all the players who have uh, uh, came here from all over, the, all over India and uh, rest of the world to play this tournament and uh, participated in this. I am thankful to GM JKDDC, especially because for the last four days, the food was very good. There was no complaint in the food. Today, the Dogri Food Festival was also managed the uh, feedback. Liya. It was appreciable. And the uh, Directorate of Tourism, always uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Sunana, she is always kind. No doubt, she is no, uh, not a golfer, but always there to help us. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'd now like to request Ms. Sunana Sharma Mehta, Joint Director of Tourism Jammu, to kindly share her thoughts. A very good afternoon to all, the dignitaries here. And uh, I really feel so happy. Or pehle dogri mein hi bolungi, as dogre ya akhne ya shana karna hai. As dogre ya akhne ya shana karna hai. Or aaj, jo ye dogri food festival ho raha hai, ye isi ki ek, jab aap piche pagdiyan dek sakte hain, aap RS Pura ke chawal jo hai, yaha pe dek sakte hain, Bhadrawahi Rajma yaha dek sakte hain, so golf tournament, which is PGTI, and which was last year, we have really tried to improve upon. And Mr. Mandika, we have always supported you, always. And it was really a learning experience for us also. And this time, there was a lot of improvement. The whole, our JK Tourism departments, which are under directorates, JK TDC, and apart from that, JK ACL, which is the cultural department, has been cohesively given a Jammu ka utsav. इस तरीके का एक रंग देने की जो हमने कोशिश की और हम इसमें काफी कामयाब हुए हमारे सेक्रेटरी टूरिज्म सेक्रेटरी कल्चर डॉक्टर सैयद आबिद राशिद शाह जिनकी लीडरशिप में हमने ये सब कोशिश की करने की और हम बहुत खूब तरीके से जो है वो सक्सेसफुल हुए हैं और मैं जो हमारे जम्मू के गोल्फर्स हैं उनके भी बहुत थैंकफुल हूँ क्योंकि आप सबकी हमें अनटायरिंग सपोर्ट मिली और आपके आइडियाज मिले और आप लोगों ने हमें जो सुझाव दिए हमने उनको पूरा करने की कोशिश की और मुझे उम्मीद है कि ये पीजीटीआई जो लेडीज वाला है वो भी आने वाले वक्त में जरूर होगा और उसके साथ साथ यहाँ भी कॉन्टिन्यूटी बनी रहेगी और मैं ये जरूर कहूँगी कि इसमें Directorate of Tourism, Jammu, JKTDC ke officials, golf course ke officials, Manav sahab ki leadership mein, sab ne bohat hi mehnat ki hai, aur aaj hum log jo itna sabhi bade zaike se dogri food kha rahe hai, to ye ek agaz hai, ki kahi na kahi, dogri ko ek platform milne ki zarurat thi, aur wo aaj jab humare golfers jo hai, wo iska itna zaika le rahe hai, to mein ye samajhti hoon, ki national aur international platform pe, जो जम्मू टूरिज्म का जो एक मैं कहूँगी एक 
डिलाइट है उसका जो एक बहुत खूबसूरती है वो देखने को जरूर मिली है और आगे वाले सालों में भी वी विल ट्राई टू इम्प्रूव इट फर्दर और ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों को इन्वॉल्व करेंगे बिकॉज जम्मू आइट्स जो है उन्होंने बहुत जोश से ये टूर्नामेंट देखी भी है और बहुत सारी इंक्वायरीज भी हमें आई और उसके अलावा जो एफ के हमारे चैनल्स उसके अलावा जो मीडिया फ्रेटर्निटी हमारे जितने मीडिया फ्रेटर्निटी के भाई हैं दे आर सो एंथजियास्टिक अबाउट दिस बिकॉज दिस इज बेसिकली यू नो स्टार्ट ऑफ जम्मू इज अ पिलग्रमेज डेस्टिनेशन ऑफकोर्स बट हमें उसके साथ एडवेंचर टूरिज्म गोल्फ टूरिज्म ये सारी चीज़ें जब अलाइन करेंगे तो डेफिनेटली वो दिन दूर नहीं है जब जम्मू टूरिज्म जो है एक इंटरनेशनल मैप पर जो है वो छा जाएगा सो आई थिंक वी ऑल शुड वर्क हार्ड और आज मैं ये भी बताना चाहूँगी कि हमने एक कोशिश की जो हमारे गोल्फर्स हैं उनको जम्मू के सोविनियर्स दिए जाएं जिसमें कि बसोली पेंटिंग्स हैं जिसमें कि हमारे बसोली शॉल का एक वो है उसमें हमारे शॉल्स कैसे बनते हैं उसकी इन्फॉर्मेशन है उसके अलावा और भी सोविनियर्स जैसे राजमा और हमारे आर एस पुरा के चावल ये सोविनियर्स के रूप में जा रहे हैं किश्तवाड़ी केसर ये सोविनियर के रूप में जा रहा है लेवेंडर सोविनियर के रूप में जा रहा है तो ये एक बहुत खुशी की बात है कि जीआई टैगिंग तो हो ही रही है बट हम अपने इवेंट्स में अपने प्रोडक्ट्स को शोकेस कर रहे हैं दैट इज रियली रियली अ स्टूपेंडस एफर्ट एंड आई मस्ट से यू ऑल शुड आल्सो कंट्रीब्यूट टू इट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच हैव अ ग्रेट डे एंड आई होप वी कीप ऑन कैरिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर शोकेसिंग आर जम्मू कल्चर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू मैम आई नाउ लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर अमरजीत सिंह स्पेशल सेक्रेटरी टू गवर्नमेंट जेएनके टूरिज्म डिपार्टमेंट टू काइंडली शेयर हिज थॉट्स a uh, very good afternoon friends it's indeed a very proud moment for all of us this is a uh, third uh, pgti in the last 3 years and second in uh, jammu tawi golf course our partnership with the pgti is continuing year after year and let me assure you that uh, jnk tourism is always looking forward su for such mutually beneficial partnerships promoting golf tourism is is a step towards the promotion of tourism for the overall eco economic development of the ut of jnk we in jammu and kashmir we are blessed with all kind of the tourism products we have the marvelous landscapes we have the best of the locales and beside those we have some exclusive products some niche products so golf is one of those niche products like bird watching is one of them angling is one of them <laughs> so promoting uh, golf tourism and organizing these events in partnership with the professional bodies is an attempt to promote jammu and kashmir as a golfing destination as you all know that uh, the third tourism working group meeting took place in srinagar in the month of may and after that meeting a new dimension has been given to the tourism sector in jammu and kashmir and we had very good years the previous year was very good for jammu and kashmir tourism and uh, i'm happy to say that this year is even better the foreign tourists they have increased this year by more than 300% so that's a big boost for us so th thank you so promoting these exclusive products is our attempt to tap on this specialized sector moreover such events also give us an opportunity to showcase our culture to showcase our cuisine to showcase our other products our gi tagged products uh, we had stalls here where we had the gi tagged products so all these things they are working we are working in synergy with the professional bodies to take jnk tourism to a new level we want uh, that jnk should be the best tourist destination in the world not only in the country but in the entire world so my uh, many many big yes and before i uh, say anything else uh, let me uh, tell the audience here that the trophy which you are seeing here it's a replica of the chinab bridge the chinab bridge in uh, riasi district so that's how we can uh, assimilate our products assimilate our uh, uh, attractions in these events and make them popular so chinab bridge as you all know that bakal kodi in riasi district it's the highest railway bridge ever built and even the clouds would be uh, for, uh, traveling below that bridge so it's a uh, it's going to be a big attraction in the years to come so uh, making a replica of it here is uh, is a, our attempt to promote this destination so uh, friends uh, all the sectors whatever potential we have in jammu and kashmir we are trying to exploit 
each and every sector of tourism so that the overall economy grows because tourism it has a, a multiplying effect so when tourism grows all other things grow the jobs are created so one tourist creates more than a uh, job for more than 12 people so it's our aim that we should continue to enter with such mutually beneficial uh, partnerships and organize such events in future so before i say goodbye i would like to uh, congratulate uh, the winner of the event today uh, mr om prakash a big con congratulations to you and i also take this opportunity uh, to thank uh, mr mandi and his entire team for organizing this event in a very professional way I also uh, would like to congratulate and thank Mr. Monav and his entire team who have been working day and night for the last uh, several months to make this event a successful. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Sunena ji, Mr. Jabbar and the entire directorate, their entire team, their ADs, everyone who has been associated with this. Mr. Sham Abrol, the GM JKTDC, who had been uh, satisfying everybody's hunger for the last many days. Uh, big thank to you also, sir. So once again, very, very good uh, afternoon and thank you very much for being here. And my special thanks to the media people. Uh, this year, the one thing which I have noticed that uh, the media has escalated this event much, much, much at a higher level than the previous year. So a big thank you to you all. Please continue supporting us and continue guiding us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. Before we begin the prize presentation, I'd like to invite here on stage two of our special guests, Mr. S.P. Ved, retired DGP, and Mr. Alok Kumar, ADGP. So we'll be announcing the runner-up to begin with, and uh, I would request all the dignitaries on the stage to kindly do the honors by jointly giving away the prize to the runner-up, super consistent top three for the third week in succession, Akshay Sharma, scores of 68, 71, 72, and 69, and a total of 8 under 280, Akshay from Chandigarh, he takes away a prize money, check worth rupees 5 lakh. Congratulations to Akshay. It's now time to announce the grand prize. And I once again request all the dignitaries on the stage to kindly jointly present the championship trophy. Uh, his ninth Ash Chauhan, second win of 2023. Scores of 71, 70, 67, and 69 for a total of 11 under 277. He extends his lead in the Tata Steel PGTI ranking. And it's his second win in JNK. He's won in Pahalgaon before and now in Jammu. He receives a replica of the trophy and of course the check worth will be 7,50,000. Stills, have you got your pictures? Good. Just, just few more seconds. Few more seconds. Thank you. It's now time for the customary winner speech. OP. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I like thanks to JNK Tourism, Jammu Tavi Golf Club, PGTI Partners. Thank you very much, and thanks a lot to my sponsor with Athletic Drive. Pradesh uh, sir, and thanks to all my friends, Uttam sir, Gagan, JP, and Sampa sir. Thank you, Sampa sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> golf course ke baare kuch bataye, OP. Sir, golf course बहुत अच्छी condition में खेला है because last time से अभी I think golf course में बहुत ज़्यादा work हुआ है. 
एंड ग्रीन्स तो बहुत अच्छे हो रखे फेयरवे टीज गोल्फ कोर्स का परफेक्ट कंडीशन हो रखा अभी बहुत अच्छा खेल रहा गोल्फ कोर्स I now request our special guest, Mr. S. P. Ved, to kindly say a few words. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, it's an honor for me to be here amongst all of you, and my uh, big, big congratulations to O. P. You are a budding uh, golfer, and you will represent this country. You will make name for not only for you, but for the country. Great. It's an honor for us to host all of you, and uh, tourism department. I know how much hard, and uh, Manav has been working for last many days. Uh, it is a boost to our tourism. To, uh, pres be present our culture, our cuisine, and it's all both way we benefit. And I wish we have many many such tournaments in future also. Thank you. I'd like to request Mr. Alok Kumar also to kindly address the gathering. Thank you very much, and uh, this is I'm proud, privileged to be with you, and uh, this uh, tournament because last 22 year also we are playing, especially me, I am playing golf, and uh, last three year I am also witness to this event. This is third event uh, in JNK when PGTI is organizing tournament here. And uh, the work and conduct, especially I'll just say a few words about Mr. Manab. He has done really wonderful, uh, it, he has taken wonderful initiative and finally made this golf course up to the marks where this uh, consecutively, this, this is second year, this PDTI tournament is going on. And uh, looking forward and I wish that coming days, such type of tournament Organized. Thank, Thank you very much. So nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Before we conclude the prize presentation, we'd like to thank presenting partner JNK Tourism, host venue Jammu Tavi Golf Course, JKTDC for the food and hospitality, and especially the lovely Dogri food today. A special thanks to Mr. Sham Abrol, GM, JKTDC. Thank you to Mr. Sohail and Mr. Marvin from Jammu Tavi Golf Course. Director of Publicity, a big thank you to him. The co-staff, led by supervisor, Mr. Kuldeep, along with Mr. Muhammad Ali, Mr. Raman Mehra, Mr. Pardeep Verma, Mr. Davinder Kumar, Mr. Balbir Singh, Mr. Davinder Sharma, Mr. Mohinder Singh, Mr. Ravi Sharma, Mr. Amit Largam, Mr. Ajay Sharma, Mr. Jameet Chaudhary, Mr. Milap Singh, Mr. Irfan Chaudhary, Mr. Farooq, Mr. Deep Singh Wazir, Mr. Pulkam Sharma, Mr. Hira Lal, and Mr. Ram Dayal, and of course all the members of the club, all players, referees, and officials, a big thank you to all of you. And our tour partners, PGTI's tour partners, Rolex, Tata Steel, Bisleri, Vedika, Himalayan Spring Water, Amrutanjan, Fruitnik Electro Plus, Golf Plus Monthly, and Athletic Drive. Thank you, and see you next year.